All right, folks, we are live at Coletco for tonight's live Facebook record sale. When you're on and watching, be sure to let us know. We are here, and we're ready to sell you records. Hope you're ready to buy them. All right, welcome. I had my mic mute while I was chugging down some monster. We love monster. All right, here we go. I'm opening up Facebook. There's the post, make sure you hit the like button. Everybody hit the like button, like button, like button. Do it, it's fun. Let's share it here, here, here. Go down here, copy link, copy link. I don't think I really might even post for today. I don't think I did. All right, let's go view channel. Let's go there, share, copy link. Wow, almost 11. Whoa, we hit 11,000 Wow, we hit 11,000 subscribers on YouTube. I didn't even realize that. Thanks again, YouTube. Thanks again. Thanks, Facebook, too. We're almost at 30,000 on Facebook. One night I'm going to get rolling on Facebook and be like, all right, everybody go like it. Let me see how many we have on Facebook. How many Facebook followers we have? We need to get to 30. That's a big number. 28,000 followers. We can get to 30. I know we can. All right, everybody hit the like button. Get to 30 or die trying. Everybody hit the like button on Facebook. Everybody hit the like button on YouTube. Like, 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 like. Do it. It's fun. All righty. Great job, Paul, getting some stuff marked. Thank you, Paul. He's under the weather, and he still showed up for work. That's what we like. Chad is skipping. Liking is fun. It is. All right, let's go through a warm-up bin. I'm going to start showing records. Raffle off a ride in Seth's Camaro. Well, you'd have to sign a bunch of insurance waivers because i tell you what, that guy is not a good driver. <laughs> oh, boy. Don't get in the vehicle with Seth. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. He don't even speed. He's still a bad driver. He's not here tonight, so I can really roast him. We're going to really roast Seth tonight. All right. Uh, yes, everybody, please like, 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 share, share, share. Do it. Go, go, go. All right, let's go through some new vinyl. Everybody's hopping on tonight. Let me move around some of these massive crates full of fantastic stuff. We're going to go through some more of this tonight. Buy it now, best offer. Yeah, we hit over 11,000. Boy, YouTube is just exponentially growing so thanks everybody all right let's go through some new vinyl i think we've been through this we've wore this crate out but let's go let's wear it out one more time andre 3000 new blue album 84.99 how about uh rat pack's greatest hits for 29.99 rat pack's greatest hits 29.99 guns and roses appetite for destruction 36.99 johnny cash that is american recordings three solitary man Solitary Man, $33.99. Coldplay, Viva La Vida, $44.99. We have Motley Crue, Girls, 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 $33.99. Dr. Feel Good, Theater of Pain, Shout at the Devil. Those are all $33.99. Whiskey Myers, Firewaters, $29.99. Whiskey Myers, Early Morning Shakes is $33.99. That thing that you do. That thing you do. Boy, I never can get that title right. Red Vinyl, first time on vinyl. The soundtrack, Red Vinyl, Mondo, $64.99. Essential Game Music Collection, Video Game Music Soundtrack Compilation, Colored Vinyl, $39.99. We have Candlebox, an acoustic evening with Candlebox. That's Candlebox Unplugged, $38.99. 
Scott Apple, is this where you can buy records? Yes, Scott. Scott, we were just talking about your nephew, Seth, and how bad of a driver he is. So join in on the fun. We're roasting Seth, our nightly challenge. We have Gold Metallic. Everybody, that's Scott. Is that Scott Apple? Scott Apple is Seth's uncle. So we can all announce our displeasure with Seth to his uncle, Scott Apple, and he can report it back to Seth. Gold Metallic Colored Vinyl, $33.99. Cheryl Crow, that's Cheryl Crow's newest album. It's on Gold Vinyl. A Perfect Circle is $39.99. We also have Def Leppard Hysteria, $46.99. Def Leppard Hysteria, $46.99. Casey and the Sunshine Band, I'm Your Boogeyman, $33.99. This has That's the Way, uh-huh, uh-huh, I like it. Also, All Problematic is $28.99. King's X, Gretchen Goes to Nebraska, $39.99. We have the new Black Keys album on indie exclusive red vinyl, $33.99. And Pink Floyd Animals, the 2018 remix, $39.99. Susie Breedlove wants Sheryl Crow's new album. That's so to Susie Breedlove. We have Freddie Villarreal on A Perfect Circle. That's very hard to draw freehand, A Perfect Circle. But we're going to give Freddie that one. It's new and sealed. And then Carlene Rollins gets KC and the Sunshine Band. A few things sold out of there. That is just what we call a warm-up bin. That is a warm-up bin. Just whatever was right here whenever I went live. I'm going to read those titles one more time. Pink Floyd Animals, the new Black Keys album called Ohio Players. King's X, we got all. KC and the Sunshine Band, Def Leppard, Candlebox, Games Music Collection, That Thing You Do, Whiskey Myers, Whiskey Myers, Motley Crue, Motley Crue, Motley Crue, Motley Crue, Coldplay, Cash, Guns N' Roses, Rat Pack, and Andre 3000. If anybody wants anything in there, just let me know. Paul's got this new vintage stuff. It's a Paul night. Paul works on Wednesdays. John has Wednesdays off. Paul's got us three crates of new vintage stuff priced for us. I'm sure y'all going to like that. I've got two full bins of putbacks and non-payments. Two full bins of putbacks and non-payments. That's right. Two full bins of putbacks and non-payments. Let's go over here and go through another bin. Do y'all still clean records? Not really. We kind of, at first, we're going to start ultra cleaning, ultrasonically cleaning stuff. Um, but... Uh, we decided that we don't have enough time for that. So no, we don't offer that publicly anymore. We have Matthew Dublay on animals. Matthew Dublay wants an animals. That's the Pink Floyd 2018 remix. Talk about a great song that sounds incredible on this remix. That is Dogs, $38.99. So Scott said, Seth, dang near tried to kill me at the Harriman exit. I know, Seth is a terrible driver. Oh, that's Scott Apple. That's Seth's uncle. We're on here. His uncle's joining in on the Seth roast. He's not here tonight. He's probably at church, so I feel bad. He's at church, and we're here roasting him. How about Tommy Lee and Vince Neal, Reaction Super 7 figures? These are $24.99. I also can get Nikki Six and uh, Mick Mars, if anybody wants that one as well. We have Vince Neal, Tommy Lee. Those are Reaction figures, $24.99. They're new and sealed. It's a new release from Super 7. If anybody wants those, I've got Tommy Lee, Vince Neal, and I can actually get you the host set. And here's a new one that I think we're going to sell out of, Bond Scott, ACDC's Bond Scott. That is a new Reaction Super 7 figure. Those are also $24.99, $24.99. Bond Scott, that is rock and roll legend, Bond Scott, Super 7 Reaction. So I got Vince Neal, I got Tommy Lee, and I have Bond Scott, $24.99. If anybody wants a Bon Scott. All right, let's go through this band and see what's in here. Sleep. This is Sleep's Holy Mountain. New and sealed for Sleep, $38.99. We also have Dirty Dancing, $29.99 for the Dirty Dancing soundtrack. $29.99 for Dirty Dancing. And we have Fritz the Cat soundtrack. New and sealed. Bo Diddley, Billy Holiday's on there. Merle Saunders, $33.99 for Fritz the Cat soundtrack. And Pussifer, C is for fill in the blank. That is $29.99 for Pussifer. C is for fill in the blank. That's on gold vinyl for Pussifer. And we have the Pixies, Bossa Nova. The Pixies is $29.99. Make sure I didn't miss anything here. We pulled the animals. Putting up two paid invoices worth of work tomorrow. You'll be there around noon, Chad. Colin, I am unfortunately never here during the day. I, am, I haven't been at this store during store hours in a long time. Um, I'm usually at high noon. Hopefully, I'm asleep. I sleep from like 10 to 4 if I'm lucky. So, um, no, I won't be here. Sorry, I'm going to miss you. We have Matthew Dublou wants a Bon Scott. Let's give a Bon Scott to Matthew Dublou. I'm going to put that over there in the miscellaneous stuff. Rachel, Jake, or 
Rebecca, Jake, whoever's watching this sale. Matthew, you get Bon Scott. If anybody else wants one, they're $24.99. New Reaction, ACDC. The original vocalist, Bon Scott, if anybody else wants one of those. Back at the top, Troy Robinson. I will put you on a Madonna celebration wait list. Jerry Stone, how many crates of new vinyl? Well, we're going to be going through three or four crates of new vinyl. I really don't have any new, new stuff, though, on that. That stuff will be here tomorrow. All right, we have NWA's Greatest Hits, $39.99. NWA's Greatest Hits is $39.99. And we have, yes, Boston Garden. We still got Volume 1, and we still got Volume 2. This is a yes, unofficial, complete concert if you buy both volumes, Volume 1 and Volume 2, which I would hope you would, $44.99 and $44.99, and that's for both Volumes 1 and 2 each. Dwight Yoakam, Blame the Vein. Dwight Yoakam is $33.99. And we have Fleetwood Max Greatest Hits, $33.99 on Fleetwood Max Greatest Hits. Let's go ahead and get our first auctions going. Our first auction here is Duran Duran, a Japanese pressing. The vinyl is near mint minus and pristine. Duran Duran, self-titled. This is a $35 start, $35 start, Japanese. There's a Japanese solicitation form. There's the Japanese inner sleeve. There's the cover and obi. And this is a $35 start, Duran Duran. That's a Japanese pressing. That's our first auction of the night. Duran Duran is now up for bid. And we also have a Elvis. Great way to start the night. In person at the International Hotel, Las Vegas, Nevada. Also a Japanese pressing. Nice, glossy cover. RCA orange label. One-page book, two-page book, three-page book. Nice. All the way around. Near Mint Minus and Pristine Vinyl. Also a $35 start for that. All right, we have Depeche Mode Violator, $33.99. Also, Ray Wiley Hubbard, co-starring. Ray Wiley Hubbard is $33.99. And The Cure, Paris. This is a new release, 30th Anniversary Edition, 2LP, $39.99 for The Cure, Paris. $39.99 for The Cure, Paris. Also, Yes, The Ladder. Yes, The Ladder is $34.99. And Queen's Rock Condition Human. Queen's Rock Condition Human, $33.99. Bruce Dickinson, Tattooed Millionaire. Still got two copies of Bruce Dickinson for $33.99. And Greta Van Fleet, Anthem of the Peaceful Army. Greta Van Fleet, From the Fires. And Greta Van Fleet, Battle at Garden's Gate. And that's on indie exclusive white vinyl. That's $44.99. Make sure I didn't miss anything else. Chad, do you have 45 sleeves? Yes, give me one second. I'll go grab some. I got to grab some uh, outer sleeves, inner sleeves. I'm going to try to do supplies tonight. We have back at the top, Duran Duran at 35, Duran Duran 35, Elvis 35, Elvis 35, Elvis 35, Elvis 40, Elvis 45. Joe Barrios wants a Cure Paris. One copy left of Cure Paris if anybody wants that. And we have Blackberry Smoke, You Hear Georgia. $34.99 for Blackberry Smoke, You Hear Georgia. Alice Cooper Classics, that's a 2LP music on vinyl pressing. Alice Cooper's $49.99. Here is Greta Van Fleet on red colored vinyl. Anthem of the Peaceful Army. That's $29.99. Red colored vinyl. Extreme 2 Porno Graffiti, $39.99. Also, Miles Davis, Nefertiti. That's a music on vinyl remaster, not Miles Davis. $39.99. And Disturbed, Immortalized. Here's some stuff from last night. Disturbed or uh, Immortalized, $39.99. 2 LP, New and Sealed. X-Files Soundtrack, two copies of that left. Glow in the Dark Vinyl, $29.99. Smashing Pumpkins, Pure Acoustic, 2LP unofficial, $38.99. One Echo and the Bunny Men live left, Spare Us the Cutter, $33.99. And one Ramones live unofficial left, it's also $33.99. And Disturbed, Indestructible. Two different Disturbed albums in there so far. Let's update our album. Let's update our auctions. So Duran Duran got a bid right off the bat for $35 of Rodney Brown. This is a Japanese pressing of the Duran Duran self-titled album. Rodney Brown bid $35, and I don't think anybody has bid since then. Duran Duran is a final call for $35. Elvis has bids for $50, $55, $60, $65. Also, Joy Division is $33.99. This is Anjanta Theater, Derby, UK. We also have White Snake, that's the Washington State Wipeout, 1984, $39.99. Disturbed, The Sickness is $33.99. And The Cure, A Not Like Us, is $33.99. All right, we have uh, back at the top, we have Disturbed and More Lies. Kevin, I've already pulled you one. You was on a waiting list. I did that last night, Kevin. You was on a waiting list. That came in yesterday, actually. Sorry, I got you one of those. Duran Duran got a new bid for $36. Jamie said he bid $35 first. But now we have new bids for 40. Jamie's also bid 40. Sean's bid 37. Jason's bid 41. Tracy McFadden is at 41. 
Tracy McFadden is at 41, or excuse me, Tracy McFadden's first on White Snake. Sorry, is the cure not like us new material? Is the cure not like us new material? Is the cure not like us new material? I'm not for sure what your question means, but maybe if you rephrase it, I can help you out. Duran Duran's at 43.45. The high bid on Elvis is at $70 of Jason Boxel. Both near mint and pristine, near mint Japanese pressings. Okay, let me adjust my neck and spine. Ooh, that felt pretty good. So this was actually some stuff from last week, some stuff from last night. I'm just going to read titles one more time. We have The Cure. That's a live unofficial. We have The Disturbed. And we have White Snake. Also Joy Division. We have Disturbed Indestructible. The Ramones. Echo and the Bunny Men. Smashing Pumpkins. The X-Files soundtrack. Disturbed Immortalized. Last copy. Also, we have Miles Davis Nefertiti, Extreme 2 Porner Graffiti, Greta Van Fleet, Alice Cooper Classics, Blackberry Smoke, Greta Van Fleet, Greta Van Fleet, Greta Van Fleet, Bruce Dickinson, Queens Rock, yes. Cure, Way Riley Hubbard, Depeche Mode, Fleetwood Mac, Dwight Yoakam, yes. Volume 1 and 2 of that live unofficial. The NWA, Pixies, Pussifer, Fritz the Cat, Dirty Dancing, and Sleep. Some really good titles in there. She's referring to The Cure, uh, Not Like This. This is a Cure live concert. 1985 is when it was recorded. September 20th, 1985 in Birmingham, UK. This was recorded. It's a live concert by The Cure. It's on colored vinyl. They've pressed 300 of this particular one. $33.99. A Night Like Us. That was music recorded the night of September 20th, 1985. It is an unofficial recording, which means this is a unofficial, unauthorized pressing. Sandy Mile gets the cure, and we have Eli Wants Disturbed Indestructible. That was right here. That was Disturbed Indestructible. That is sold to uh, Eli Tomlinson. Charles Verano Wants a Blackberry Smoke, You Hear Georgia. That is sold to Charles Verano. And Duran Duran, Duran Duran has a high bid of $55 with Jason Boxel. He also has a high bid on Elvis for 80 And if you can't see already, Tonight is Japanese night. We have a whole crate of Japanese auctions to go through. Anybody else on anything in here? Just let me know. Uh, we have, um, let's see what we're going to do. Paul's got three crates he's marked. I've got, um, I've got a bin of new vinyl that I kind of compiled. I went through and pulled some stuff that I was like, hadn't shown this in a while, hadn't shown this in a while. And I think that's the first crate I'm going to do right now. And then we got two crates of putbacks, which I've got to flip through them right quick. I should say not putbacks. A lot of it's non-payments, I think. And maybe I've got some stuff that I've got to, we got to figure out uh, one auction here that sold for quite a bit. We got to figure out possibly who's, uh, whose ticket it needs to go on. So I think we had a stray auction claim or an auction winning one night and it went on the wrong ticket. It was a pricey record, but nobody ever said anything. So uh, we may just re-auction it, but I'll show it. I think I know who got it, but... Uh, we have every once in a while, out of 10,000 records, we miss tag one or two, so that happens. All right, so let's go back. Both auctions are still getting bids, except Elvis. Elvis has a high bid now. Jason Boxel has it for $80. All right, so let's go through this crate and see what's in here. Everything in here is new and sealed. Now, we've had a lot of questions lately about this, so let me explain what new and sealed. Everything in here is new and sealed, meaning these have been manufactured probably within the last three months, six months, eight months, or a year. These have been manufactured. These are brand new pressings. Everything in here is new and sealed, brand spanking new, just to clarify that. So, for example, when I show this record, I'll go ahead and make it the first record. This is Jimi Hendrix. Obviously, this album came out 1969, I believe. 68, 69. This is not from 1968 or 69. This is new and sealed, pressed at QRP, 180 gram remaster pressing. Here uh, lately, we've had some people confused on what I mean by new and sealed. There were some people buying some stuff thinking maybe it was possibly OG. I wish. I wish I had sealed bins full of Rob Zombie and Jane's Addiction and stuff like that. These are new, that were original sealed for these prices. They would be gone very fast. These is all new and sealed pressings. Remasters, pressed in 2023, pressed in 2024. That is what we mean by new and sealed. Also, somebody wants 
uh, disturbed. Let me make sure if I still have that one. If not, let me see what just came in. Okay. So, uh, disturbed, indestructible. Uh, Darren, I don't have that one. Only thing I have left is immortalized. So, immortalized, yes. Immortalized is the only one I have left. So, Darren Wartman, I'll have to put you on a waiting list for indestructible if that's okay. Only thing I have left is immortalized if you're all right with a waiting list on that. New person does not mean new material. That's also correct. This also doesn't mean that it's new music by that artist. Like Jimi Hendrix, obviously, this album came out 50 years ago. Speaking of, this is Electric Ladyland. This is an all-analog remaster two-track, $34.99, has an eight-page book. Jimi Hendrix is eight, uh, new and sealed, $34.99. That's a 2LP. Rob Zombie, Hell Billy Deluxe, $34.99 on Rob Zombie, Hell Billy Deluxe. $34.99 on Rob Zombie. Dragula's on there. Two copies of that. One pressing of The Crow, $44.99. The Crow, $44.99. There's also a point to make. Some people's like, I only want OG. And I'm like, well, some of these are like, it's the first time it is on vinyl. So some people's like, I'll hold out for an OG. I'll like show an Alice in Chains. And I'm like, well, there's not really an OG facelift. I mean, there kind of is, but they're only foreign pressings. And good luck getting one, you know, so... Uh, but that's kind of what's the deal. Some of this is like it's the first time on vinyl. These are the OGs, even though they're new. There, or there is no OG. So if you want it on vinyl, this is like sometimes your only option. Lucas Patterson gets the crow. That's so to Lucas Patterson. Let's put Darren Wartman on Disturbed Indestructible. Disturbed Indestructible. Now, we have an out on Duran Duran, so let's go ahead and make this a final call to Jamie Wills Erickson for $66. And we have Elvis. We're about to sell Elvis. Or actually, let's go ahead and sell it. Jason Boxel has been the high bidder for quite some time. Jason Boxel gets that for 80 And let me go ahead and bring my box of sleeves closer because all these Japanese records, they've been cleaned and put in Japanese sleeves, the outer sleeves. But I like putting them in our sleeves. I'm kind of picky about that. So I'll be putting these all in new sleeves tonight. Let me go ahead and set this right here. Got a whole box. I got a box of 1,000 sleeves I just opened over here. I told y'all we go through these things. They crack open a new box of a thousand sleeves often. So this is Elvis in person. And this is at the International Hotel. That's sold to Jason Boxel for $80. Somebody said, tell me about the Duran Duran. This is a Japanese pressing of Duran Duran. The name of the album is Duran Duran. It's a Japanese pressing, EMS 91062. Has the Japanese insert, has a Japanese solicitation form. The vinyl's near mint minus and pristine. It has a final call. For $66 with Jamie Wills Erickson. We sold The Crow. We have not pulled Freddie Villarreal or Rob Zombie. Freddie Villarreal wants a Rob Zombie. That is $34.99. So Jimi Hendrix, Rob Zombie. Misfits Evil Live is $33.99. Misfits Evil Live is $33.99. Queen's Greatest Hits. This is an Abbey Road Half Speed Remaster, $39.99. And I want to make sure everybody knows or I've asked everybody to like the Facebook post. Please hit the thumbs up button on the Facebook post. Please hit the thumbs up button on the YouTube video. We would greatly appreciate it. The more likes those keep getting, the more people who keep viewing over on YouTube, they keep suggesting our videos to new customers for free, which is amazing. That's why we've had a thousand new followers over there since uh, Saturday night. So thank you for continuing to hit the like button. That consistency really helps. How about a near mint minus and pristine Japanese pressing of Billy Joel, 52nd Street? The vinyl's near mint minus and pristine. It has one Japanese insert. It has another Japanese insert. Very nice cover of Obi. Billy Joel is a $35 start. Y'all know the what's going on here with Queen's Greatest Hits, right? $39.99. That's self-explanatory. Dave Matthews Band. This is Remember Two Things, $39.99. The sensational debut album, Dave Matthews Band, $39.99. And Creed, Human Clay, $39.99. Two LP, first time this was ever reissued. The originals are very difficult to come by. Creed, Human Clay, $39.99. Last copy, I saw that in a stray bin. I was like, boy, we better pull that. We also got Tyler Childers Purgatory, $28.99 for Tyler Childers Purgatory. We have three of those still left. And Genesis, another half-speed master. This is $33.99 for Invisible Touch, probably my favorite Genesis album. That is $33.99. Brooks Paget wants a Tyler Childers. Thank you, Brooke. That's so to you. Let's go ahead and sell that Duran Duran. 
Brooke, we got some Japanese Elvis albums tonight. We've already sold one. Jamie Wills Erickson gets the Rand Rand for $66. That is gone. And let's go ahead and introduce the Billy Joe as a final call. The Japanese pressing of that is a $35 start. $35 start on Billy Joe before it's a buy now. Bad Company, that's on clear vinyl. Their self-titled debut album. $33.99 for Bad Company. Nice gay faux jacket. Heart Dream Boat Annie, another popular classic rock staple, new and sealed, $33.99 for Heart Dream Boat Annie, Love Side 1 on that, and Megadeth, peace sales, but who's buying? Megadeth is $36.99 for Megadeth. Billy Joel, just got a bid, Jason Boxel has that for $35. That's going once, that's going twice to Jason Boxel. Next Japanese pressing, 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 is the FM soundtrack. A Japanese pressing of the FM soundtrack. This is going to be a $35 start. It's a 2LP, an amazing compilation of music. New and, not new and sealed, a Japanese pressing. This is a 2LP. The vinyl is near mint minus and pristine. I almost said new and sealed. New mint minus and pristine. What you would expect from a Japanese pressing. There's the book. There's the Japanese insert. Gay folk cover of Obi. $35 start on that. Megadeth is still available. We got two copies of Winona. That's on pink vinyl, $33.99, Winona Judd. And we have the other album as well, but I'll show this one for right now. The original solo debut, first time it was ever reissued, that is $33.99. And we have the Rankin Tours. That is Consolers of the Lonely. Still have those in stock for $36.99. The Rankin Tours also have two copies of Morgan Wallen, If I Know Me. Morgan Wallen's $29.99. And we still have the Aussie on blue vinyl, the Record Store Day Essential, Bark at the Moon. And that is on blue vinyl for $34.99. All right, nobody else bid on Billy Joe. That's sold to Jason Boxel for $35. That's sold and it's gone. Jason Boxel gets that for $35. And let's go ahead and see, I think a bid on FM came in. Let's see what else just came in there. FM has a bid for 35 and Susie Brood Breedlove wants Morgan Wallen. That's sold to Susie Breedlove, and she says pass on Morgan Wallen. Okay. We have Black Flag, slip it in, $33.99. Godsmack is $39.99. Larry Drish says he'll take a Jimi Hendrix. Jimi Hendrix is sold to Larry Drish. That was Electric Ladyland. We also have Cake, Fashion Nugget. Cake is $33.99. Fashion Nugget, Soundgarden Super Unknown is $46.99. Soundgarden Super Unknown, Jane's Addiction, $33.99. Nothing shocking, Jane's Addiction. There's our nightly nudity. Tedeschi Trucks Band, Made at Mine. That's a music on vinyl pressing. For $46.99, it's a 2LP. Wasp Dominator is $29.99. And Collect the Soul, Hence Allegations and Things Left Unsaid is $33.99. So FM's at $40 with Paul Brothers. Everybody else is out. Our next Japanese auction is going to be Night Ranger, Midnight Madness, featuring the smash hit single Sister Christian. This is in shrink wrap with the OB and the inserts. The vinyl is near mint minus and pristine. And this is going to be... A $35 star, Night Ranger, Midnight Madness. There's the LP. It comes with this Japanese book, Night Ranger Special Issue. It comes with this book, also unique to the Japanese pressing. There's the actual Japanese insert. And then there's the cover with Obi and shrink wrapped. $35 start on that. If anybody else wants anything in here, just let me know. We had Collective Soul, Wasp, Tedeschi Trucks, Jane's Addiction, Soundgarden, Cake, Godsmack, Black Flag, Ozzy, Morgan Wallen, Rankin Tours, Winona Judd, Megadeth, Hart, Bad Company, Genesis, Tyler Childers, Creed, Dave Matthews Band, Queen, Misfits, Rob Zombie, and Jimi Hendrix. Great stuff there. Great stuff there. If anybody wants to think, it's all new and sealed. First question was, what was the Wasp? That is Dominator, new and sealed, $29.99. Next is Night Ranger 3535, FM's at 50. If I was to buy my first Soundgarden record, suggestion. Uh, Super Unknown is a great pick. Uh, Super Unknown or, yeah, probably Super Unknown. Probably this one right here. That's got Black Hole Sun on it. Uh, Spoon Man, Fell on Black Days, Let Me Drown, My Waves on there, The Day I Tried to Live. That's a good one. And then we have uh, Brian Thurman says he will take a wasp. Somebody said, which wasp? It's Wasp Dominator, $29.99. And Tony Murphy says he'll take Soundgarden. Oh, boy. Welcome to the world of Chris Cornell. Joshua suggested Badfinger. And we have new bids on Night Ranger. And FM is now at $50 with Paul Brothers. That's a final call. A-Sides is good, too, because A-Sides is like a hits compilation. 
All right, we've already been through two crates of new vinyl, just some recap in there, but I kind of handpicked all those around here, and I was like, well, let's go through those and see what we got. Let's go through the first crate that Paul has prepared for us here. Let me find it. I think it was right here. I do have a restock of a Led Zeppelin box set that there was a waiting list for. I'll show that in just a second, but let's go ahead and go through these LPs right here. We're about to wrap up FM. We got some great auctions tonight, mostly Japanese stuff, but FM is a final call to Paul Brothers for $50 pristine Japanese pressing, and John Franz IV is at $40 on Night Ranger. We have Aftershave, Skin Deep, an unofficial reissue of a Swiss Prague album, $29.99, $29.99 on that. Also, Roadwork Volume 1, Heavy Metal is a Pose, Hard Rock is a Lashdell, Live in Europe, 1998. That is sealed, $79.99. 1999 German import Psych Hard Rock album sealed 79.99 Roadwork Volume One on trial live at Gutter Island that is also sealed 29.99 a 2007 Denmark Stoner Rock album Stoner Rock on trial that is 29.99 Monks demo tapes 1965 that is sealed 29.99 a 2007 Spanish import that is sealed for 29.99 and we have or a Colo, I believe, a 1988 Italian import, a 60s beat compilation, 60s beat compilation, and that is $59.99. All right, nobody else bid on FM. This is sold to Paul Brothers for $50. Nice pickup there. Kind of has like an embossed foil cover as well with Obi. FM is gone. $50 to Paul Brothers. Thank you, Paul. By the end of the night, we're going to end up selling this entire bin of Japanese stuff over here. Very very quickly and easily, hopefully. Usually that's how it goes. Let me try to put this back in a sleeve for Paul. I'll grab another auction in just one minus 10 seconds. But before I do anything else, Night Ranger has got a new bid. We was at 40 with John Franz the fourth, and then we had a new bid for 42 of Hayden Ernest, and we have a new bid for 44. Continuing, we have the Atomic Bitch Wax 2. A 2000 U.S. Stoner Rock album, that is $99.99, that is sealed. Also, The Meters, New Directions, also sealed, 180 gram ratio of The Meters, $34.99 on that. And The Demons, Stockholm Slump, limited edition colored vinyl, sealed, $24.99, a 2002 U.S. Punk, should be on yellow vinyl, that is sealed, $24.99. The Beatles, sneaking in on the left. This is The Beatles, 67 to 70, blue vinyl, Japanese pressing. It has the Japanese insert with it. We had one of these the other night. It has both original under sleeves, and it's on fantastic blue Japanese vinyl. This is a $55 start. There's one LP. There's the original lyric insert. There's LP number two. There's the inner sleeve for that. Gatefold cover, typical Japanese quality, very solid, nice obi. No discoloration on anything on this. $55 start. $55 start on that. We're about to sell Night Ranger. It's at 44 of John Franz. Kelly Bagwell first on the meters, Mike Massey first on the demons, Josh Tanner next on the demons, the Beatles has bids for 55 and 55. Red Temple Spirits, a 1980 U.S. goth rock, psych rock, post-punk record, $49.99 for the Red Temple Spirits. Also, this is $34.99, and what do we have here? This is called, this is called the, I can't read it, it's $34.99, I see prog rock written on it, the Relayer album. The re the re the relayer album uh, for relayer interesting now on the back Paul has that notice as a seventy nine U S prog with original under sleeve thirty four ninety nine thirty four ninety nine the real kids is a nineteen ninety one U S punk reissue that's sealed for thirty four ninety nine and Howard and Tim's paid vacation I never met a girl I didn't like a nineteen eighty five U S power pop indie album. $14.99 on that. Nobody else bid on Night Ranger. That's officially sold to John Franz the fourth for $44. Night Ranger is sold to John Franz for $44. Man, moving through these Japanese LPs fast. Hope everybody's locked in. Feel like this is gonna be a fast-paced night. It certainly feels like it. The Beatles is at 61, 65, 66, 68, 70. Mike Massey wants the real kids. That's sold to Mike Massey. We have Blue Grooves with Paul Ansel's number nine featuring his very special guest. A 2002 UK Rockabilly Rock Country Rock album. That is $29.99. And Brownie McGee and Sonny Terry climbing up. This is $19.99, $19.84. Brownie McGee and Sonny Terry is $19.99. Jamie McCord wants the Tedeschi trucks from the previous band. You want it, you got it. 
Tedeschi Trucks Band, made up mine, $46.99, 2 LP music on vinyl pressing. If anybody else wants one, let me know so I can order you one. That one sold to Jamie McCord. And we have Bonfire, the return of the Fifth Order, a 2004 German import 60s garage band, $19.99. Mike Massey wants the Red Temple. That's sold to Mike Massey. Consider that sold to you. Jason Boxel has the Beatles at $70. Everybody else is out. All right, another iconic soundtrack. We've already done FM. This one's even more iconic. Grease, John Travolta, Olivia Newton-John, the soundtrack from the original motion picture of Grease. This thing's really cool. Always has a really cool Obi, kind of a custom deal there with them on the front. Two LPs. The vinyls are Near Mint Minus and Pristine. Has the Japanese booklet with it, and this is going to be a $35 start. $35 star. What was the first Stoner Rock album? That was On Trial, live at Gutter Island, a 2007 Denmark, sealed, $29.99. The Union. The Union is a 1986 U.S. alternate rock prog album. That is sealed, $44.99. We have an ad on the Beatles, Final Call for $70, and looking for a $35 start on the Grease soundtrack. It's complete and near mint. Very, very nice. Grease is a $35 start. Dead Girls Don't Cry. This is a 2004 U.S. Psychobilly record. It is sealed. That is sealed. $49.99 for Dead Girls Don't Cry. Dr. John, Such a Night, live in London. Dr. John is a 1984 U.K. import. Dr. John is $29.99. And what do we have here? It's a 1979 Parliament Funkadelic Related. This is $39.99, and it's called Fred Wesley and the Horny Horns, featuring Maceo Parker, Say Blow by Blow Backwards. $39.99 on that. We got a bid on Grease for $35. Jason Boxel was in first. Freddie Villarreal was second. Sideshow. Sideshow was a 1970 white label promo. Sideshow with a promo sticker on the front from Atlantic Records. $19.99 on Sideshow. And Simon Kane. Simon Kane is a 1970 U.S. psych record. $14.99. Josh Tanner wants Dead Girls Don't Cry. That's so to Josh Tanner. Colin Butler wants this one right here, which was the Fred Wesley, right? That's so to Colin Butler. And Hiram, or excuse me, um, Edwin Blom wants Sideshow. And let's go ahead and sell the Beatles. This is sold to Boxel. This is sold to Jason Boxel for $70. Jason gets the Beatles, 67 to 70 on blue vinyl. That is sold to Jason Boxel for $70. $70. That's sold to Jason Boxel. All right, let me put this in a sleeve for Jason. I'll go ahead and grab a new auction just a second. There is a couple new quick bids on Greece. We now have a $40 bid with Freddie Villarreal. Let's keep going through this new bin here. Victoria. This is a 1971 folk rock white label promo. Victoria is $14.99. Truth. I've had that before. Truth is a 1975 white label promo classic rock and funk album. I was about to say, uh, I've had that before. I think I've listened to it. Very interesting stuff there. Much Muck and the Myers, Muck and the Myers, one, two, three, four, a 2006 German import garage album. That's 1999. Edwin Blom wants truth. Edwin Blom gets truth. And Greg Ashley, uh, Painted Garden, that is sealed. A 2007 U.S. pressing folk sock indie album, sealed 1999. All right, so Greece has a high bid with Terry Gearhart for $42. Everybody else is out. Grease is at $42. Next auction is KC and the Sunshine Band with Obi. Very, very cool. $35 start on KC and the Sunshine Band. Boy, if you like high-quality Japanese pressings, we have a lot to go through tonight. This is a $35 start. Uh, this is a uh, orange RCA label, Japanese pressing, KC and the Sunshine Band with the Lyric Inner Sleeve. That's the way I like it. Get down tonight. $35 start with Obi. Very, very cool. Colin, you were second on Truth, but yes, you did get the Fred Wesley. You did get the Fred Wesley. Get, uh, Grease is at $42. If everybody's done bidding, please let me know. UK Subs, live at the Roxy. UK Subs is a 2000 Italian import remaster. $19.99 on that. And Sugar Creek Fortune. Sugar Creek is a 1982 promo hard rock album. $24.99 on Sugar Creek. I'm going to mute my mic for one second. All righty. Back up to the top. Mike Massey on UK subs. Jackie Reynolds wants Sugar Creek. We have a new bid on Grease for $45, and we have our opening bid on Casey and the Sunshine Band for $35. So both of them just got new bids. I uh, Phantoms. Uh, this is a 1998 Italian import beat garage album, $34.99. 
$34.99. And we have Earthquake, Rockin' in the World. This is a 1977 uh, hard rock album, $14.99. $14.99. And we have Grease at $50. And Mike Massey needs to put back UK subs. That's okay. So we still got UK subs live at the Roxy. A 2000 Italian import remaster. That's going back in there for $19.99. Terry Gearhart has Grease for 50 Final Call on Case in the Sunshine Band for $35. $35. The Palumas, this is Priorities, and this is Sealed, 1999, a 1988 U.S. hard rock album, Sealed for 1999. Cynthia Herdrin wants Earthquake. That's so to Cynthia Herdrin. Christopher Brusher was second. Cynthia Herdrin is going to get the U.K. subs that was put back. Any metal tonight. Maybe a few. Tomorrow is going to be a major metal night. We're talking stuff like OG Megadeth albums, OG Metallica albums. That kind of stuff is going to be heavy tomorrow. Really, we're going to be doing Japanese and other random stuff tonight. Mostly Japanese and other random stuff. But I do have a few, as usual, just to keep you interested, right? And we have Orange Juice, You Can't Hide Your Love Forever. This is an original 1982 UK with original on sleeve, $49.99. Chaz, is it possible to let us know when the Japanese ones are OG first press? I don't have that information on these tonight. Usually with these, I just put them out and sell them. I can tell you that most of them are probably going to be, none of these are new, uh, if that helps you out. Like, none of the Japanese stuff tonight is going to be modern or new. These are all vintage original pressings, but there's... I'm, I don't have the information if it's a first press or a reissue, anything like that. I'm pretty sure that OB is the original, and I'm pretty sure the OB on this one's original, but I don't have that information ready tonight, so I won't be able to tell you. Otherwise, I would have took a, it would took a whole night just to research all these. So usually the Japanese stuff, we just put out for sale. I show you the OB. I should tell you if it's pristine, which most of it is, but I don't have all the specifics on these. Uh, first is Lucas on orange juice. Lucas gets orange juice. Next is Final Solutions. This is a 2004 U.S. punk album, $34.99 on that. But just for an update, Grease has a high bid of 50 with Terry Gearhart, and we have one bid on Casey and the Sunshine Band for 35 also of Terry Gearhart. Mike Massey gets final. I don't have any 45s ready tonight. You and that other guy is probably ready to fight me. Man. I worked on, I've got a crate over here of some auctions that I'm about to bring over. And after I signed off last night at, I guess, almost 2 a.m., after 2 a.m., uh, that's what took me the rest of the night before I finally went home. So uh, we just don't have enough time to price stuff. It's, it's incredible how much stuff we have to price back there. More Rockabilly with Benny Joy. This is a 1981 pressing, 1999. So once again, no 45s. There's only about 50000 back there for us to mark, and that's not an exaggeration. Rock and Ravens, I Wish. That is a 1983 U.S. Rockabilly album. That is sealed for $14.99. And we have Gotcha, Getcha Some, the Ray Pittman Band. This is sealed for $69.99. A 1981 U.S. Private Press Southern Rock album, sealed $69.99. Can we split clear which Lucas? It wasn't me. Lucas... That Lucas H got orange juice. Lucas Hanoft. Lucas Hanoft gets orange juice. That's sold to Lucas Hanoft. Okay, and then final solution was sold to uh, Mike Massey, and then Nick Bargeron was second. Casey got a new bid, and that immediately put out Terry, and he says he's done. And so Grease is officially sold now to Terry Gearhart for $50. Grease is sold for $50 to Terry Gearhart, and Debbie Winston gets Casey and the Sunshine Band for $36. Casey and the Sunshine Band for $36. That is sold, and that is sold. So Sandy, it, like I said, I wish I could tell you exactly, but, boy, if you're looking for just true first OG pressings on these Japanese pressings, that's going to be tough. Some of these are tough to find first pressings of with Obies. Oh, my gosh. Like some of these albums I got tonight, the actual first pressings with Obi are extremely rare on some of these. Uh, very, very rare on some of these. Casey and the Sunshine Band. That is sold to Debbie Winston for $36. Let me show a few more albums. We have Basementsville, Basementsville USA, a 2000 Italian import garage comp, $29.99 for Basementville. And smoke them if you got them, the Reverend Horton Heat. That's an original 1990, $99.99. An original 1990, $99.99. Brad, give me, I've got that right, uh, 45 sleeves. Yes, I got to go get them. Give me one second. Well, how about I tell you how much they are? I think a pack of, uh, I don't know. I think a pack of 100, don't hold me to this. 
You'll have to give me a second. We have Saturday Night Fever. We have 2LP, Japanese pressing, Saturday Night Fever. This is a $35 start. The vinyl is very nice. I think this is the one I set aside. Hold on a second. Is it this LP? Aha, uh -huh, yes. This LP has a weird scuff mark on it right there. As you can see, that's like very unusual for these Japanese pressings. Very unusual. But that is uh, a $35 start. That will, just an odd scuff on it. Definitely nothing you can feel on that one. Does have the Japanese insert. And, yeah, this one's nice though. Just that one mark on it. $35 start for Saturday Night Fever. Music by the Bee Gees, Casey and the Sunshine Band. And check this out. Yngwie Malmsteen's Rising Force, Marching Out, Japanese pressing. This is a $35 start. It has, um, it has a little bit of some like discoloration right here on the, on the vinyl right there. Very odd on that one as well to see that on there. But side two is your typical Near Mint Minus and Pristine. But side one's not. We'll call it EX. $35 on Ingve Momstein. So those are $35 and $35. Neither one of those marks are going to affect playback guaranteed. All right, let's go back to the top, make sure I didn't miss anything. We had a pass on that, and we have the Fuzz Tones. The Fuzz Tones is a 1992 U.S. pressing on apricot colored vinyl. $44.99 on the Fuzz Tones. Monster a go go. Monster's a go go. Brooks Vauder wants guns. And that was for, what was that for? And Las Vegas Grind. Las Vegas Grind. Various Artists Compilation, $24.99. Las Vegas Grinds, $24.99. Cynthia Herdron on Fuzz Tones. That's so to Cynthia Herdron. We have Devil's Children. Devil's Children, Australian Garage Comp. And this is $29.99. Devil's Children, 14 Australian 60s beat and punk rarities. Josh Tanner wants Las Vegas Grind. That's so to Josh Tanner. Time Between, a tribute to the birds. Tribute to the birds, a 1989 UK birds compilation. Tribute album, 1999. Dave Taylor, Jive, Jive, Jive. Dave Taylor is a 1981 UK import boogie album, 1799 on Dave Taylor. Also, original 50s recordings, great labels of the South. A 1981 Netherlands import, it's a rockabilly compilation. 1799. Brooks, I see your comment for guns, but I really don't know what that was for. Back from the Grave Special Edition, The Tempos, Raw 66 Garage Punk, a 1987 U.S. 60s Garage Band sealed, 39.99. So update on Saturday Night Fever, one bid for Terry Gearhart, $35. Also, Ingve is at uh, 43 with Matt Crum, 43 with Matt Crum. Everybody else is out. Yard Trauma, Yard Trauma Music. A 1986 German import garage sock record, $14.99 on Yard Trauma. Vietnam Veterans Catfish Eyes, a 1987 German import garage sock record as well, $19.99. How much was the Devil's Children's Comp? Devil's Children's Comp. Neil Rigler, that was $29.99. An Australian garage comp, $29.99. Vicky's in on Saturday Night Fever at $37. Terry, you've been outbid. Sir Dance a Lot at his dancing, romancing pra Prince Tears. Death to False Twist. That is sealed, $29.99. Has some nudity on the back. That is a 2000 US Lo Fi Garage Punk. That is sealed, $29.99. Also, the living legend, Charlie Feathers, that's a 1979 Netherlands import, $17.99. And Ray Kondo and his hard rock goners, Hot and Cold, a 1988 Canadian rockabilly country album, $34.99. Brooks said guns again. Brooks, I'm not for sure what that was for. Uh, Brooks must have a bad connection or something. Uh, I saw guns, and then she said test, or he said test. And then there was another Guns comment. Not for sure what that was for. All right, Edwin, give me one second because that Stoner Rock album's right in here. There was actually three in there that was billed as Stoner Rock. There was three different ones. So just let me go back through them all one more time very quickly. We got 270 viewers on right now. I need everybody to like the Facebook post. Everybody like the YouTube video. If you haven't already, please make sure you have shared. Uh, Sean Holford, are you out on Yngwie? Matt Crum had it for $43. It's going to make sure Sean was out. Saturday Night Fever is at 40 with Terry Gearhart. Vicky Allison, you've been outbid. Let's run through those very quickly one more time. That's a crate. That's a crate from... 
Uh, that's a crate from uh, New Orleans for sure. Paul's got two more like that marked for us. I've got a bin of putbacks to go through after this crate. I've got a whole crate of putback stuff. That's stuff they didn't get paid for, stuff people wanted to put back, stuff they got mistagged and we never did find the right owner, et cetera, et cetera. So that could be, that could be, uh, that could be some great stuff in there, including auctions. Never seen my comment on your feed. It definitely popped up. However, I'm not for sure what you were trying to claim. So we have Aftershave, Skin Deep, an unofficial reissue Swiss Prague album, $29.99 on Aftershave, Skin Deep. Roadwork Volume 1 is a 1999 German import Psych Hard Rock album. That is sealed, $79.99. Monk's Demos Tapes, 1965, a 2007 Spanish import, sealed, $29.99. Uh, or a Calo, that's an 88 Italian import, 60s beat comp, $59.99. Also, we have the Atomic Bitch Wax 2, a 2000 U.S. Stoner Rock album, sealed, $99.99. That's the first one, the Atomic Bitch Wax, that's sealed, $99.99. And we have a 1979 U.S. Prague with original on her sleeve, $34.99. We have a new bid on Vicki Allison's Saturday Night Fever. She's at $42, so Terry, you're back out. Let's go ahead and sell Matt Crum Ingve. He gets that for a great price of $43. That's sold to Matt Crum. Ingve is gone. Japanese pressing with Obi. Should have shaved, should have saved that or shaved it. Save that for tomorrow night's metal auction for sure. All right, let's put that back in there. And yes, I'll do a bin of putbacks next for sure. For sure. Welcome everybody. It's Wednesday night. Here's the agenda. After we go through all that new stuff, new stuff, putbacks, um, and then discount bins, and then we're gonna go through some movie posters again at midnight tonight. So we're just getting started. Terry, let me know he's out on that final call. Let's go ahead and show Howard and Tim's paid vacation, $14.99. That was an 85 Power Indie album. Howard and Tim's paid vacation, $14.99. Blue Grooves with Paul Ansel's number nine, $29.99, a 2002 Rockabilly Rock Country album. Uh, Edwin Blom does want the rainbow. This one right here, is that what rainbow means? This for right here? which was called the Relayer album. I'm assuming that's so to Edwin Blom. Next is Brown and McGee and Sonny Terry. Kind of surprised that's still there. Climbing up on the Savoy Jazz label, 1984 US, 1999. And Bonfire, The Return of the Fifth Order. That's 1999. All right, Saturday Night Fever is sold to Vicky Allison for $42. Nice. Got a whole crate of Japanese stuff over here we're chipping away at. But at this rate, boy, at this rate, we might sell half of them during the first crate tonight. We might sell half of the Japanese stuff before we're done with the first crate. Everybody's doing a real good job of saying out. If you say out, see how fast we can move through auctions? Pretty crazy. Here's another one. On trial, live at Gutter Island. This is a 2007 Denmark pressing. That's also Stoner Rock. On trial, $29.99. Ryan Anderson wants the Atomic album. That's so to Ryan Anderson. Henry Paredes wants Sonny and Brownie. That's so to Henry Paredes. Chipping away at this bin. The Union. The Union is a 1986 U.S. alternate rock prog album. Sealed, $44.99. And Dr. John, such a night, $29.99. Vicky Allison, my first Japanese press. Welcome to the addiction. Welcome to the addiction. I love Japanese pressings. I love the Obies. I love the how nice the jackets are, the additional artwork, all kinds of great stuff that is attributed to the Japanese pressings. Here is our next two. This is Elvis, Aloha from Hawaii via satellite. This is a 2LP live classic. I guess before uh, the Super Bowls really grew in popularity, this was the most viewed television broadcast up until like, or except for the moon landing or something like that. There was millions and millions of people who watched this live on TV. The Elvis Aloha via satellite Japanese pressing with OB top copy from Japan, $35 start on that. And really cool here, Jackson Brown's debut album, Jackson Brown self-titled, Dr. My Eyes, also near mint minus and pristine. That's a $35 start with Japanese insert, $35 start on Jackson Brown. Back up to the top. Brooks Vauder says, Guns and Roses, Appetite. Huh. Well, I'm not for sure what that is because I haven't shown that tonight. I think Brooks is having some major miscommunications or may possibly on the wrong feed. Uh, details on Aftershave, Aftershave. Details on Aftershave, Aftershave, Skin Deep, a Swiss prog album, Gatefold, $29.99. It's an unofficial pressing. That probably means the original is very rare and probably no one really knows who owns the master. It's probably one of those situations. 
unofficial, $29.99. That was the next comment from Edwin Blom. And then what was the album starting with Drop? Dr. John is $29.99. $29.99, a 1984 UK compilation. Uh, we have Edwin Blom. Edwin Blom on After, Aftershave. Okay, and then the feed is freezing. That's okay. We'll keep going. Simon Kane is a 1970, 1970 psych rock album from the U.S., $14.99. Victoria is a 1971 folk rock white label promo. This is $14.99, Victoria. That was on the San Francisco label, a white label promo, $14.99. And we have Much, uh, Muck and the Mirrors. Muck and the Mirrors, a 2006 German import garage album, $19.99. Uh, Neil Rigler on Dr. John. Uh, Neil, are you a first-time buyer with us? Let me know. Say if you are or are not a first-time buyer. Neil Rigler, I'm going to go ahead and tag you with the Dr. John. Then I'll have to give you some first-time buyer instructions. And then Cynthia Herdron said, I didn't hear about the record I asked about. That was Oracolo, O-R-A. I think that's an O, Oracolo. Oracolo is a 1988 Italian import, 60s beat compilation, $59.99. Neil's a first-time buyer. Neil, thank you and welcome. Make sure you message our Facebook page. We need a message with your email address and your mailing address. Your email address and your mailing address. Send that to a Facebook message to our Facebook inbox. Thank you and welcome. Welcome to Coletco. We do this every night. We do this every night. If you're interested in stuff like Dr. John, you're going to see lots of stuff related to that tonight, probably. All right, now, we had a connection problem, so let me update Jackson Brown. Jackson Brown was a $35 start. Tommy Flowers bid first. I don't see David Johnson on watching tonight unless he's being quiet. He's going to miss a whole night of Japanese stuff. Tommy Flowers is the only person to bid on this for $35. Tommy Flowers has it for $35. And then the Elvis has a high bid. The last person who bid on Elvis was Jason Boxel at $70. Jason Boxel at $70. Everybody else is done. So that's the high bid on those. All right, let's go back up to the top. We have Greg Ashley. That was uh, Painted Garden. That was sealed, $19.99. New bid on Jackson Brown for $38. I Phantoms. That was a 1988 Italian import beat garage record, $34.99. Yes, these bins take a little bit more, longer to go through. Uh, there's a lot of interesting stuff. I literally have to explain every one of them, the pressing and the genre and the year on every one of them because they're quite complicated. Uh, Debbie Winston wants RA. RA was for, let me know what that was for. We have Pilumus Priorities. That's sealed 1999, a 1988 U.S. rock album. Sealed 1999. More Rockabilly with Benny Joy. That is a 1981 pressing, 1999. Also, Rock and Ravens, I Wish. This is a 1983 U.S. Rockabilly album, sealed, $14.99. She said that was for Rick uh, Ashley. This is Greg Ashley, sealed. Greg Ashley, just to confirm that one. Uh, Get You Some, the Ray Pittman Band, uh, sealed, $69.99. A 1981 U.S. Private Press Southern Rock album, sealed, $69.99. Was Simon Cain, $14.99. Simon Cain, was $14.99. Yes, Jackson. 1970 Psych Rock album. Basementville, USA. That's a compilation. It's a 2000 Italian pressing of import 60s garage comp, $29.99. Jackson Blaylock sold on Simon Cain. So let's move Elvis to a final call. This is now at $70 of Jason Boxel. Final call to Jason for $70. And we have Jackson Brown got a new bid for $38. Tommy Flower set out. Ron Phillips has that for 38, final call. And then we have a new bid on Elvis Presley for 75. 99.99. This is $100, but that's because it's an original 1990 pressing on Sub Pop and it's sealed. It's never been open of Reverend Horton Heat. Smoke them if you got them. It is an original sealed record from 1990 on Sub Pop, 99.99. Time Between, a tribute to the birds. That is a 1989 UK Birds tribute album. 1999, various artists doing birds. I see Dinosaur Jr. on here. The Barracudas, the Icicle Works. That's they're doing bird songs. Richard Thompson's on here. 1999, Paul Ogley gets the Reverend Horton Heat. That's so to Paul Ogley. Dave Taylor, Jive, Jive, Jive. A 1981 UK Boogie album. 1799, Final Call on Jackson Brown. Ron Phillips has that for $38. Originals 50s Recordings. 
the original 50s recordings. This is 1799, a 1981 Netherlands, 1981 Netherlands compilation. Back to the Grave Special Edition, The Tempos. That is sealed, a 1987 U.S. 60s garage band, The Tempos. Look at that cover. Back to the Grave Special Edition. That's a 60s garage band. Yard Trauma, $14.99 for Yard Trauma. And we have Vietnam Veterans. This is a 1987 German import garage psych album. 1999. $19.99. Devil's Children, 14 Australian 60s beat and punk rarities. That's $29.99 for Devil's Children. We have Sir Dance a Lot and his dancing, romancing Prince and Tears. Death's the False Twist. There is some nudity on the back. That's sealed, $29.99. Also, the legend, the living legend, Charlie Feathers, Rockabilly, $17.99, and Ray Kondo in his hard rock goners, Hot and Cold, and this is $34.99, a 1988 Canadian Rockabilly country. All right, Jackson Brown is sold to Ron Phillips for $38, Sandy Mile Jackson Brown year. I don't have the year on the Japanese pressings tonight, Sandy. I will not be able to tell you. I can probably guess, but I won't be able to tell you the year on any of these Japanese pressings with absolute certainty. I would have to look up every one of them, which I won't be able to do. But I can promise you these are all vintage pressings. I won't be able to tell you exactly what year on any of these, though. That would take... Uh, we've already sold half of a crate. We would already be on the first two or three if I had to do that. Elvis has got lots of new bids. Jason Boxel is still the high bidder at 90. Josh Tanner, let me know if you want back in. And Neil Riger says tempos. Just look on the label. You can't just look on a label to get a year. You just can't look at a label. you got to actually run the matrix and do a confirmation. We have Neil Riger on the tempos. That is so to Neil Riger. That is so to Neil Riger. You can't just look at a copyright day or a label you, to confirm a year you have to actually run the matrix on Discogs. And even when you do that, sometimes you got to sort through variants on the OBs and you got to sort through markings on the cover. You can't just look at a copyright date and confirm which year. That's You're going to get be misled on a lot of different stuff. I saw somebody saying they were Discogs in their collection and they were scanning barcodes. That's another thing. You can't just scan a barcode because some of these, like Radiohead, Radiohead has been using the same barcode since the 90s. So you can have a brand new Radiohead and you can scan the barcode and it's going to put up all these different pressings everywhere from the 90s all the way through the 2000s. So there's, you can't just look at a, a copyright date and say that's the year. Uh, that will be very misleading. Some of these new pressings don't even have a new copyright. It has the same copyright date from the 70s on them. So you just can't look by that. This is Vision Quest, a classic soundtrack, $35 start. But what I've said is none of these are new pressings, if that helps you out. But I won't be able to tell you the exact year on all these. Vision Quest, $35 start. Vinyl's near mint minus and pristine. This is in shrink wrap of Obi. $35 start on Vision Quest. $35 start on Vision Quest. Elvis, Josh Tanner's out. We're about to sell that to Jason Boxel for $90. Let's go through our first bin of putbacks. There could be all kinds of stuff in the putbacks. That's our first crate. Very interesting stuff in there. We may go back through those as a recap later tonight. I do have one. There is only one box of new vinyl that came in tonight, which is this special, this deal I've been running on motherships. And let me pull up the waiting list. So the other night we showed motherships for $119.99 when we were selling out of all of our box sets. And I was like, all right, here's what I'll do. I'll sell these for $105 if anybody wants one. We sold out, then I got another restock, and then I honored that same price, and I've just been selling them for 105 and everybody's been grabbing a mothership. And I have a waiting list still. Two people, Steve Koch and Ken Clausen. Steve Koch and Ken Clausen. So if anybody else wants a mothership, these are $105. They're new and sealed. Led Zeppelin mothership, these are $105. They normally would be $119.99. I've sold a lot for that. I've got two people on a waiting list. $105 is the kind of the on-sale discount price. There's one for Steve Koch, and I'm going to give one to Ken Clausen. I've got three left, and that's essentially a Led Zeppelin Greatest Hits. It's a 4LP. There is no other Led Zeppelin Hits compilation that's in print. That's pretty much it. Uh, they did that later days, early days in the late 90s, 2000s, but uh, this is it. It's a 4LP box. I'll do them for $105, 105 on Led Zeppelin. Led Zeppelin, 105, and I need some empty crates. Everybody let me know where you're watching from. I got to step to the back and I got to get sleeves. 
I've got to get outer sleeves, inner sleeves, and I've got to get some more empty crates. So I need like a 30-second timeout before we get started on this put-back bin. Everybody talk amongst yourselves. Let me know where you're watching from, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Now, empty crate. Never have everything up here that I need. All right, let's go back up to the top. Very always interested to see where everybody's watching from. When I walked away, we sold the Tempos, and then we have an out on Elvis. We had a $35 bid on Vision Quest, and we have, um, we have Nicholas Bennington. Nicholas, if you're a first-time buyer, Nicholas Bennington. I don't know if I've said your name too many times. Let's sell Nicholas Bennington a Led Zeppelin for $105. That's sold to Nicholas Bennington, $105. Let me scroll down to the bottom. Make sure no other bids or claims came in. I don't think so. We can go ahead and sell Elvis. Elvis is sold for $90 to $90 to Jason Boxel. And Vision Quest got that first bid for $35, I think, with Mike Torres. Arm Lazelle, you bid second, but Mike was already in first on that. So, Nicholas, hopefully you're still watching. Second time buyer, thank you and welcome back. You get a Led Zeppelin for 105. Two more copies there if anybody wants them. 180 gram, 4 LP box with book. 105, if I can catch my breath. Whew, I just like ran to the back. 105, I got two of those left. There's an empty crate. I didn't even have to go to the back. I could have just took those out. That's okay. All right, let me go through this first bin of putbacks here and see what's all in here. And uh, some of these still have stickies on them, which is okay. And I'll just peel all those off whenever we show them. We make sure there's nothing in here that was auctioned. If it is, we'll pull it back out and re-auction it like that was an auction. Let me check for auction stuff in here. Now, this crate is going to be really confusing, and I'll tell you why. Because there's new stuff in here and there's sealed stuff, so you'll really have to pay attention you'll really have to pay attention to what's been, uh, what's new and what's pre-owned. And I will tell you on everything. I'll say new and pre-owned or new and sealed or you won't hear me say anything at all. Okay, boy, this got a lot. Of, you're going to hear me rip off a lot of sticky notes on these things. So let's go ahead and do this right now. Okay, and uh, Vision Quest is at 38. If I missed anything else during that little time, you may have to send it again. Vision Quest is at 38. Let's get rolling again on auctions. I'll do this first thing here. This was either not paid for or something happened. I don't know. Lita Ford, live and deadly on limited edition blue vinyl. This is a $25 start. Lita Ford, live and deadly, 2004 blue vinyl sealed. Blue vinyl sealed. Lita Ford, live and deadly. This is going to be a $25 start. $25 start. Lita Ford, live and deadly, blue vinyl. $25 star. Vision Quest is at $39. All right. First thing we have here is Pearl Jam. This is the 2LP edition, new and sealed. That's the 2LP edition, $46.99. So we're going to be doing putbacks, non-payments, stuff that got mistagged. We got two full crates. There's always great stuff in here. Pearl Jam is the 30th anniversary 2LP, $46.99 on Pearl Jam. We also have Evanescence. That's the 20th anniversary of Fallen. That's on the pink and black indie exclusive colored vinyl. Bring Me to Life. That's $39.99 on Evanescence. 
Also, Dolly Parton, Rockstar. That is on purple vinyl. That's the 4LP purple vinyl box set of Dolly Parton, Rockstar. $64.99 on Dolly. And I don't know what that is. Steve Smith, we'll figure it out in just a second. We have Pink Floyd, Italy, Volume 2. Pink Floyd, Italy, Volume 2, $44.99. Pink Floyd, Italy, Volume 2, 1971, $44.99. On that. So, first update on our auctions Vision Quest 42. Lita Ford got up to 35. First person to 35 was Jason Conklin, then Paul Brothers. Robert Phillippe first on Evanescence. We have David Eberly second. David Tate on the Dolly Box set. Robert Warner wants Pink Floyd. Those are all sold. Next is Emerson Lake and Palmer. And this is EX Condition 1799, a 1972 German pressing. EX Condition 1799. That's a German pressing of Trilogy. EX Condition 1799. Disturbed, The Sickness. Disturbed is $33.99 for The Sickness. That's new and sealed. Disturbed is new and sealed. And we have The Beetle 6. And this was, let me figure out, this was $11.99. What's wrong with it? Oh, it was sealed but water damaged. It was sealed but water damaged. It's a sealed copy. It's a reissue, a, a vintage reissue, but it's sealed, water damaged. Eleven dollars and ninety nine cents. Eleven ninety nine on that. So that is the price I sold it for originally. Eleven ninety nine. Let's go back up to the top. Little Ford got two bids for forty and forty, and then Ron Fuller gets the Emerson Lake and Palmer. That sold to Ron Fuller. Debbie Winston second. Stacy Menonich third. David Everly gets the Disturbed. I got another one of these if anybody wants one. David Tate gets the Beatles. That is sold to David Tate. Eleven ninety nine. Pete Maselli next on Emerson Lake and Palmer. Marsha Collins next on the Beatles. The Cars Panorama VG Plus Condition seventeen ninety nine. The Cars Panorama VG Plus Condition seventeen ninety nine. Vision Quest hadn't seen a bit on this in a while. Final call to Mike Torres for forty two dollars. Final call to Mike Torres for forty two dollars. I think Arm Lazell's out, so that's a final call for forty two dollars. Also. Garth Brooks. This is $99.99. It's in VG condition. Garth Brooks has the original under sleeve. VG condition. $99.99. That's an original pressing. VG condition. $99.99. Jason Conklin wants the cars. David Tate gets Garth Brooks. Lita Ford has a high bid of $43 of Kathy Webb. And this is a sealed 2014 blue vinyl pressing of Lita Ford, Live and Deadly. Live and Deadly. That's Lita Ford. And then we have Vision Quest officially sold to Mike Torres. Let me go back up to the top, actually. $42. I don't see a new bid. This is sold for $42. That's sold for $42. Wow, the only thing left so far is that 2LP, 2LP edition of Pearl Jam Versus. New and sealed, $46.99. $46.99. We have new and sealed Noah Khan stick season. Noah Khan is $49.99. $49.99. Noah Khan stick season. That's new and sealed, $49.99. Otis Redding, this is called Now Playing, $28.99. Otis Redding is new and sealed. This has respect on it, sitting on the dock of the bay. These arms of mine, $28.99 for Otis Redding. And we have Stone Temple Pilots, thank you. This is new and sealed blue vinyl. Stone Temple Pilots, thank you. New and sealed. It's a greatest hits on blue vinyl, $39.99. Mark Lent, we've already sold Echoes. Echoes has already been sold. Let's do a final call now on Lita Ford. The high bid on Lita is with Kathy Webb at $43. Kathy Webb at $43. Let's put up a new Japanese pressing. Uh, ooh, yes, 90125, owner of a lonely heart. Japanese pressing. The vinyl is near mint minus and pristine. This is going to be a $35 start for yes, 90125. This is a $35 start. The vinyl is near mint minus and pristine. There's a Japanese pressing. There's another Jap or Japanese insert, Japanese insert, covering Obi. $35 start on that. Chris Lim gets the Otis Redding. Is Love Man on it? Love Man. Not on this one. Chris Lim gets Otis Redding. We have Mark Lent. The Pink Floyd Echoes had already sold, or the Pink Floyd Live in Italy already sold. If you want on a waiting list, I can put you on there, but it does not have the song Echoes on it. Scott Olson's at 35 on Yes. The other bidders on Lita Ford hadn't set out, but Kathy has it for $43. We have James Brown, the original Disco Man, $29.99, shrink wrap and hop sticker. The original Disco Man, James Brown, $29.99. 
no condition notes, in shrink wrap of hop sticker. Billy Joe, the nylon curtain, EX condition, $12.99. EX condition, $12.99. And I remember the guy who bought a lot of this stuff. He bought a bunch of stuff one night and we never did hear back from him. That's why I always like repeatedly ask our new buyers to immediately message the page so we at least can try to send you an invoice. Some people buy, they hop off and we never hear from them. So if you are a first time buyer, Please make sure you've messaged our page. Benny Mardones, never run, never hide. $14.99 for Benny. That's also on the Polydor label. Debbie Winston first on Billy Joe, Larry Driss second. New bid on Yes for $37. And here's a Ray Charles now playing. This one's on blue vinyl. Ray Charles now playing. That's on blue vinyl. $28.99. That's new and sealed. And Santana Abraxas. Gatefold, super clean vinyl, $24.99. It's an original, or excuse me, it's a barcoded reissue. It's a barcoded reissue from at least the early 80s. Very clean vinyl, though, $24.99. The Arithmics, Touch. The Arithmics is $24.99 for Touch. Has the original on her sleeve. Nice vinyl, no condition notes. $24.99 on that. Kathy Webb, looks like you're getting the Lita. Kathy Webb gets the Lita Ford for $43. And the last time we sold that, it sold for $49. So... 43 this time to Kathy. Yes, has a new bid for 38. New and sealed promise, rhinoplasty. New and sealed promise, 39.99. David Eberly wants the Eurythmics. We have Chris Stapleton Hire, his newest release on opaque bone colored vinyl, 44.99 on Chris Stapleton. And Jason Aldean, Highway Desperado, try that in a small town. New and sealed, 31.99. And IKO, IKO, or Eco Eco. <laughs> this is a 1989 pressing that's sealed, 1999, and Tedeschi Trucks Band, this is called Signs. Tedeschi Trucks Band is sealed, includes a bonus 7 inch, $33.99 on Tedeschi Trucks Band, and Kiss, Music from the Elder, Kiss is $36.99, Music from the Elder. That's a new and sealed gatefold. All right, so the high bid on Yes right now is $41. That just came in. Let's get a new Japanese pressing rolling over here for auction. And this was... How about a perfect night to do a Christmas album? But this is really cool. I'd love to have had this around October, November, or maybe early December last year. Merry Christmas from Motown. Very, very nice-looking Japanese Christmas album here. Merry Christmas from Motown, Dinah Ross, The Temptation, Stevie Wonder, Smokey Robinson, The Miracles. It's even on a red Tomla Motown Christmas label. Gatefold with the lyrics here. Gatefold with the lyrics. Awesome cover, kind of expands out like this. Makes a full Christmas tree with Obi, and that's a $35 start. $35 start. Skip Knot wants IKO. That's so to Skip Knot. That's so to Skip Knot. Uh, yes, is a Japanese pressing. The vinyl's near mint minus and pristine. It has the Japanese inserts with it. And the high bid on yes is Scott Olson at $41. John Franz is out. Of course, that has owner of a lonely heart. We have new and sealed, The Art of McCartney. And The Art of McCartney is a tribute album to Paul McCartney. It's uh, three LPs, all-star lineup, all-star lineup, $29.99, The Art of McCartney. Cake, Fashion Nugget. Cake is $33.99. That's new and sealed. Cake is new and sealed, $33.99. I got a piece of bubble wrap. We have another random sticky note. Also, Gorgira, the link. This is $44.99. Gorgira is on gold vinyl, limited edition gold vinyl. They pressed 1,000 of these on gold vinyl. Gorgira is $44.99, 2016 gold vinyl. Uh, Elder, Reflections of a Floating World. Elder is $36.99. That's two LPs. New and sealed Elder, $36.99. Ella Fitzgerald in Hamburg. Ella Fitzgerald in Hamburg. This was sold at auction for $30. It's in shrink wrap, and I'll do that same price on it. Ella Fitzgerald, Ella in Hamburg. No condition notes in shrink wrap, $30 on that. Aaron Civic wants Gorgira. Nobody else bid on yes. This is officially sold for $41 to Scott Olson. And the Motown Christmas album, Jason Boxel has that for $35. That's a final call. All right, I'll get another auction started in just a second. John Howard, also in Gorgira. Obviously, I only had one of those, but I think I have that album new and sealed, John. Let's see if I have a new and sealed copy over here of Gorgira. I do. I, I don't think it's on gold vinyl, but I do have a new sealed copy. I think it's black vinyl, but there's one. I've got a whole bin over here of Gorgira albums that I hadn't shown in a while. That one is $44.99 on that one, so... 
All right, we have uh, Christine McVie. This also sold at auction for $22. We'll do that same price. The legendary Christine Perfect, Christine McVie. That's also $22 if anybody wants it. Uh, we have 10cc Bloody Tourist. This was $14.99, 10cc Bloody Taurus. Some of these I took offers on. Some of them I'll do the same price. Some of them I'm just going to put back out. We have Christopher Brusha on Christine McVie. That's sold to Christopher Brusha. And Ozzy is $34.99. That's a new and sealed copy of Blizzard of Oz. $34.99, that's new and sealed Ozzy. Also, this was sold at auction for $31. Dave Clark 5, white vinyl remastered. $31. White vinyl remastered. Dave Clark 5, that's $31 if anybody wants it. This was discounted because of the damaged cover. It was originally a music on vinyl pressing. It's $19.99. It has like this embossed, kind of squishy cover, and it kind of got cracked and bo busted open. It's Kane. So glad you made it. That's $19.99 if anybody wants it. Sandy, you were second on Christine McVie. Actually, third. Debbie was second. Sandy, third. The Motown record got a bid for 36 and then 40. William Meadows wants Ozzy, Blizzard of Oz. That is sold to William Meadows. Also, Pearl Jam, new and sealed, 10. Pearl Jam, new and sealed is $28.99. The Strokes, that's on red vinyl. Is this it with that original cover? $39.99, condition of Dave Clark 5. It is sealed. It is a sealed copy. It's a remaster on white vinyl. That's $31, Alan Mays. The Pretty Reckless, Going to Hell. The Pretty Reckless is sealed. $29.99, new and sealed. And the Almond Brothers Band. This is called Enlightened Rogues. The Almond Brothers Band, vintage copy, $19.99. Drive-By Truckers. Drive-By Truckers, Decoration. Decoration Day. Drive-By Truckers is a 2LP. Almost flew out of my hands. $33.99. All right, so the Motown record is at $40 of Jason Boxel. We pulled Ozzy. Dustin Riviera put Gorgira. Now, Dustin, do you want this new and sealed copy I have here for $44.99? Rachel Crosta put OR, but she meant PR for Pretty Reckless. That's sold to Rachel Crosta. I may can get more of these. I see two, three other people who want one. If anybody wants on a waiting list, I'll add you, Patty Kay and Kevin Jordan and Brian Thurman, three other people because I haven't restocked that in a while. That one sold to Rachel Crosta. Alan Mays gets to Dave Clark 5. Make sure that goes in for $31 to Alan Mays. That goes to Alan Mays for $31. Gordon Lightfoot, this was discounted. This was discounted. I'll still do the price on this one. $25. This was originally $39.99. I'll do it for $25. Gordon Lightfoot at Royal Albert Hall, and that is a $25 buy now. It was originally $40. Came out last August. Last August was that the release date for that. This is Mr. Bungle, $36.99 for Mr. Bungle, The Raging Wrath of the Easter Bunny Demo. Mr. Bungle is $36.99. So David wants on the Pretty Reckless waiting list, David Eberly. Kevin Jordan wants on the uh, 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 Pretty Reckless waiting list. Patty wants on the Pretty Reckless waiting list, and we'll make sure Brian Thurman does too. Dustin Riviera does want the Gorgera for $44.99. Debbie Winston wants CL. But I think she meant GL for Gordon Lightfoot. Make sure she gets that for $25. Debbie Winston, David Tate was second. Jamie McCord wants drive-by truckers. That's sold to Jamie McCord. And the Motown record is sold to Jason Boxel for $40. Jason Boxel gets that for $40. Let's get two new Japanese records going. That is sold. And let's see what else we have over here. So we got a whole nother bin of putbacks just like this to do after we go through some new New Orleans stuff. But uh, this is sold uh, for $40 to Jason Boxel. Next was Charles Verano on AB, Almond Brothers. That's sold to Charles Verano. Brian Thurman also wants on the Pretty Reckless waiting list. Pretty Reckless waiting list. All right, let's pull some two new Japanese pressings. I've got another Elvis, and we're going to do a... We're going to do, ooh, Boston, of course. Now, this is why uh, some of this stuff didn't get paid for. Some of this was putbacks. But this is why we always ask, if you got to put something back, if you must, do it almost immediately. Because after invoices are sent out, Doug's got to, when he's pulling orders, he's got to, you know, check messages, and he's got to pull something out of somebody's order. Everybody gets their invoices, then they got to take something off. And then he gets put in these bins for months. And right now we could be showing new stuff. And we got to take time to resell all this again, where we could have already probably sold it that night. So make sure, that's why we ask, if you must put something back, you notify us ASAP. Because after invoices go out, we have had to 
charge some people some restocking fees because this is, it's going to take up probably a third of tonight's show to resell all this stuff, just FYI. So it does take some time to show all the stuff again, resell it. We're going to have to retag it, et cetera, et cetera. All right, so here's our next Japanese pressing. It's Elvis on stage, February 1970. A Japanese pressing with Obi, $35 start. This is a $35 start. The vinyl is near mint minus and pristine. It's a Japanese pressing with Obi. It's a gatefold, $35 start. A little bit of discoloration on the Obi on the inside on the, uh, the booklet there. But other than that, it looks pretty cool to me. That's now what for bid, Elvis Presley. And this Boston, it looks good and it sounds great. How about this? It looks great and it sounds great. Boston, the name of the album is Boston. It's a Japanese pressing. It's a $45 start. Boston, very clean vinyl, more than a feeling. $45 start on that. That's the original anti-static inner sleeve. There's the Japanese insert. There's the cover of Obi. Better music through science is what the Obi says. $45 start on that. I'm make sure I didn't miss any of the claims. We have, is that the only pretty reckless album you get? I do not know. I haven't checked in a long time. Alex Kane put Gorgira 55. We only had one Gorgira on gold vinyl. We sold it. Then we had a new one on black vinyl, same price, and we sold it. But I will show the other Gorgira albums in one second. Elvis has bids for 35, 35, 35, 40, 45, and 55. This is John Waite, No Breaks, hitting, featuring the hit song, Missing You. VG Plus Condition, $14.99. VG Plus Condition, $14.99. The Beatles, Rock and Roll Music, Volume 1. This is VG Plus Condition, $16.99. VG Plus Condition, $16.99. The Beatles, VG Plus Condition, $16.99. New and Sealed, Bush. This is their greatest hits. Bush is $44.99. That's their greatest hits. It's on clear vinyl. Bush, greatest hits, $44.99. David uh, Tate wants John Waite. Tate gets Waite. Debbie Winston gets the Beatles. Ron Fuller was second. Then Marsha Collins. Then Timothy Horn. New and sealed, we had this when the show started. Rob Zombie, Hell Billy Deluxe. Rob Zombie is $34.99. Gatefold, new and sealed. Elton John, Tumbleweed Connection. EX condition, $26.99. There's some spine damage, but this is on the original uni label. Elton John, Tumbleweed Connection, EX, $26.99. Boston has a bid for $45. David Eberly, first on Bush, greatest hits. We have another $45 bid. We have an out on Elvis and Josh James. You are sixth on the Beatles. New and sealed, Rush, Dreaming Out Loud, Volume 1. Volume 1. This is Wisconsin, 1994, Volume 1. $39.99 on Rush. Also, what do we have here? Jane's Addiction is sealed on clear vinyl, $33.99. Pearl clear vinyl, 30th anniversary edition of Ritual D. Low Habitual. That's $39.99. And Zach Brown Band, greatest hit so far, is $74.99. $74.99. Zach Brown Band, greatest hit so far, a 2014 U.S. print press. And this is out of print. I would have this in stock if I could get it. 74, 11 number one singles. That is 74.99. Forrest Appleton wants Rush. Forrest, do you want to be put on a waiting list for volume two? I'm pretty sure I can get you volume two. I know that's possibly still available. So I'm going to say volume one. Let me know if you want on volume two. Josh James gets James Addiction. WV Mounty second. Tom Sullivan third. And let's update Rush. Or excuse me, let's update Elvis. Josh Tanner has Elvis for $75. Final call. New bid on Boston just came in for 47. That's Elvis on stage, 75, Boston 47. Forrest Appleton once on the waiting list. Now, let me sort the pre-owned and vintage from the new stuff. And then we'll do that. It'll make it much easier. Let me sort the pre-owned and vintage stuff from the new. So now all this back here is new and sealed. Let's run through it one more time. New and sealed. Pearl Jam Versus, 2LP, $46.99. That's the 30th anniversary. Noah Kahn's, $49.99. Stone Temple Pilots, Blue Vinyl. That's a greatest hits. Thank you. Interstate Love Song, Plush, Vaseline, Creep, Blue Vinyl, $39.99. Ray Charles, Greatest Hits, now playing, $28.99. I Got a Woman, What I'd Say, Parts 1 and 2. That's $28.99, Blue Vinyl. Primus, Rhinoplasty, $39.99. Chris Stapleton's $44.99. That's on Bone Colored Vinyl. Jason Aldean, $31. Tedeschi Trucks Band is $33.99. That is called Signs with the bonus 7-inch. Alan Mays wants the Ray Charles. This is a put-back and non-payment bin. So far, everything here and back is new and sealed. 
Kiss, Music from the Elder, $36.99. The Art of McCartney, 34 tracks, all-star lineup covering McCartney. Dylan, Billy Joe, Hart, Steve Miller, Brian Wilson, uh, uh, Dr. John, Smokey Robinson, Alice Cooper, B.B. King, Sammy Hagar, Barry Gibb, Kiss, Paul Rogers, Roger Daltrey, Def Leppard. That's pretty cool. That is th uh, $29.99. Deidre Schultz put J.A. for Jason Aldean. That's so to Deidre Schultz. David Eberly wants Kiss. That's so to David Eberly. Also, Cake, Fashion Nugget is $33.99. Elder, they opened up for Tool when I saw them, and that was great stuff there. All the songs they played was from this album, Reflections of a Floating World, $36.99. Kane has uh, got a damaged cover. It's more than half price, $19.99. David Tate wants The Art of McCartney. That is so to David Tate. And we have Pearl Jam 10, a classic album. Evenflow, Jeremy, Black, Y, Alive, they're all on there. Elvis is officially sold to Josh Tanner for $75. Boston got a new bid for $52. Let's go ahead and sell Elvis for $75. And let's see what else I have over here in the Japanese bin. I'm going to have to find some new auctions before 10 o'clock, it looks like. It's not even 9. I'm almost done with a whole bin of Japanese stuff. Wow. All right, but uh, Boston's a final call. We have new and sealed the strokes. Is this it? $39.99. Mr. Bungle is $36.99. That was called The Raging Wrath of the Easter Bunny Demo. Also, we have Rob Zombie, Hail Billy Deluxe. This is $34.99. Rob Zombie, Hail Billy Deluxe, $34.99. Boston has a high bid of $52, and that's a final call. Now, the rest of this is pre-owned. Some of it's vintage, some of it's new pressings, but these are all pre-owned. James Brown, the original Disco Man, that's an original shrink wrap hop sticker, $29.99. Benny Mardonez, Never Run, Never Hide, $14.99. New bid on Boston for $55. Santana Abraxas, Santana Abraxas, $24.99. Classic album. Oyo Como Va, Black Magic Woman, Mother's Daughter, that's a good one. Uh, $24.99. That's an 80s pressing, super clean vinyl, gatefold. Ella Fitzgerald sold at auction, I believe, for $31. I'm doing it for that same price. Also, 10cc Bloody Taurus. $14.99 for 10cc Bloody Tourist. And Elton John, Tumbleweed Connection, EX Condition, $26.99. Original. I love the music on there. Brian Thurman wants the Benny Mardonez. That's so to Brian Thurman. And we have Zach Brown Band, Greatest Hits so far, 2014. First track is Chicken Fried, $74.99. That was been number one of two of putbacks. Number one of two of putbacks. Let me throw away all these sleeves. And let me grab a handful of stuff that I marked before the sale. And Paul, I sold Paul some records before he left earlier today, and he brought some stuff out of his crate that he said he was going to pass on because there's been an influx of so many great new LPs that's come in. But first, let me bring over this stuff that I marked before the sale and uh, show you some of this stuff, some pretty interesting stuff in here. So this is all stuff that I've recently marked, just like at 6 o'clock today. Got about a half of a crate or a third of a crate ready. And I'm going to show you some of that stuff right now. And then we're going to go into a new uh, new crate as well. So we had a new bid on Boston for 55 Josh said that's it for him. And then we are caught up. So the first thing I have is Gary Lewis and the Playboys. And this is signed. It's autographed by Gary Lewis. $14.99. Signed on the back. Gary Lewis and the Playboys. $14.99. It's autographed. The Desert Rose Band running is signed by Chris Hillman, an original member of the Birds. That's also signed. Gold Stamp Promo. $14.99 on that. Desert Rose Band. John Oliva's Pain. This was hard to price because it's so difficult to find one for sale. John Oliva's Pain. This is $99.99. John Oliva related in, you know, sabotage related. This is a 2013 German pressing. It's numbered on clear vinyl. It's numbered 126 of 150. There's only one for sale in Greece for $160.22, and this is $99.99. John Oliva's Payne Mechanical re Renderings. That is $99.99. William Meadows needs to put back Ozzy. That's okay. Now Ozzy's officially cursed. He's been put back twice. Does anybody want to buy a cursed Aussie? After something's been put back twice, I'll never be able to sell this unless somebody wants to break the streak right now. Blizzard of Oz, $34.99, new and sealed Aussie. Mr. Crowley, Jared McLaughlin wants to sign Gary Lewis. That's so to Jared McLaughlin. I also have Richard Pryor. Is it something I said? Richard Pryor is $14.99. 
and wham, fantastic. Gold stamp promo, original on her sleeve, $34.99, and Johnny Cash. This is actually a 2014, this is actually a 2014 pressing. This is a 2014 pressing of American 2, $24.99. Ozzy is $34.99. Everybody wants the cursed Ozzy. This is David Tate, he asked first. And then how much is Bush and STP? We sold Bush, Stephen, but STP is $39.99. $39.99, blue vinyl. Rachel also asked about Ozzy. Michael Jacobs says he'll take it. Next is David Everly on Richard Pryor. David Everly gets Richard Pryor. And then Paul Brothers was second. Rachel Crosty, you were second to ask about Ozzy if you want it. If you pass, I think Michael Jacob wants it. Next was Josh Raglan on Johnny Cash. And then Nick Bargeron. Jared McLaughlin wants the Desert Rose Band signed by Chris Hillman. And Brian Thurman takes the John Oliva. That is sold to Brian Thurman, $99.99. Rachel passes on Ozzy. So the Cursed Ozzy album is going to Michael Jacob. I think he's claiming it. Michael, I'll make sure you're actually claiming that before I tag it. And then you say, no, I wasn't actually claiming it. <laughs> and then it's been put back three times. Boston is sold to Jason Boxel for $55. Jason Boxel gets that for $55. Nice. Here's some uh, going through new arrivals technically right now. New arrivals right now. He says he actually wanted it. So this is sold for 55 The Boston album, Jason Boxel and Michael Jacob does take the Cursed Ozzy, Blizzard of Oz. Cursed Ozzy, that sounds pretty cool, actually. Did I get Jason Aldean? You did. We have Built to Spill. Built to Spill is sealed, 1999. When the wind forgets your name. Built to Spill is sealed, 1999. And Sunny Day Estate, Sunny Day Real Estate, that's called Diary. That is sealed, a 2009 2 LP pressing, $34.99, Sunny Day Real Estate. Let's grab two new Japanese auctions over here. Let's go back to the first of the bin where I have a, another Night Ranger in case you missed the first one. And we'll do Heart, self-titled, Night Ranger and Heart. A couple 80s albums here to be put up for auction. This is Heart. The name of the album is Heart. It's a $35 start. The vinyl is near mint minus and pristine. There's Heart, $35 start, Japanese insert. Cover with Obi, $35 start. And here's another Night Ranger, pretty much identical to the one we had earlier. This is $35 start on that. Night Ranger, Midnight Madness with Sister Christian. Also a shrink wrap cubby, just no book with this one. It does have the Japanese insert, but just no book with that one. Those are $35 starts. Josh Raglan wants BTS, Built to Spiel. That's sold to Josh Raglan. Thank you, Josh. That's sold to you. Next in here, also sealed, or no, this is Funny Face. We had the poster. We had the movie poster this the other night. Audrey Hepburn movie from 1957, $24.99. The original soundtrack to Funny Face, $24.99. Gatefold, Gatefold. Black Marble is $16.99. Black Marble is electronic dark wave music, $16.99. That's also sealed. Black Marvel. Chastity Belt, Time to Go Home. That is sealed, $19.99. That's an indie rock album. Chastity Belt. $19.99, and Yola Tango. Yola Tango is sealed, $34.99. Electro Pura, Yola Tango is $34.99. And Led Zeppelin, this is a new sealed uh, remaster, $34.99 for Led Zeppelin, $34.99 on that. The Beatles Let It Be, the Walmart exclusive that has the prints, $19.99. Nice clean vinyl, $19.99. And Johnny Cash, here's another one. This is Solitary Man, Volume 3, also a 2014 pressing. Has the download card and everything still in it, $24.99. David Eberly gets black, and that was for Black Marble. That's sold to David Eberly. We have Chris Lim, bid 35 on Night Ranger. Chris Sheridan wants the Led Zeppelin. That's sold to Chris Sheridan. Jeffrey Sapia wants the Beatles. Davey Winstead was second. So out of that batch right there I just added, we still got Wham! Gold Stamp Promo, $34.99. Fantastic. Sunday Day Real Estate was sealed, $34.99. The Funny Girl soundtrack, $19.57, $24.99. Chastity Belt was sealed, $19.99. Yola Tango is $34.99. And there's a Johnny Cash. It is near mint. It's open, 2014 pressing. And that is Solitary Man, Volume 3, $24.99. Really surprised no one grabbed that. Tracy Songer does want the Funny Face soundtrack. That's sold to Tracy Songer. Final call on Night Ranger for $35. No one's bid on heart. $35 start on that. Travis Wade, I've already sold Black Marble. Black Marble went to David Everly. Let me get a new crate, filled up another one over here. Fantastic. Definitely moving through some vinyl tonight. I still got two Led Zeppelin motherships, if anybody's interested. 
kind of an on-sale price is 105 and 105 Last time, if we don't sell out tonight, so if I don't sell out and have a waiting list, I'm going to keep them at 119 the next time I show them. I said I would run that deal as long as I keep selling out of them. As long as I keep selling out of them. Let me go ahead and put up a new crate now. So 105, two left. They were normally, or they are normally 119. Josh Raglan gets Johnny Cash. Rachel Crosta. Rachel Crosta on Chastity Belt. That's so to Rachel Crosta. Can I get a waitlist for Leds Up and One? Ashley Forrest. It should be in this week. I have a deluxe edition coming in. I have a deluxe edition. If you want one of those, it's actually a 3LP Led Zeppelin 1. If those are coming in this week, if you want on the wait list for that. 45. Yes, Brad. Thank I was about, I just brought all that up here. I was about to say, I hope Brad's still waiting. Let's do 45 sleeves first. Only claim if you want 45 sleeves. I hope these were the price. There's people who bought them last time, hopefully remembers. I don't have them all marked because we bought so many of them and I never did sticker them all. Packs of 145 sleeves. I think they're $14.99, I hope. $14.99. Let me see if I can confirm that very, very quickly because if we sell like a bunch of them right now, I need to, one, I need to definitely know. Let me see if I can find those uh, very quickly here. I think they're fourteen ninety nine. They're packs of a hundred. I think that's what we were selling for last time. I got to go through. We have broke like three price guns this week. That's a, these things are usually like indestructible, but where we sticker so much stuff, these Monarch two line like two hundred dollar price guns. Yeah, they're fourteen ninety nine. They're fourteen ninety nine. We have broke two price guns where we have stickered so much stuff in the last couple years. Uh, we we broke three. John broke one, Paul broke one, and then I broke one the other day. So we're like uh, trying to pass around price guns. I've ordered I ordered three new price guns off eBay for almost four hundred dollars. They're not cheap, the Monarchs. Uh, and um, over the last two days, I bought one. Then I bought two more just a moment ago. Paul said I broke another tag gun today. I was like, dang, we're pricing too much stuff. We're literally breaking our price guns. All right, so yes, 45 sleeves if anybody wants. These are outer sleeves. I don't have inner sleeves or paper ones. These are just plastic outer sleeves if anybody wants a pack, $14.99. I literally have hundreds of them, $14.99 if anybody wants them. Okay, let's go back to the top, make sure I didn't miss anything. We're about to go through a bin of new vintage arrivals. New vintage arrivals on this. I need 45 paper sleeves. Okay, I'll have to order those. We'll put you down on a waiting list or like a reminder list but I don't have those available right now. Night Ranger only got one bid. Heart doesn't have a bid. So Heart's a $35 bot now, and let's tag Chris Lamb for Night Ranger for $35. Chris Lamb, Chris Lamb gets that for $35. Nobody bid on Heart. That is a $35 bot now if anybody wants it. $35 bot now if anybody wants it. All right, so I'm going to go through. These are $14.99. William Meadows gets Heart for $35. He grabs it for the bot now. Before I get started in this bin, or actually I'll get started in this bin, and then we will um, put up some new auctions. All right, now, uh, 45 sleeves. So let me go grab some more. These are $14.99, and the first person, um, let's see here. We have Kelly Bagwell wants a pack. Jamie Wills Erickson wants a pack. And then anti, yes, I'm about to show inner sleeves as well. I wanted to do these first. Otherwise, if I start showing outer inners and 45s, it can get quite complicated. But I have three packs of 45 outer sleeves sold. Anybody else? Here's what I brought up. I brought a handful of them. And it looks like people need inner sleeves. So I'll show those in like 10 minutes, maybe five minutes. But it looks like we got three packs of those. So those are outers. I'll try to get some paper inner sleeves for those. I'll keep those right here on top of Led Zeppelin in case anybody wants them in the next few minutes. Then we'll go over to inners. Let's see what's in this next crate that Paul has prepared for us. Don't tell your boyfriend. Plastic Letters. A 2005 German import power pop punk album. $17.99. Suzy Bree Love needs three packs of inner sleeves. 45 sleeves. There's one. There's two. There's three for Suzy. And we have Robert Warner wants a pack. All right, those are all done. Next is uh, Forrest wants on the waiting list for Led Zeppelin 1. You got it. 
Deluxe Edition, Nikki Sudden, The Truth Doesn't Matter. Nikki Sudden is sealed, a 2006 Spanish import. That's sealed, Nikki Sudden, $39.99. And Secret Affair, Glory Boy, $17.99. This is a 1979 UK import mod record, $17.99. So if you're just hopping on, we're going through a brand new, never shown before crate of this New Orleans stuff. I have a feeling that's where Paul got most of these picked from. They're all newly priced from tonight. And uh, let's put up two new Japanese auctions in the meantime. We've got more Japanese stuff to put up for auction. These are all new, buy now, brand new. We have Debbie Winston on 45 sleeves. Debbie Winston on 45 sleeves. You got it, Debbie Winston. I'm going to also add you to the pile here. I'm actually going to keep a run and sticky note now because I've actually ran out of what I brought up here. I grabbed a big handful, but as usual, it's never enough. So I got Debbie Winston wrote down. Next two Japanese auctions is Eagles, one of these nights. The vinyl is what you would expect. Near Mint Minus and Pristine, Japanese vinyl. There's the LP. There's the Japanese insert, one of these nights. Lion eyes, take it to the limit. Embossed, textured cover with Obi. $35 start on that. And a James Bond soundtrack. The Spy Who Loved Me by Carly Simon with music by Marvin Hamlish. Great Bond movie. Probably Roger Moore's best. The Spy Who Loved Me. $35 start. There's the Japanese insert. There is the uh, there's the vinyl, Near Mint Minus and Pristine, the insert. And a very, very nice cover. I love that right there. That is a $35 start. The Spy Who Loved Me. That's the one where they're in the underground submarine layer there at the end with the nuclear bomb. Jaws is on that one. That's a classic. $35 start. All right, any claims on anything in here? And we have Black Diamond Heavies Every Damn Time, a 2007 U.S. yellow vinyl, $27.99 for Black Diamond Heavies. Scott B. Sympathy, $24.99 for Scott B. Sympathy. That's a 1990 Canadian import country rock album, $24.99. And Star Child, Children of the Star, a 1978 Canadian hard rock album, $69.99 for Star Child, Children of the Stars, $69.99 for Star Child. The Black Jacks, Dress in Black, a 1985 U.S. garage punk album, sealed, $26.99 for the Black Jacks. Valley of Kings, Valley of Kings is sealed, $14.99, a 1985 U.S. alternative rock, post-rock album, that is sealed, $14.99. And the, the Tumbatillas, top 10 from the tombs, a 2008 Spanish import garage red vinyl pressing, $17.99, $17.99. All right, let me go over here and grab this next item of supplies, which is right here. Let me move a few things around. Got to lay that right there. And hopefully we sell a ton of these because I actually just ordered even more. But we use the heck out of them here at the store. This is what we use. I actually just took home five packs myself. I hadn't got to work on my personal records in a long time, but I'm starting a project here pretty soon to try to go through everything I have just at one location where I've got them stored and figure out what I have. But here are inner sleeves, MoFi inner sleeves, packs of 50 are $26.99. MoFi inner sleeves, packs of 50. So. For those that's been asking about inners, these are MoFi inner sleeves, packs of 50, $26.99. That's MoFi brand, original master sleeves, anti-static. And yes, if you can, especially all your nice pricier records, new vinyl, vintage originals, I recommend storing them all in these. You see over time what coarse, thick, inner, like even... Even a brand new records, they're not stored in the best inner sleeves, like those new, thick, heavy paper sleeves, new vinyl stored in, actually really bad on vinyl. Over 20 years, you slide them in and out, you can see what happens to vintage ones from 50 years. It's going to leave sleeve scuffs, so these are anti-static, anti-scratch. I've got an entire case of them over here I just brought, like entire case. So I've got plenty I can actually tag right now but first let's update these auctions we had eagles at 35 35 35 bond at 35 35 eagles 55 eagles 60 eagles 70 barry seagrave bid 70 on the eagles bond 38 bond 40 and then homeland conspiracy wants a pack of inner sleeves 
Jamie McCord wants a pack of inner sleeves. Bond has a bid for 45. Brad Bullen wants a pack of inner sleeves. Barry Seagrave wants Barry Seagrave. I always want to put that S on the end. Barry Seagrave wants a pack. Jason Boxel says he'll take one, and then he'll take another pack. There's another pack so to Jason Boxel. And then Ron Phillips wants two packs, and Stacy Metternich wants a pack. And that's Ron Phillips on one pack, two packs. That is so to Ron Phillips. Stacy Metternich wants a pack. And then there is Bill Samus. Cleaning cloths. That's next on my list. Coming soon. That's next on my list. We're going to do outer sleeves next and then do inners. But if anybody wants a pack of inners, let me know. Let's go through more, a few more records in here. Red, Wilder, Blue. 1971 White Label Promo. $14.99. Red, Wilder, Blue. $14.99 on red, wild, or blue. Charles Brown, one more for the road. Charles Brown is a 1986 U.S. pressing, $14.99. Big Shoulders, the rounder edge. That is, I think, the label, $14. It's on rounder records, yeah. A 1989 U.S. pressing with a merchandise form, that's $14.99. The Big Shoulders, also Claire Fisher, Twas Only Yesterday. That's a 1979 U.S. jazz record, $14.99. Claire Fisher, Twas Only Yesterday. Yesterday. All right, so James Bond is moving to a final call now. James Bond, Tony Samuelson has it for $45. The Spy Who Loved Me, Japanese pressing, and the Eagles is still at 70 with Barry Seagrave. Final call. We have Jubilee. Jubilee is $24.99. The outrageous soundtrack from the motion picture. Jubilee featuring Adam and the Ants. Never seen that before. $24.99. Wayne County's on there. Chelsea, Man Eaters. That is uh, $24.99, $24.99. Fox, Faces in the Night. Fox is $29.99. This is Faces in the Night. Fox, Faces in the Night. An 86 Canadian import pop rock album. Travis Wade wants Jubilee. That's sold to Travis Wade. Jubilee is sold. Praise Space Electric, Leaving Demons. A 1984 UK space rock album, mostly sealed, $24.99. White Flame, American Rudeness, Sealed, a 2007 Spanish reissue, Pub Rock, $14.99 for White Flame, and Marble Orchard, Marble Orchard, Agent Invincible, and this is a 1992 German import psych record, $22.99. All right, so Barry Seagrave gets the Eagles for $70. James Bond got a new bid. Jeffrey Sapia is at $46. Jeffrey Sapia is at $46, so the other bidder is now out. Let's go ahead and sell Eagles. I'll put another one up in just a second. I'm trying to chip away at this bin since we have so much other stuff to go through, including another bin like this and another putback bin like the one we went through earlier. We have the Jelly Roll Cookers. Wasn't that good? A jazz blues album, $14.99. The Jelly Roll Cookers. Lost Tones, What Happened? Lost Tones, What Happened? A 2017 Portuguese import garage album. $24.99. Tony Samuelson's back in on Bond at $48. Micro Disney, 82 to 84. A 1984 UK pressing. $24.99 on Micro Disney. Steve Bators, an 83 French import. The Lord and the New Creatures. Steve Bators, an 83 French import. $27.99. Groovy Movies on colored vinyl. That's a 2000 US, 2017 U.S. Garage Sock Record on Colored Vinyl, sealed, 1999. Ryan Anderson on Steve. Ryan Anderson first on that, then Brad Bullen, then Lazarus, then Craig Thomas. That woke up everybody. We Dig Sounds, the Tomb Weavers. That is sealed, 1999. Cynthia Hergeron wants groovy movies. Uh, Jeffrey Sapia, let me know if you want back in on Bond. And Raw Cuts, Volume 4, Australian Nitro, a 1987 UK import Australian garage rock compilation, $24.99, Raw Cuts. Let's put up another Japanese auction. The next Japanese auction is going to be Louis Armstrong. This is European Concert Recordings by Ambassador Satch. In Shrink Wrap, a $35 start, a Japanese Louis Armstrong. This looks pretty interesting. This is European Concert Recordings by... Louis Armstrong. It is on the CBS Sony Japanese label here. The vinyl's near mint minus and pristine. $35 start on that. Has a Japanese insert and the cover is in shrink wrap with the OB underneath it. $35 start on that. New bid on James Bond for $50. Jeffrey Sapia, Tony Samuelson, you've been outbid. We have details on Star Child. Details on Star Child. 
Details on Star Child. Star Child, a 1978 Canadian hard rock album, $69.99. Children of the Stars, $69.99. We also have War Horse. War Horse is a 1983 UK reissue of their debut album, which was originally on Vertigo, $29.99. Stiv Batters is sold. This is sealed, $24.99. It is Pink Wind, Festival of the Sun. Pink Wind is a 1995 UK psych record, $24.99. Also, Havoc from Holland, 15 boss beat tracks from the 60s. A 1989 US garage beat comp of 60s artists, $34.99 on that. Also, Two Saints. Two Saints is a 1989 US garage record, $14.99. So Bond is officially sold to Jeffrey Sapia for $50. Spy Who Loved Me soundtrack, that is sold for $50 to Jeffrey Sapia. Jeffrey, that is sold to you, $50. Let me go ahead and put that in a sleeve, and that's sold to Jeffrey Sapia. Final call to get a bid on Louis Armstrong for $35 before I make that uh, buy now. Next is Cynthia Herdron on Pink, and Pink Wind, that's sold to Cynthia. Robert Warner was second, Fred Carnell next, and then Thomas Sujar wants the Holland compilation. Bob Riker wants Two Saints, Fred Carnell was next. Next is Compulsive Gamblers, Bluff City, a 1999 U.S. Garage album, $134.99, $134.99 on that. Wild Wind, Wild Wind is a 1991 U.K. Rockabilly album, $14.99. The Crazy Tones, a 1989 German import Rockabilly, $19.99. And The Midnighters, Easy Money. The Midnighters is an 88 UK import psychobilly album, $32.99. Final call on Louis Armstrong for $36. Thomas Hujar wants CG. Compulsive Gamblers, that's sold to Thomas Hujar. Edwin Blom wants Star Child, and that was the one he asked about right here. That's sold to Edwin Blom. Next is Ace Cuts, Cat Talk. Ace Cuts is $29.99. Ace Cuts is $29.99. All right, for my next trick with supplies, my next trick is outer sleeves. So we've done 45 outer sleeves. We've done LP inner sleeves. Here is my next supply I have to offer, which is packs of 100 protective outer sleeves, three mil. Some of these you can fit even a small box set, $29.99, $29.99, packs of 100 vinyl style outer sleeves. If anybody needs those, $29.99. I have them in stock and available for you to add to your order. I meant to make a post Sunday morning for, for like a last minute request because so many had asked during the week and we didn't have them in. All right, so let's go back up to the top. Details on War Horse with Ron Fuller. War Horse was a 83 UK reissue of their debut album on Vertigo. It's an 83 UK reissue of War Horse. It's called Vulture Blood. Vulture Blood. Fred Carnell says he'll take the Psycho Billy. The Psycho Billy was the Ace Cuts. Is that right, Fred Carnell? That's so do you. And we have Fred. Chris also asked the price on that, $29.99. Is Fox LP still available? What's the price? Fox was one of the first ones, I believe. Uh, maybe right in here. Fox was Faces in the Night, a 1986 Canadian import pop rock, $29.99, Edwin. And we have uh, Paul Ogley says he'll take War Horse. Now, who asked about it first? Who asked about it? Ron Fuller asked about it, and then Chris Wood Sr. Ron Fuller gets it. He's the one who asked about it. Let's go ahead and sell. Let's go ahead and sell Louis Armstrong to Nick Bargeron for thirty-six dollars. That's so to Nick for thirty-six dollars. Before I go any further, before I go any further, let me go ahead and add. Two new Japanese auctions. Actually, let me show a few more LPs, and then I'll put up two new Japanese auctions. Okay, so that's sold. Louis's gone. So far, no auctions left over tonight. They've all sold. And we have Jackson Blaylock wants praise space. Did I miss something? Is that a claim or um, a statement? <laughs> we have uh, the Glorious. This is called Gloriaism. That's a 1989 Swiss import garage album, $24.99 for the Glorious. Tiger Men, 
Tiger Men is a 1992 Belgium import rockabilly. $16.99 for Tiger Men. Great rockabilly showdown live at Droland Ballroom. The Hot Rod Gang meets the Ringlets Trio. That's an 89 German import, $14.99. Thomas Hujar wants Tiger Men. That's so to Thomas Hujar. We have Breaking Rocks again. Hot Rock. That's a 1992 Netherlands import rockabilly album, $14.99. Claiming, claim the Leaving Demon Space Rock. Okay, that must be a little right here. Praise, uh, Praise Space Electric, Leaving Demons. Space Rock, yes, that's so to Jackson Blaylock. Cynthia Herdron wants Breaking Rocks again. That is so to Cynthia Herdron. All right, so nobody wanted outer sleeves. That's okay, but there they are in the back if anybody doesn't want a pack. And then next, I'm going to do something else. But first, let's put up some new Japanese pressings. I have another James Bond, and I have a Michael Shanker group. This is 007, Great Movie Sounds of John Barry. Very cool here. It's actually... Ashamed that it's in shrink wrap because the gatefold on this is really cool. It has pictures of James Bond and other movies he did. The vinyl's near mint minus and pristine, and here's what it looks like. It's great movie sounds. You, I mean, it's a really cool gatefold. It has pictures of Sean Connery and stuff, but there's some of the famous stuff he did, the 007 song, the James Bond theme, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang from Russia with Love, and that is John Barry, 007, great movie sounds and other tracks he did. That's $35. And then we got Michael Shanker Group Assault Attack. Michael Shanker Group is a $35 start. This is Assault Attack. The vinyl is Near Mint Minus and Pristine. Near Mint Minus and Pristine. There is the vinyl. There's the Japanese insert. And then there's the cover with Obi. $35 start on Michael Shanker Group. $35 start on that. Okay, I'm going to move these out of the way actually. So I got spot there to put that. Those are $35 start. Fred Carnell wants live. That's so to Fred Carnell. And let's keep going to this bean. This bean or bean? The White Lines, ready to rock. The White Lines is a 2002 import rockabilly album, $14.99 on the White Lines. We have the Jailbirds, Viva Las Vegas, a 2000 German import rockabilly, $14.99 on the Jailbirds. The Black Hollies, Crimson Reflections, the Black Hollies, a 2006 U.S. Garage album, 1999. The Howling Dogs, Rock On George for Ringo One Time. That is an 87 Garage album, $14.99 on Howling Dogs. And we have John Lee Hooker, Boogie Chillin'. And that is a 1989 Denmark, Denmark import compilation, JLH, $34.99. Cynthia Herdron wants Howling. That was Howling Dogs, so to Cynthia Herdron. We also have Supercharger. Live, 1992, Supercharger at the Covered Wagon, sealed, $24.99, a 2004 U.S. Garage Punk, $24.99. Christopher Brusher wants John Lee Hooker. That's so to Christopher Brusher. Harold Ray, live in concert, sealed, $14.99, a 2000 U.S. Garage Soul album, $14.99. Fred Carnell, second on John Lee Hooker. Ring, Ray, Raining Sound. Too Much Guitar, Raining Sound, Too Much Guitar, a 2004 U.S. First Press, no barcode, $69.99, U.S. First Press on that. Stephen Freeze at 35 on John Barry, final call, no bid on MSG, final call to get a bid on that. We have Thomas Hujar on RA, and I think he meant RS, but I'll make sure. And we have Neck and Romantics, Demons Are a Girl's Best Friend, Sealed. $59.99, a 2003 unofficial Denmark import. That's Psycho Billy, $59.99. Working Man, Dutch Tilders. This is a 1977 Australian import blues album, and he actually signed it. Keep the Faith, Dutch Childers, $24.99. Thomas Hujar does want Raining Sound. That's so to Thomas Hujar. Jeffrey Boynton wants Neck Romantics. That is so to Jeffrey Boynton. We do have a new bid on John Barry for $36 of Jason Boxel. Rumble Rock, Volume 1, a 2008 unofficial garage comp, $19.99 on Rumble Rock, and Radio Birdman, Radio's On, Ritualism, The Reunion, 1996, a 1997 Swedish unofficial red vinyl, and it's numbered, number 90 of 500, $29.99. We have a bid on Michael Shank Group. Final call to Brian Frenfrock for $35. And John Barry's at 36. I need a bottle of water. I'm walking over here to get one out of our Coca-Cola cooler. Dasini. 
Might, might crack open a Diet Coke tonight. Feeling kind of crazy. Might get in some Diet Coke. Okay, so earlier we showed a Gorgira record and there was a high demand for it. And here's what I'm gonna do. Here's some other Gorgira albums. Do not comment Gorgira, comment the name of the album if you want one. We have Gorgira Magma. Magma is $34.99 for Gorgira Magma. $54.99 for Gorgira Terra Incognita. That's new and sealed. Also Lafont Sauvage. That's $49.99 for Lafont. The Way of All Flesh is $54.99. And From Mars to Cirrus, that's $49.99. Those are all new sealed Gorgira albums. So, uh, John Barry has a new bid for $37. Jason Boxel, you're out. Fred, you were second on Necro. Cynthia Herdrin wants Magma. That's so does Cynthia Herdrin. And I'm just going to read the titles that's left in there. I'm not going to go through them all again. That's quite time consuming. But I'm going to read the titles. So if there was something left in here you want, let me know or if you want information. Brian Frenfrock gets Michael Shanker for $35. That is sold to Brian Frenfrock for $35. All right, and John Barry just got a new bid for 38. Now it has a new bid for 40. So uh, let me read you what's left in here. If you want price and information, don't hesitate to ask because I know these require lots of information. We have Plastic Letters, Don't Tell Your Boyfriend, Nikki Sudden, The Truth Doesn't Matter, Secret Affair, Glory Boys, Black Diamond Heavies, that was on colored yellow vinyl, Scott B. Sympathy, The Black, Dra the Black Jacks, Dress in Black, Valley of Kings, the Tumbitas, Top Ten from the Tombs, Red, Wild, or Blue, Charles Brown, One More for the Road, Big Shoulders, Claire Fisher, Twas Only Yesterday, White Flame, American Rudeness, Marble Orchard, Agent Invincible, The Jelly Row Cookers, Wasn't That Good, Lost Tones, What Happened, Micro Disney, 82 to 84, We Dig Sounds, The Tomb Weavers, and Raw Cuts, Volume 4, Australian Nitro. John Barry's at 41. Stephen Freeu. Jason Boxel's at 41. Wild Wind, The Crazy Tones, The Midnighters, Easy Money, Fox, Faces in the Night, and The Gloria's, Gloriaism. Let's stop right there. And we have a uh, question, White Flame Info, how much for Micro Disney? White Flame Info and Micro Disney. Okay, so first we have Micro Disney, 82 to 84. That is a 84 UK copy for $24.99. $24.99, Cynthia. And then we have Fred Carnell on White Flame. White Flame Fred is American Rudeness, a 2007 Spanish reissue, pub rock, sealed $14.99. And then Thomas Hujar wants Nitro. Nitro for Thomas Hujar. Nitro was, let me find Nitro for Thomas Hujar. Nitro was, was that one of the first ones or was that one of the ones I just pulled out? Let's see here. Or was that something up to the front? There's the magma. Uh, Nitro, what did I leave off that? Fox, Midnighters, Crazy Tones, Wild Wind, Rock Cuts, Tones, Claire, Big Shoulders, and Black Diamonds. I don't see anything with Nitro. I must have missed something there, uh, Thomas. But next comment is price on Secret Affair, Neil. Secret Affair. It also takes me time to figure out which ones these are because I'm like, okay, now which one is that? I, I can't go to it just like I can like a, an REO Speedwagon album. I'm like, okay, now what is Secret Affair? Secret Affair. Secret Affair is a 79 UK import. That's mod, $17.99 on Secret Affair. Uh, Cynthia Herdron said sold, and that was on Micro Disney. And Fred Carnell says I'll give it a shot, so he sold on White Flame. And then Thomas Hudra wants the Australian comp. Okay, that was this one right here. Raw Cuts, Australian Nitro. Okay, that threw me off. Thomas Hudra on the Australian uh, compilation. Uh, how much was The Midnighters? I remember that one. It was, well, no, that was The Tumbitas. That was $17.99. Uh, the Midnighters. The Mid, the Midnighters. That was uh, an 88 UK import Psycho Billy, $32.99 Wayne Carr. And we have uh, Neil, I think, does want the Secret Affair. That's so to Neil Rigler. John Barry's at $50, now 51 
it was purple and black. Yes, I got it. I got that for you. Okay, now I hadn't finished going through these, but that is an out. So John Barry's at 51. That's a final call. Let's put up a Santana compilation, Japanese pressing. Santana Grand Prix 20. This is going to be a $35 start. Very nice jacket with Obi, and of course, what you would expect, the vinyl is near mint minus and pristine. Black Magic Woman, Oyo Come Ava. Mentioned some of those album songs earlier that was on that Abraxas album we had. $35 start. Santana, it's a hits compilation, Japanese pressing. $35 start. All right, and then here's what's left. I don't think I missed anything else. Everything that was asked about sold. We have the White Lines, the Jailbirds, the Black Hollies. Uh, Supercharger, live 1992, Harold Ray, live in concert, Working Man, Dutch uh, Tilders, or Tilders, Rumble Rock, Radio Birdman, and then there's the Gorgira albums. These are new and sealed from Mars to Cirrus, The Way of the Flesh, La Font Sauvage, and Terra Incognita. I'm going to put those, actually, I'm just going to put those back in a bin right here. I had a whole rack full of them, but now it has shrunk since tonight. And let's go ahead and sell the John Barry to Stephen Free You for $51. Stephen, that sold to you for $5.1. And we have a bin of putbacks to go through. And then we've got another crate just like this. But let's go through a putback bin first. Let's go through a putback put bin first. Thomas Sujar wants Radio Birdman. Santana's a $35 start. And I'm going to condense this with the other stuff from tonight, which is where. Also, don't forget, I have MoFi inner sleeves. Packs of 50 for $26.99. If anybody wants a pack of MoFi inner sleeves for $26.99. Let's see. There's the first bin of that kind of stuff. Let me move these over here. So Paul got us some very cool stuff priced today. We've been through two bins of that. There's a whole nother bin. We've been through a putback bin. And I have a whole nother putback bin to go through, which I think is right here. Let me go through it very quickly make sure all the auction stuff's pulled out. There probably was some stuff in here, though, that was originally auctioned, and I'm either going to pull it out right now and re-auction it, or we'll just leave it in here, and I'll offer it for that same price. So I don't see much in here that was auctioned right now. I'll just go ahead and set it all up here. Yep, that was. It's a Japanese Beatles, and that's all I see right now. Maybe this here, but I'll just make that a bite now. Or we auction the Japanese Beatles. Let me take this empty crate. I'm going to need it very soon. We have a new bin on Santana for 35 And Jamie McCord says he'll take one more pack of inners. Great decision. Final call on Santana for $35. And let's bring over this crate right here. All right, so these are putbacks or non-payments or stuff they got mistagged. Is Santana live? No, Santana is studio recordings. Any more Dale Beatles? About 800 of them, not counting 45s. Counting 45s, over 1,000, Thomas. I haven't worked on those since December, October, November, December. They're in tubs, kind of like these autographs, and I've never touched them. I know, crazy, right? We're going to get to them eventually, along with all this other stuff I have left to price. Thank you for allowing me to have that time out. Okay, we're about to sell Santana. This first auction was sold for $21. It's uh, Iver Avenue Reunion, signed by Charlie Musselwhite. If anybody wants it for that same price of $21, signed by Charlie Musselwhite. Barry Goldberg also plays on there, and Neil Merriweather. That's from Dale's collection, $21.99. 20, or excuse me, $21 even. That was a buy it now. Uh, this is $33.99, nine-inch nails, nine-inch nails, and this is called what? Add Violence. That's $33.99. Thomas Hujar wants the Charlie Musselwhite signed album. We'll do that for the price of $21. Rachel was second. Nine-inch nails is $33.99, near mint. Rolling Stones, undercover, original under sleeve, no condition notes, $34.99. Uh, Jason Short, you got outbid on Santana. Christopher Allen's at $37. Fred Carnell was third on Charlie Musselwhite. The Doors, L.A. Woman, EX Condition, $29.99. The Doors, L.A. Woman, EX Condition, $29.99. John Howard first on Nine Inch Nails. That's sold to John Howard. We have Neil Young, After the Gold Rush, VG Condition, $14.99. After the Gold Rush, VG Condition, $14.99. Also, new and sealed, 
Queens Rock Empire, new and sealed on clear vinyl, $39.99 for Empire. That's new and sealed on clear vinyl. We've already sold Nine Inch Nails. Sean Reed, first on the doors. That's sold to Sean Reed. New bin on Santana. Tiny Tim, for all my little friends. Tiny Tim is in VG Plus condition, $19.99. Tiny Tim, for all my little friends. New and sealed, The Cult, Dreamtime. Dark red vinyl, debut, 40th anniversary. The Cult, Dreamtime, $33.99. Also, Beck, Odelay. Beck is $33.99. This is Beck, Odelay, $33.99 for Beck, Odelay. And Winona Judd, that's the other one we had. Tell me why. First time ever on vinyl. First time ever on vinyl, red vinyl, $33.99. Santana has a new bid for $38. That means Christopher Allen, you've been outbid. Christopher just bid $40. Thomas Hujar wants TT, and that was for Tiny Tim. That's hope for Thomas Hujar. Metallica, Master of Puppets, $33.99 for Metallica. Master of Puppets, that's new and sealed. The Patsy Cline Story, that's a 2LP Patsy Cline compilation. MCA Records, no condition notes, $26.99. Emerson, Lake, and Palmer is $19.99. Emerson, Lake, and Palmer, clean copy of their self-titled debut album. Thomas Sujar first on Metallica, Master of Puppets. That's sold to Thomas Sujar. We have an out on Santana. This is sold to Christopher Allen for $40. Let's get two new Japanese pressings up. But first, Christopher Allen gets this for $40. I will put up two new ones in about 60 seconds. But first, Robert Phillippe wants PC for Patsy Cline. That's sold to Robert Phillippe. Also have Jeff Beck, Blow by Blow. Jeff Beck is VG Plus Condition, $14.99. Blow by Blow, VG Plus, $14.99. Stevie Nicks, The Wild Heart. Stevie Nicks is EX Condition, $17.99. For Stevie Nicks, The Wild Heart, EX, $17.99. And Pat Benatar, Crimes of Passion, $14.99. Pat Benatar, Crimes of Passion. Benatar is $14.99. And another Pat Benatar, Precious Time, this is $14.99. Pat Benatar, Precious Time, $14.99. $14.99. I got to write something down. I just realized something on one of these buyers that is sold. And, or excuse me, Robert Phillippe put SN for Stevie Nicks. That sold. Barry Seagrave was second. John Franz, let me know which Pat Benatar you want. Precious Time or Crimes of Passion, or you can have both. And we have, this was sold at auction. Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. It sold for $38. If anybody wants it, let me know. It's a vintage Emerson Lake and Palmer bootleg from Dale's collection. $38 if anybody wants that. $38 if anybody wants that. Let me go ahead and clear out sticky note pile number one. There's going to be a bunch of them. Now, we sold one of these that either got probably didn't get paid for because we don't allow putbacks on auction. So, obviously, somebody didn't pay for it. The Beatles, 62 to 66, 2 LP. This is going to be a $45 start. The vinyl is near mint minus and pristine. There's one LP. There's the other. It has the poster. It does have the poster. It has the discography book. It has the lyric book. It has both original and sleeves. Nice jacket. Gatefold of Obi. Just a little bit of discoloration on the inside there. $45 start on that. The Beatles, 62 to 66. $45 start. John Franz wants Crimes of Passion. Sandy Mile gets the Emerson, Lake, and Palmer for $38. Make sure that goes in for $38. That was a vintage bootleg of Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. All right, there's another crate full. Fantastic. Let's get another one going here. This is a new and sealed winger box set. This is $139.99. $139.99 on winger. And this is new and sealed. It's the winger Studio album collection, self-titled, In the Heart of the Young Pool, and a demo anthology disc, $139.99. And as you've just seen, there is a tear in the shrink wrap, but uh, it's new and sealed. Winger, I can't get those anymore right now. $139.99 on Winger, might want to pick that up. Ace Frilly, 10,000 volts. I actually think there's a waiting list for this. Let me check, and I am getting a restock. This is a great, great opportunity I am getting more of these. So this one, let me see if there is a waiting list. And I just found out I'm getting more of these. And there's two more surprise restocks that I'm going to post tomorrow. Two big albums. One of them we've had recently. One of them I don't think I've ever been able to get since I've been doing this in like five years. And I'm going to have that post tomorrow. I got Tony Wade. I wonder if he's watching right now. Tony Wade on a waiting list for Ace Freely. 
10 Val, he just commented. There he is, Tony Wade. I came back over here and it, it's his. If anybody else wants one, the new one I'm getting is on red vinyl, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's on red vinyl. This is on the splatter, the original one I posted a pre-order for. So, Tony, thank you. Glad you're watching. I got your name scratched off. That's so to you, Tony Wade. Uh, the Beatles got bids for 45 and 45. Jason Boxel was in first. Michael Obrick, you're second. There's Winger. I have level 42 World Machine. Level 42 is $24.99. Stevie Nicks is sold, yes. Level 42 is $24.99. And China Crisis, working with fire and steel. China Crisis is EX condition, $12.99 on China Crisis, working with steel. EX, $12.99. Let's put up a new Japanese pressing. This is going to be another Michael Shanker group. This is the self-titled album, I'm pretty sure. This is going to go up for a $35 start. Michael Shanker Group. This is a $35 start. MSG with Obi. $35 start on this. Michael Shanker Group. Michael Shanker Group. Name of the artist and album. $35 start. There's that. There's that. And there's the cover of Obi. $35 start. Beatles has a new bid for $46, now $50. Ch uh, China Cross is sold to Travis Wade. New and sealed Jelly Roll, $29.99. I just ordered more of these this morning, too. Red Vinyl, Ballads of the Broken, Jelly Rolls, $29.99. Kings of Leon, $39.99. This is only by the night. New and sealed Kings of Leon, $39.99. And the Beach Boys, Endless Summer. Does have some writing on the cover, but this is $19.99. It's the Beach Boys 2LP compilation, $19.99. We just sold one of these earlier. Benny Mardonez. $14.99. Here's another one. Benny Mardonez, Never Run, Never Hide. We sold one earlier. Here's another one. $14.99. Beatles at $50. Michael Obrick, let me know if you want back in. Experience Hendrix, the best of Jimi Hendrix. $33.99 for the best of Jimi Hendrix. That's a 2LP, new and sealed. Also, Taylor Swift, Evermore. This is $39.99. It's a Target red vinyl pressing of Taylor Swift's Evermore. Both original on her sleeves. And this is $39.99, Evermore, red vinyl, Target exclusive of T-Swift. We also have uh, Ron Stoltz gets the Benny Mardones. That's sold to Ron Stoltz for $14.99. DK Evans is at $55 on the Beatles. Thomas Sudra on Evermore. Thomas, this must have not got put, put on your invoice the last time because this had your name on it earlier. I just took your sticky note off either. That didn't get put on your invoice or something happened there, but I'm going to make sure you get it this time. That's sold to Thomas Sujar. His name's already on it. And then Jamie Wills Erickson, you were second. David Lee Roth is, hmm, it's sealed. We'll have to auction that. We'll have to auction that. No price on it. We'll have to put it back up. Ace Frilly, Origins Volume 2 Picture Disc, sealed, $34.99. A 2022 Record Store Day Picture Disc, $34.99. $34.99. The Beatles now at $60. Nobody bid on Michael Schenker Group, so this is a $35 buy now. $35 buy now on Michael Shanker Group. This is a $35 buy now for Michael Shanker Group if anybody wants it. All right, that is MSG. $35 buy now if anybody wants that. Sold to Javi Soto. Sandy needs to put back the Emerson Lake and Palmer bootleg. Okay, let me find that. This is... Let me figure out where that was. Was that in this last bin? Yeah, right here. Okay, so this is being put back if anybody wants it. It's a vintage Emerson Lake and Palmer bootleg from Dale's Collection. $38 on that. John Otten wants the Jimi Hendrix. Uh, Michael Obrick, let me know if you want back in on the Beatles. Jason Boxel has it for $60. DK Evans says he's out as well, or maybe Michael already said out. Uh, I don't think he has, though, but the high bid is $60. Uh, we have David Gilmore live at Pompeii, $119.99. David Gilmore, Live at Pompeii, 4 LP box set, 24-page booklet. That's $119.99 on that. Great stuff there, David Gilmore, Live at Pompeii. Charlie Brown's Holiday Hits, $33.99 on Charlie Brown's Holiday Hits. That's new and sealed. Rush, Moving Pictures, that is the gatefold. Half-Speed Master, Rush, Moving Pictures, $39.99. There actually may be a waiting list. There may be a waiting list on this I hadn't got yet. There possibly is. Let me just set that out. If anybody wants one, let me take down your name, but I think there's some on the way. Stacy Metternich wants Can, and I bet that was for possibly Charlie Brown. We'll find out. That was. That's so to Stacy Metternich. Next is uh, Hootie and the Blowfish. 
That's the clear vinyl pressing, Atlantic 75th edition. 21 times platinum, $29.99. Also, Alice in Chains, Rainer Fog. That is on exclusive small color vinyl, $39.99. That is Alice in Chains and The Fray, How to Save a Life, $33.99 on that. I never did hear back from Michael Obrick, but I got to sell the Beatles for $60. This is, that's exactly what it sold for this last time. That's what it sold for the last time at auction. So, Jason, I know you'll pay for it. The last person didn't. This is so to Jason Boxel. Same price as the last time, $60. We have Hayden Ernest on Frey. I have more copies of this if anybody else, if anybody else wants a copy. Uh, Blind Melon is $38.99. Self-titled, music on vinyl pressing. That's $38.99. Aerosmith, get your wings. Aerosmith is in VG Plus condition, $19.99 for Aerosmith, get your wings. Scorpions, love at first sting. Scorpions is $33.99, new and sealed, love at first sting. Gloria Estefan, this is $38.99 for Gloria Estefan, hold me, thrill me, kiss me. Ray Wiley Hubbard is $26.99, that's called co-starring, $26.99 on that. And Ray Riley Hubbard, that's also $26.99 green vinyl. Those were actually special orders, and we had to put them back. So those are $26.99, green vinyl, Ray Wiley Hubbard. Okay, those are $26 and $26.99. Let's put up new Japanese pressings. We have Santana, and we have Zubin Meta conducts suites from Close Encounters of the Third Kind and Star Wars. Very cool Japanese pressings here. This is a $35 start for Star Wars. Zubin Meta conducts suites from Star Wars and Close Encounters of the Third Kind. London, Japanese label, John Williams Star Wars Suite. That is a $35 start. We have a Japanese insert. We have a really cool foil coven, foil cover, Zubin Meta, $35 start on that. Santana Shango. Santana Shango is a pristine Japanese pressing. Super, super clean and nice. That is a $35 start. Santana Shango, $35 start. Has the Japanese insert. Very nice cover. $35 on that. Now, let's go up to the top and see what happened here. Andre Javi Soto got the Michael Shank group. It was a no bid. And then I made it a buy it now. Javi Soto got it. Andre was second. Edwin Riviera, you were third. As the Scorpions on colored vinyl. It's not. Now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sort the new stuff from the pre-owned stuff. I'm going to sort the new stuff from the pre-owned and vintage stuff. And I'm going to go back through this one more time extremely quickly. Extremely quickly. So there's all vintage pre-owned. There's vintage pre-owned. And then I'm going to keep all the new stuff uh, together back here and vintage pre-owned, and we're going to go through all this one more time. All right, so this is all vintage pre-owned. We got Rolling Stones Undercover, $34.99, original under sleeve. After the Gold Rush, Neil Young is VG, $14.99. Emerson, Lake, and Palmer, super clean copy of their debut, $19.99. Jeff Beck, Blow by Blow, VG Plus, $14.99. Pat Benatar, Precious Time, that's $14.99. Pat Benatar, Precious Time. Level 42, World Machine, $24.99. The Beach Boys Endless Summer, $19.99. Ace Freely, Origins Volume 2, a 2022 Record Store Day picture disc, sealed $34.99. Larry Drish wants PB. No, he said JB for Jeff Beck. That is so to Larry Drish. We also have this vintage Emerson Lake and Palmer bootleg, Works Half, and that is a $38 buy now. That's what it sold for last time at auctions. We have Thomas Hooperjar put JW. I believe that was for the, that was Conduct Suites from Star Wars, right? Is that right? Jason Bokes will just bid 36. So, Thomas, I think you just got outbid, and Edwin Riviera put Emerson for this. Now, was that for the bootleg, or was that for the self-titled album? Was that for the self-titled album? Uh, let me know. 38 on the bootleg or that? Kung Fu poster. I didn't know I had a Kung Fu poster. Uh, Aerosmith, get your wings, VG Plus condition, $19.99. And he said that was for the self-titled one. Okay, that's for Emerson Lake and Palmer, self-titled Edwin Riviera. Now, the rest of the box is new and sealed. Queens Rock Empire, $39.99. The Cult Dreamtime is $33.99. Beck Odelay is $33.99. Winona, tell me why. That's on red vinyl, first time on vinyl, $33.99. Still have the Winger box set, $139.99. Jelly Roll, $29.99. Kings of Leon's $39.99. David Gilmore, live at Pompeii, $119.99. 
Hootie and the Blowfish is $29.99. Alice in Chains, colored vinyl, $39. Blind Melons on black vinyl. Music on vinyl pressing, $38.99. Scorpions Love at First Thing, $33.99. Gloria Estefan, $38.99. Ray Wiley Hubbard, Ray Wiley Hubbard. Thomas Hujar wants David Gilmore live at Pompeii. Nobody bid on Santana. I'm going to make this a $35 buy now. Shango is a no bid. $35 buy now on Santana. Shango. $35 buy now on Santana. Shango. $35 buy now on that. Larry Drish is in for $35. Star Wars, Zubin Mehta. Jason Boxel has it for $40. Thomas Hujar is out. That's a final call for $40. If anybody else wants anything in this putback bin, let me know. Errol Smith, Emerson Lake and Palmer got some winger. Kings of Leon. They're all going to be right over here, right over here. Let's go through that third crate that Paul marked for us today. And uh, let's go through that third crate uh, Paul marked for us of that New Orleans stuff. Javi Soto says he'll take the Gloria Estefan. That's so to Javi Soto. That's uh, originally came out in like 94, so very difficult to find on vinyl, if found on vinyl. Star Wars has a high bid of $30. Uh, $40 with Jason Bokes on. About to sell it. And let's go through this new bin of New Orleans stuff. There's no telling what's in here. Now, uh, George Somers, a couple weeks ago, I posted a picture of a Bruce Lee Kung Fu poster, but I never did get to it because I didn't have the information ready on it. So uh, I will have that at some point this week. So uh, just let me know. Chad, I have records for, I have for sale from a classic collection. I just dropped on a Saturday when I come to the store. Well, you might want the messages and make sure we're actually interested in them. So you need to message the page and talk to Paul and make sure it's something we're interested in before you drop them off. And plus, Saturday will be very busy. But you can drop them off as long as it's something we're interested in buying. Star Wars is sold to Jason Boxel for $40. It's sold to Jason Boxel for $40. But we kind of need to pre-screen them. I've had, uh, I used to say, I used to tell people drop off anything. We had one guy show up one time with like a truckload, and I was like, whoa, hold on a second. And it was nothing we were interested in. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of cut that out. We pre screen everything first. This is sold to Jason Boxel for $40. All right. So, we have David Lee Roth, the Spanish version of Eat 'em and Smile. And this is completely done in Spanish. It's a sealed copy, $25 start. It is a cutout. It is sealed. David Lee Roth, $25 start on that. Here's a recap on supplies. I have packs of outer sleeves, packs of 100 outer sleeves. They're $29.99. Outer sleeves, packs of 100 is $29.99. I have 45 outer sleeves. 45 outer sleeves, packs of 100, $14.99. David Lee Roth is at 25, 25, and 30. I have a truckload of Pablo Cruz. If it's Pablo Cruz, I'll buy them. Um, we don't have any trouble selling Pablo Cruz. I actually could sell probably 30 copies right now, probably. I, I do have more putbacks. There was actually so many. Uh, Doug started piling them on top of other crates, so I do have more putbacks, but I'll show them after we go through this bin here. Okay. So, uh, 25, 25, 30. Uh, Jamie McCord wants a pack of outer sleeves. That's so to Jamie McCord. David Lee Roth, 32. Any news on Toby Keith? Awaiting repress. And then James Vasquez wants packs of outer sleeves as well. That's so to James Vasquez. David Lee Roth, 31, 35, 38. All right, so let's go through this new bin. Awaiting repress means who knows when they're going to make more of them, but they've been out of stock. It could be next week. It could be next year. This is Chicks Dig It. Chicks Dig It is an original 1996 U.S. pressing EX condition. EX condition, that's Chicks Dig It, $94.99, $94.99. How much was the outer sleeves? Packs of 100 is $29.99. Edwin Riviera wants a pack of outer and inner sleeves. Edwin Riviera wants a pack of outer and inner sleeves. Let's do that for Edwin Riviera. All right, I got to get to this other box I have of these. What happened to them? And we need packs of inners, okay? I can take care of that, but just give me one second because I've got to step up here anyway and get this crate. Let me do that. David Lee Roth has new bids, 40, 42. I think I saw when I walked by the monitor. Let me grab this empty crate. And I bought 25 cases 
of outer sleeves, and I don't think I've probably bought enough because we had a waiting list from last week, and I think by the time I show these two or three times, we're going to sell a lot. We always burn through supplies. And then I always have people asking for coin supplies, comic book supplies. Uh, coin supplies are the hardest to find. And then uh, baseball card supplies. Incredible. All right, so uh, Edwin Riviera wants a pack of outer sleeves. Jason Short wants a pack of outer sleeves. And then Edwin Riviera also wants a pack of inner sleeves. Now, that's what I just didn't show. And I still have one more supply that I hadn't shown tonight, but I'm going to wait on that just a few more minutes. There's inner sleeves. Pack of 50. 50 inner sleeves is $26.99. That's also sold to Edwin Riviera. That's also sold to Edwin Riviera. All right, Thomas Ujar has the high bid on David Lee Roth for $42. $42 on that. Okay, uh, so Chicks Diggin, that's the only record I've shown in here. Eugene Ripper and the North. Eugene Ripper is an 88 Canadian folk rock EP, EX condition, $12.99. Also, Out of Time. Out of Time is a 1988 U.S. rock album, EX condition, $17.99. The Cardinals, Action Records presents The Cardinals. EX condition, $27.99, a 1997 mono Greek import garage album. That is $27.99. The David Lee Roth is sung in Spanish, yes. It has a completely different cover. Sonresa Salvaggia, which means eat them and smile, I guess. And the high bid on that is with Thomas Sujar at $42. It's an original sealed, and that's at $42. Everybody else is out. Final call, Thomas Sujar wants the Cardinals. What percentage are putbacks due to non-payments? Very, very, very little, less than 1%. The Holly Sisters of Gada Dada, almost everybody virtually pays. We hardly have any putbacks and non-payments. An 86 U.S. New Wave Goth Rock Punk Album, EX Condition, $22.99. The Holly Sisters of Gada Dada, EX Condition, $22.99. And Donovan Colors. Donovan Colors is a 1987 U.K. pressing, EX $12.99. Donovan Colors, EX Condition, $12.99 on that. Beat Party, The Underground. Beat Party's in VG Condition, $9.99. Beat Party. VG condition, $9.99. What an interesting looking cover. I wonder if that's by designed by Stephen Hill. No, I don't think that's the same artist, but it has that same look to it. Beat Party, The Underground, VG condition, $9.99. Larry Drish first on Donovan. Fred Carnell on The Holy Holly. The Holy Holly. I forget if it's always one L or two Ls. Either way, it's sold to Fred. David Lee Roth is sold to Thomas Sujar for $42. Next is Atomic Rooster, EX Condition, $27.99 on Atomic Rooster, made in England. Wow, Atomic Rooster, EX Condition, $27.99. Creative Source is in VG Condition, $9.99. Creative Source is VG Condition, $9.99. Thomas Ujar first on Atomic Rooster. Thomas gets Atomic. We have Doing Our Thing, Booker T and the MGs, VG Minus Condition, $9.99. Booker T and the MGs doing our thing, VG 999. Jason second on Atomic Rooster. Rachel Crosta wants Beat Party. That's so to Rachel Crosta. Cynthia Hurgeon third on Atomic Rooster. And we have Captain Beefheart and the Spotlight Kid, VG Condition $16.99. Captain Beefheart's VG 1699. Jason Franz first on Booker, and then Jackson, and then Christopher, and then All Them Die. Captain Beefheart, let's put up two new Japanese pressings. If there's anybody new watching tonight, Welcome to Coletco. We do this every night. $7 in limited shipping. We do have a brick and mortar store here in Lebanon, Tennessee, which is just east of Nashville, Tennessee. But we sell records every night here on Facebook. Some people's like, I'll make posts and they'll say, I wish I could come visit your store. I love the records you sell every night. And I'm like, why don't you just buy them? Because we'll ship them to your doorstep for $7. Actually, our best stuff is shown right here every night, all of our new arrivals, and they get gone quick. So when you can, tune in every night, 7 o'clock. We're here from 7 to midnight selling records, and then we're now on this like new routine of like midnight to 2 a.m. selling movie posters and Hollywood memorabilia. So tune in every night whenever you can. This is ABBA Arrival. This is a $35 start. It's a Japanese pressing, near mint minus and pristine. You can tune in whenever you can here. Some people tune in every night, or you can probably spend a lot of time and travel in the country and the world trying to find all these at one place, and that's going to be extremely difficult. 
ABBA, Arrival, Japanese pressing, $35 start on that. And we have a Madonna album. This is Like a Virgin. It is extremely nice, near mint minus and pristine. And this is a $35 start. We have a lot of people who don't even live remotely close to a record store. That's why they watch us every night. Their closest record store would literally be like a day trip. And then there's some people who literally are in a record store every day. I know some people who go to like the record stores around Nashville every day, like every day. They're in every store that's open if they can. I'm like, man, I don't have that kind of time. I hardly have time to look through the records we have here. But those people still tune in and watch us at night. Those are serious collectors. Madonna is a $35 start. This is like a virgin. $35 start on Madonna. And then ABBA already has bids as well. So back up to the top, we had Paul Ogley first on Captain Beefheart, then Paul Ogley, then Brian C., then Christopher Brusha. Daniel Hayes, you were fifth on Booker. ABBA has bids for $35. Madonna, $35, $35. Madonna 40, Madonna 41. CCS, whole lot of love. EX Condition 1799. CCS, whole lot of love. Wow, that's Paige Plant, Jones, and Bottom. That's the Led Zeppelin song. EX 1799. Captain Beefheart is already sold. Themes and Things, John Young Trio. VG Plus Condition 1499. VG Plus Condition 1499. Cynthia Herdron wants CCS. That's so to Cynthia Herdron. Next is Just Your Fool, Chicago Bob and the Shadows. EX Condition 1299 for Chicago Bob and the Shadows. Just Your Fool. That's EX Condition 1299. And Otis Smokey Smothers and his Ice Cream Men Got My Eyes on You. EX Condition 2799, a 1986 U.S. Chicago Blues album. EX Condition 2799. The Xanties. Out for Kicks, a 1980 U.S. Rockabilly album, EX-1799, and the one and only Andrew Hill, So In Love, a U.S. reissue probably from the 70s, EX Condition 2299. ABBA has one bid with Jason Anderson for $35, final call, and he just became the high bidder again on Madonna for $44. Thomas Hujar wants Chick, and that was for the Chicago uh, Chicago Bob and the Shadows, that's so to Thomas Hujar. Fred Carnell on the Xanties. That's so to Fred Cardinale. Mike Williams, the radio show. Mike Williams is in EX Condition 1799. That's a 77 U.S. folk rock, southern rock album. EX Condition 1799. And Things That Matter, The Wild Mammoths. That is EX Condition 2299, a 1988 U.S. garage album in stereo. EX 2299. John Young Trio. I did. John Young Trio, Themes and Things, a 1962 mono jazz pressing, VG Plus Condition, 1499. Andrew Hoy wants to know the David Hill price. David Hill price. David Hill price. Was that already claimed? Andrew Hill. May oh, Andrew Hill. Andrew Hill is EX Condition 2299. Uh, it's a hard life. 14 U.S. mid-60s garage band greats. A 1999 unofficial German import 60s garage compilation. EX 2299. Jason Anderson gets the ABBA for a $35 winning bid. That's so to Jason Anderson for $35. Looks like Jamie's out of Madonna. So that's also a final call to Jason Anderson as well. And we have Jason Anderson on that. For $44. We're about to sell that, and then I'm going to put up two new auctions. I have the Beat Merchants, the Beat that goes on, EX Condition 2699. Now, I mentioned earlier, uh, Paul brought some records up. He kind of purged from some stuff that he was going to buy for his personal collection. A couple of them are from Dale's Pittsburgh collection. Let's go ahead and get this first one going. And he told me, he said, this is not too easy of an album to find. It is Jerry Jeff Walker, Mr. Bojangles. Jerry Jeff Walker, Mr. Bojangles, and it was from Fred's collection, and it's autographed. It's not autographed by Jerry Jeff Walker. It's autographed by David Bromberg, who appeared on this album. It's autographed by David Bromberg on the back. Jerry Jeff Walker, Mr. Bojangles. It's an original Atco pressing on that original two-tone label. Extremely nice, extremely nice vinyl, just what you'd expect from Dale's Pittsburgh collection. It looks like at one time there was a promo sticker or maybe a price sticker on the cover, Somebody has attempted to remove it. So there's a little bit of sticker residue left there and a little bit of a paper pull there. But other than that, super nice jacket. Autographed by David Bromberg, a 1968 USOG 
Jerry Jeff Walker, Mr. Bojangles, that's up for bid for a $25 start. Madonna is sold to Jason Anderson for $44. That's sold to Jason Anderson for $44. Thank you, Jason. That's sold to you. So Jerry Jeff is a $25 start. Very, very cool. Mr. Bojangles. And let me see what else is over here. Oh, I think we got a very cool Leonard Skinner. I think we had one of these the other night in the buy it now bin, but they, they, for some reason, I never sell them hardly in the buy it now bin. We always put them up for auction. And this is Street Survivors. But this one's nice, and it's complete with the insert and the merchandise insert. So let me show this to you right now. This is the original pressing of Leonard Skinner's Street Survivors. The vinyl's in EX condition. That's been pretty conservative, I think. A 1977 US OG. It has to be an OG with this cover unless you get a new copy, obviously. But this is a $35 start EX vinyl. And it has the merchandise insert, the Leonard Skinner survival kit merchandise insert. Very ominous of what happened right after this, the survival kit. I always thought that was very odd. And then Leonard Skinner, the tour that never was to be because of the tragic plane crash. It has the original MCA inner sleeve, 77 US press and gatefold, $35 start, $35 start. Leonard Skinner Street Survivors, that's a $35 start. That's a 77, it's complete with the tour insert, the merchandise insert, and the original inner sleeve. Nice copy overall. Jerry Jeff Walker, is it a Monarch pressing? This is MR with a circle, yes, Monarch. MR with the circle and the dead wax, yes. A 68 Monarch OG. All right, back up to the top. We have Fred Carnell gets the hard life. That's so to Fred Carnell. Then Jerry Jeff Walker got bids for 25, 25, and 30. Leonard Skinner has bids for 35, 40, 35. Jerry Jeff, 35. Leonard Skinner, 55. And Jerry Jeff has bids for 40 and 40. So Skinner's 55. Tom Moran first on Jerry Jeff for 40. Next LP is Dark Skies. Dark Skies, a 2006 U.S. Garage album, EX1299. Also, I hadn't really said, at midnight, we're going to do posters. And last night, we, we uncovered an original Back to the Future, an original Goonies poster, an original E.T. poster. We went through a Richard Pryor packet of original Richard Pryor posters. If you can stay on late, I'm telling you, the midnight poster stuff tonight, the first packets we're going through is going to be Al Pacino, another Richard Pryor packet, and this is literally a live unboxing of a collection of movie posters and memorabilia for those who was on late. It was a pretty incredible night. We found an original Back to the Future movie poster. That might be the find of the tub so far. Pretty incredible stuff. So those are the kind of the posters, original movie posters that we're showing at midnight if you can stay on late enough to watch. You have to be a, you got to be on some kind of night shift or don't have to get up in the morning if you can watch for that. Brent says it's not that great. Don't tune in. <laughs> mean Red Spiders. This is Nude Guitarist in Wet Lettuce Frenzy. Close Encounters. Yeah, that was a big one too. Close Encounters. EX Condition, $17.99. Mean Red Spiders. Nude Guitarist in Wet Lettuce Frenzy. EX Condition, that's a 1987 UK pressing. We have the New Salem Witch Hunters, Hot Sauce and Happenings. That's a 96 US Folk Garage Sock Record, VG Plus, $14.99. Brent Robley wants Mean Red Spiders. That's so to Brent Robley. Did I miss something before that? Meat Merchants. Neil Rigler, Beat Merchants, is EX Condition, $26.99. A 2000 UK pressing, 180 gram with a bonus 7 inch. $26.99. Cynthia Herdron wants Witch Hunters. Let's update these auctions. Leonard Skinner has a high bid with Sean Holford at $60. Sean Holford has that for $60. Jerry Jeff Walker's at $55 with Brent Robley. Mr. Bojangles, signed on the back by David Bromberg, Dale's Pittsburgh Collection, Super Clean Vinyl, a 68 Monarch pressing. Mild Manor Janitors, Innocence, Mild Manor Janitors is a 91 German import garage indie album. VG Plus 9.99. Neil Rigler wants to beat merchants. That's so to Neil Rigler. Thank you. Chris is out on Leonard Skinner. Alive and Cool, Albert Collins. Albert Collins is a UK import reissue. EX Condition 27.99 on Albert Collins. David Bedford, Nurse's Song with Elephants. That's a U.S. reissue art rock prog album, EX Edition 1799. Thomas Sudra on Albert Collins, Christopher Brush a second, Brent Robley third. Let's move Leonard Skinner to a final call, Sean Holford for 60, and Jerry Jeff Walker for 55. Now 57 with Calvin Ward. 
on Jerry Jeff. Dirty da doge dos what is those S's dossies? Dirty dossies. Dig that groove. Uh, EX Condition 1299, a 91 German import rockabilly album. Jerry Jeff's at 65 with Brent Robley. It is signed by David Bromberg on the back. The Glorious. The Glorious is a 1986, 1987 Swiss import garage album. 2799 on The Glorious. Scare Me to Death. The Rattler. Scare Me to Death is EX Condition 1799. The do, oh is that doggies George is that a claim or was you helping me those are G's the dirty doggies I think or the ditzy is that ditzy or is that an R ditzy doggies I'm gonna mute my mic right quick I definitely need a drink of water Okay, well, uh, it's Dirty Doggies. Okay, he was just helping, so no claim on that. Fred Carnell does want the glories, though. Leonard Skinner got new bid at 65, 70, and Sean's right back in at 75. Calvin Ward, let me know if you want back in on Jerry Jeff. You got to outbid Brent. He's at $65. The History of the Left Bank, that has their hit song, Walk Away Renee. That's an 85 U.S. Rhino compilation, VG Plus 1799. And Restless, moving on. Restless is VG Plus 1499, a 1990 UK import rockabilly, VG Plus 1499. Jackson Blaylock wants David Belford. That right there, so to Jackson Blaylock. Jerry Jeff has a new bid for 67. Leonard Skinner has a new bid for 80. Big Bill Brunzi, unissued on LP, Chicago Blues, Midnight Steppers. Big Bill is an 86 Italian import, probably rare 78s, yeah, probably a 78s comp. VG Plus 1499. Probably some tough music to get there. Screaming and Crying, Chicago Urban Blues, nonstop. EX, EX Plus, a 1982 Japanese import, $36.99. $36.99. Leonard Skinner got a bid for $80. And then Sean's right back in at $85. Larry Drish on BB for Big Bill. Thomas Second, Christopher Brush a third. And we have Mellow P. Mellow P. Surf and Rock and Roll, an 88 Spanish pressing. It's a surf compilation. EX Condition 1299. And I'm Evil, Wildsville. That is a 2000 Australian import garage rock novelty comp. VG Plus 3499. Fred Carnell on blues. He put blus. I'm assuming for the screaming and crying. Chicago urban blues nonstop. Is that right, Fred? If so, it's so to you. And then Daniel Hayes on Surf, which was the Mellow P. And then George H. on Wildsville. That's so to George H. All right. Had George, George's last name is pronounced Hodjidakis. Hodjidakis. That's why I say George H. And Leonard Skinner's at 95. Greg Pritt, you're out. Brent was out on Jerry Jeff. And let's sell it to Calvin Ward for $67. Nice pickup there. So... In the words of Paul, he says, I'm going to regret selling that, but there's some, it's been an influx of so many other psyche type records that he looks for in his collection or in search of for his collection. By the way, unless something changes, he will be doing a Psychedelic Sunday show. Paul's Psychedelic Sunday. That's all spelt with P's. Paul's Psychedelic Sunday. That's P S U N D A Y. <laughs> something like that. But uh, he's been, some of these records from this collection, if he finds a psych record he's really knowledgeable about, he's been stashing it away so he can clean it, price it, and then tell you about it and sell it to you on Sunday. So, boy, that's, I love psych music myself. That could be really interesting. So, hopefully, he still does that on um, uh, 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 Sunday. And uh, all points say he was. He was underneath... He was under the weather today, so hopefully he feels better, but uh, he had some allergies or something. What time on Sunday? Uh, he usually does it at 2 or 3. I'll definitely make a post. George H. is a legend, a legend in Tuscaloosa, the greatest record store in the South in the 80s. Wow. George, welcome. I'm sure you're very, very knowledgeable then. $35 start. Bob Dylan, Desire. Uh, Sunday start a new week. So if we ever do a Sunday show... That starts a new week. So if we do a show on Sunday, that's a new invoice. You won't be billed for those until 
it's eight days later. It'll be eight days from when you buy those. It'll be a while. $35 start on Bob Dylan Desire. Greg's out on Leonard Skinner. Sean has it for $95. It's about to be Sean's. All right. Not much left in there, so let's roll them one more time. If anybody wants sound sleeves, 45 sleeves, they're $14.99 for a pack of 100. I've got a bunch of them. There's those. Now, this has been, this has been asked about for a while. I finally got more of them in, and usually when I show these, we sell a bunch of them. These are cleaning cloths. I think y'all know what those look like. Let me unbox let me unbox some right here. Cleaning cloths are $4.99. They're lubricated. They're perfect. I don't recommend them for deep cleaning, but uh, perfect for wiping off smudges and fingerprints before and after the use. But I know a lot of people are very interested in some cleaning cloths. And these are $4.99. And we usually sell a bunch of them. Let me get a brand new box. That should be a whole brand new fishbowl here. So... Let's open it up. Vinyl style cleaning cloths. All righty. Patty wants two. Jamie wants two. Robert wants three. Let's see how fast we can go through a fishbowl. All right. I need some for here in the store. I usually keep a couple over here by the turntable. I usually keep a couple over here. I keep one sealed and then I kind of just kind of cut open the packet and leave it in there to protect it so it don't get dirty or dust on it or the lubrication doesn't dry out too fast. And uh, I'm going to count these out. They're $4.99. But first, let me figure out what's going on here. Bob Dylan got a bid for $35. Uh, I'm going to start going back through this bin. Let me go ahead and sell this to Sean Holford for $95. This is sold to Sean Holford for $95. Thank you, Sean. Nice there. Complete, a complete OG Skinnered. And cleaning cloths are $4.99, vinyl style. And like I said, I don't recommend them for like deep cleanings, just, you know, just for casual fingerprints or smudges when just handling your records. Just FYI. But let me count these off. I'm going to go back to this bin. And then we're about to go through another bin of New Orleans stuff. So don't go anywhere. Let me count these off first, though. Cloths. We got two for Patty. There's two for Patty K. Next is Jamie wants four. One, two, three, four for Jamie. There's four for Jamie Wills Erickson. Next is Robert Phillippe wants three. One, two, three. Those are so to Robert Phillippe. Robert Phillippe. Robert Warner wants one. There's one for Robert. There's one for Matt Barnhill. Tony Wade on four of them. That's one, two, three, four. That's so to Tony Wade. Christopher Allen on two. That's so to Christopher Allen. And then Sean Reed wants two. And Craig Thomas wants one. All right, those are all sold. And I've got another handful there. I got five left from that fishbowl. I got five more fishbowls full, though. <laughs> I've got plenty. So there's five more. Uh, final call on Bob Dylan. Daniel Hayes has that for 35. George Sherr says he'll take two. There's two for George Sherr. And let's run through this bin one more time. New stuff from New Orleans. Chicks Dig It. That's an original 96 U.S. pressing. EX condition, 94.99. EX Condition, $94.99. Eugene Ripper in the North, that's an 88 Canadian Folk Rock EP, EX $12.99. And Out of Time, EX Condition, $17.99. An 88 U.S. Rock Album. Also, Creative Source. Creative Source is a 73 Monarch pressing. It does have some defects, VG $9.99. Edwin Riviera wants two cloths. And Mike Brangle, I'm going to give you two, but guess what? Here comes another fishbowl. Here comes another fishbowl. All righty. What is this thing right here? That is, I don't know what that is. Oh, I know what else I got. Aha. Aha. I have something else, too. I'll have to show it in just a second, though. All right, let me go ahead. I'm going to have to open this anyway, because this won't be the only, Mike won't be the only two, last two we sell. I'm definitely keeping, I'm definitely keeping uh, vinyl style in business. I need to buy them out. I might send a message and be like, how much do you want for your company? I could use it. Mike Brangle wants two. And Creative Source. Creative Source is sold to Rachel Crosta. 
That's so to Rachel Crosta. Okay, Otis Smokey Smothers. That's EX Edition 2799 for Otis Smokey Smothers. Mike Williams, The Radio Show, a 77 U.S. folk rock and southern rock album, EX 1799. Things That Matter, The Wild Mammoths. The Wild Mammoths is an 88 U.S. garage album, EX 2299. Themes and Things, John Young Trio, that is a 62 mono jazz album. That's VG Plus 1499. John Young Trio. Where's John Young at? He has a trio. I didn't know that. Thomas Sujar on Smothers. That's so to Thomas Sujar. We have George H. on Wild M, Wild Mammoth. That's so to George H. Thank you, George H. That's so to you. We have the one and only Andrew Hill, So in Love, EX Condition 2299. Paul says that's a U.S. possibly, probably a 70s reissue on this TCB label. Possibly or probably a 70s reissue. Uh, Dark Skies is EX-1299. That's a 2006 U.S. album. Also, Garage Rock. We have Mild Manor Janitors, VG Plus 999. We have Scare Me to Death, The Rattlers, EX-1799. And what is the auction? I actually need to sell it, but it's Daniel Hayes. He has Bob Dylan Desire for $35, and I was just about to sell that as soon as I finished the bin. What did you say about the Big Bill Bronze? He was a 78. Uh, well, it's already sold. I don't know if you got it or not, Larry, but it's sold. It looked like a compilation of his 78s. Uh, the Dirty Doggies is a, 80, is a 91 German import rockabilly EX-1299. The History of the Left Bank with their hit song, Walk Away Renee, VG Plus 1799. That's a compilation. And Restless, moving on, Restless with VG Plus 1499, a 1990 UK rockabilly album, VG Plus 1499. All right, so let me go ahead and move this crate over here, especially because it's got all these cleaning cloths on it. And I'm going to go ahead and move these sleeves over here. Got to get one for Debbie Winstead. We can do that. And I'm going to set this. Actually, let me set this crate. All right, that's a new full crate. Fantastic. And I'm going to set these on top of it. I'm going to try to clean up my station here a little bit before I continue. And I uh, didn't see if I passed. If I did, thought it was a different album. I don't know who got it. Uh, several people. Let me see if I find it. Big Bill. Uh, Big Bill. BB. That was still on here. Big Bill went to Larry Drish. I think you got it, Larry. It was a compilation. It was a compilation, Larry Drish. Let me see if I can pull that back out because there were several other people next. Larry Drish. Big Bill. Brunzi. Let me see if I can find that right here. It was Midnight Steppers. And what I said, it looks like it was a compilation. They have pictures of his 78 labels. So let's sell that instead. He says he doesn't want that. So let's sell that. Next on Big Bill was Thomas Hujar. Thomas Hujar, that's going to go to you if that's okay. I'm going to make that the last crate, last record in that crate there. That's sold to him. Uh, speaking of crate, I need a new empty one, which is right over here. And we're about to go through a new crate. Sorry, those cleaning cloths sometimes take up quite a bit of time, but I've ordered a bunch of them. So I have one more supply category thing to go through. Uh, first, though, Fred Carnell wants Dark Skies. Let me find that for uh, Fred Carnell. And Brian Lacey wants two cleaning cloths. There's one for Brian Lacey, and there's another for Brian Lacey. As y'all see, I still have plenty. $4.99. $4.99 if anybody wants one. There's more clean cloth sold. Brian Lacey gets two more. Keep those over there with the others. Okay, Forrest Appleton wants two cleaning cloths and a pack of outer sleeves. We can do that. There's two for Forrest Appleton. And let me show the outer sleeves. Packs of 100, $29.99. Packs of 100, vinyl style outer sleeves, $29.99. I'm going to put that in there. If anybody else wants a pack, let me know. Daniel Hayes gets the Bob Dylan Desire. Let's put up some new Japanese auctions. First, let me tag that for Daniel Hayes. That's Bob Dylan Desire, $35. And I have a handful of putbacks, actually, to go through very quickly. And uh, let me do that. I'll do a bin of uh, putbacks, or like a handful of putbacks. This is stuff we couldn't fit into the previous bin. Daniel Hayes, sorry it took so long for me to end that. That's so to you for $35. Tony Freeman wants a cleaning cloth. Jeffrey Sapia wants a cleaning cloth. Corey Gaston wants a cleaning cloth. There's one, two, three more sold. And Catherine Lutz wants a cleaning cloth. There's four more sold. All right. 
those are done. Clear up my mess here. <laughs> Got stuff everywhere tonight. Absolutely everywhere. All right. And let's see here. All right. Let me just add these putbacks into this bin and see what happened here. And let me take these sticky notes off. All right. So let me just add these to this bin. Okay. First thing here is Ray Charles together again. Ray Charles together again is 1999. Ray Charles friendship shrink wrap with the hop sticker mentioning mentioning all the people who play on the album. That's 24.99. Joe Strummer and the Mescaleros. That's a new and sealed 2 LP featuring Mick Jones of the Clash. He plays on three of those songs. That's live 39.99, new and sealed. Michael Martin Murphy is autographed. $25 buy it now. Tonight we ride Michael Martin Murphy. It's autographed by Michael Martin Murphy. That is a $25 buy it now if anybody wants it. Also, new and sealed, Led Zeppelin, House of the Holy. New and sealed Led Zeppelin, House of the Holy is $33.99. And this is an original seal. This is the MGM soundtrack to Hank Williams, Your Cheating Heart. Very cool sealed original here with an original Kmart price tag, $39.99. Sealed, Hank Williams, Your Cheating Heart. No cut marks and no punch holes. $39.99 on that. Davey Winston gets the Michael Martin Murphy for a $25 bot now. George Sher gets the Led Zeppelin, and that was $33.99. And then Brent Ridley gets the Hank Williams. That was sold to Brent. And Catherine was second. Next couple things we have over here is Ryan Adams. Ryan Adams, and this is called Gold. It's a new LP, new and sealed, $39.99. Sean Reed wants to Joe Strummer. That's sold to Sean Reed. Joe Strummer is sold. We have Ray Parker Jr. in Who You Gonna Call, Ghostbusters, 1999, OG Pressing with the original under sleeve, 1999 for Ray Parker Jr. Gonna put that one in there. I have actually a waiting list for this, so let me just set that over there. And we have Rush Vapor Trails, $46.99 for Rush Vapor Trails. This is new and sealed, $46.99. Rush Vapor Trails and Eddie Cochran, Yesterday's Heartbreak. 80 Cochran is $19.99. I think that's something from the New Orleans collection. So uh, we sold everything except the two Ray Charles, which was uh, Together Again, Friendship. Ryan Adams is new and sealed. Rush is new and sealed. Ray Parker Jr. is an original, and Eddie Cochran was a new compilation from that uh, New Orleans collection, of course. All right, so cleaning cloths are $4.99. Outer sleeves, which I'm going to leave a pack right there. Outer sleeves is four is uh, twenty nine ninety nine for a pack of a hundred. Let me move this box so I can put these putbacks, keep them all together because I resort them. Sometimes we reclean them and just put them back in new arrival. Sometimes because I like to redate them. I like to redate them so we know when we're officially put them putting them out for sale. And that was the leftovers from that bin, which I'm going to add right here. So, so most of the stuff Paul put out, and let's go through a crate right now and make it buy it now or best offer. Let's go through a crate right now and make it buy it now or best offer. Let's do that right now. Okay, so everything in this crate is buy it now, OBO. Buy it now, OBO. And this is some new stuff, so let's try to knock some of this out. What time is it? About a quarter after 10, almost, central time, if you're watching in Middle Tennessee. The other su supply we showed was the Original Master Sleeves, MoFi Original Master Sleeves. Those are packs of 50 for $26.99. So outer sleeves, inner sleeves, and cleaning cloths. That was the big hits for supplies tonight, and of course, 45 sleeve, but I have put those away. I just dropped my fish bowl of cleaning cloths, but that's okay. I'm just going to put those right down in there. That's a good place for them, right there. And the last thing i got to clear off is these Mothership box sets. These Mothership box sets are $105. Last time tonight, before I make them 119 again. I've sold four tonight. Three people was on waiting list, or two people on wait list, sold two. Two left, Mothership, 4LP, Led Zeppelin, new and sealed, those are $105. I'm actually going to put them right up here. $105 on that. I do not have resellable outers. Unfortunately not. No resellable outers. Nope. All right. 
now. Let's see what I have in the Japanese bin before we get started in this bin. I have, going up for bid, Chicago and Earth, Wind and Fire up for auction. We have Chicago. This is Chicago 10, a Japanese pressing. This is a $35 start. This is Chicago 10, $35 start, near mint minus and pristine Japanese vinyl. There's the LP. There's the Japanese insert. There's the other Japanese insert. There's the original inner sleeve. Chicago 10, the chocolate bar album, $35 start on Chicago. Second Japanese pressing is Earth, Wind, and Fire. Earth, Wind, and Fire. This is called Power, Wind, and Fire. Or excuse me, it's called Power Light by Earth, Wind, and Fire. $35 start on Earth, Wind, and Fire. It has an Earth, Wind, and Fire book with it. it has an Earth, Wind, and Fire book. It has a Japanese insert. Very nice cover of Obi. Those are $35 starts. And I just joined, I'll take a powder of outer sleeves, still have some. I have cases full of them. So Garrett, thank you. And this sold to Garrett Cypress, and that was for this pack of vinyl style outer sleeves. Let's sell that to Garrett. All right. Everything in this bin is buy it now or best offer. Buy it now or best offer. First is Jethro Tull. This was a German pressing, $29.99. An older German label from Ireland, extremely nice vinyl, $29.99. So buy it now, best offer means you can go ahead and buy it, or you can make a best offer. And I'll either say yes, no, or I'll counter. Night of a Thousand Candles, 1985 UK in shrink wrap, The Men They Couldn't Hang. That is The Men They Couldn't Hang, Night of a Thousand ha Candles, $19.99 on that. Junior Marvel, early and unreleased. Junior Marvel is $19.99. Featuring Niels Becker, early and unreleased. Too Fast to Live, Too Young to Die. That's Robert Gordon, $19.99. No condition notes on that. Chris Kirkley's in on Chicago for $35. Going once, going twice. The Gants, I Wonder. The Gants is a 1988 UK pressing, $24.99 on The Gants. Swingin' Teens, an 88 pressing, $16.99. Swingin' Teens, 1988, $16.99. The Uniques is 1999 that is featuring Joe Stampley. The Uniques is 1999 and Rock from Arkansas, Rockin' 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 Bobby Brown, 1999 original 50s recordings. Curtis Blow, Kingdom Blow, 2499 on Curtis Blow has a hop sticker on it. Also Grand Mixer D Street, something of that nature. This is 1982 and it is 4499. 4499 1982 this is Grand Mixer DST and the Infinity Rappers, the Infinity Rappers, 1982, and that is $44.99. Final call in Chicago. Chris Kirkley has that for $35. Going twice, going three times. Earth, Wind, and Fire is a no bid. That is uh, a $35 start if anybody wants in before I make it a buy it now. Kid Frost, that's it. Kid Frost is a 1990 pressing, $14.99. And Sugarfoot, Sugar Kiss, that's a 1985 Allied pressing, $24.99. Sugarfoot, Sugar Kiss, $24.99. Viva Treado by El Chicano, and that is $29.99, $29.99. Pre-Flight by The Birds, earlier I had that before I said The Doors, but this is The Birds, $26.99, pre-flight on that. Earth, Wind & Fire is called Power Light, Earth, Wind & Fire, Power Light, Troy. Power light on that, $35. All right, I'm going to go over here and grab our next Japanese pressing. See if anybody wants to bid on that. You can go right ahead. Okay. Sorry, I was saw something come in. I was like, what in the world? I was making sure everything was A-OK. -okay. All right, make sure I hadn't missed any claims. I'm going to have to blow the air horn and wake everybody up. I have to blow the air horn and wake everybody up, I think. Chris Kirkley, Chicago, is sold to Chris for $35. Let me grab a new sleeve for that. That's sold to Chris Kirkley for $35. Chris Kirkley gets that. Very, very nice. Always like that cover. Looks like a chocolate bar. Looks like a chocolate bar. And let's go ahead and make Earth, Wind & Fire a buy it now. Earth, Wind, Fire is a $35 buy it now. Earth, Wind, Fire is a $35 buy it now if anybody wants it. No bid. Earth, Wind, Fire, 
$35 buy it now. I'm going to lay that right up here. That's a buy it now if anybody wants it. Next Japanese pressings is Wings at the Speed of Sound. This is Paul McCartney. Wings at the Speed of Sound. $35 start. The vinyl is near mint minus and pristine. And we have uh, a Japanese uh, in original inner sleeve. We have a two-page on that. And we have uh, the cover and Obi. Very nice. The uniques get claimed. Uh, I saw a Joe S. No, that was from earlier. That was that was actually from nine minutes ago. <laughs> That's how long it has been since we've had a comment. <laughs> that was from nine. That was for Joe Strummer. I was about to say I think everybody's fell asleep on me. I got to do something. Wake everybody up. I got to do like a one dollar start on something. Let me let me pull something out of the metal auction over here. That's for tomorrow night. Let me clean up. I've got so much stuff around me, I can't find my next auctions. There's so much stuff over here that I've from supplies and empty boxes and different stuff like that. Trying to get to the trying to get to the bottom of what's going on over here. Trying to I've completely uh, made a mess. It was already a mess when the show started. Now it's now it's gotten really bad. All right, I've got a couple of war albums. I'll start on this. All right, so Jackson uh, Wings got bids for thirty-five, thirty-five. Rachel Cross has said Swingin' Teens for fifteen dollars. I'm liking this offers. The Swingin' Teens and Rachel said fifteen dollars. Sell that to Rachel Cross for fifteen. Jackson Blaylock said fifteen on the unique sold. Wings is at forty. And here's our next Japanese pressing. Stevie Wonder Journey Through the Secret Life of Plants. Stevie Wonder Journey Through the Secret Life of Plants. Very, very nice Japanese pressing. Two LPs. There's one. There's two. There's the Japanese insert. It also is a tri-fold jacket with Obi. Tri-fold jacket with Obi. Stevie Wonder. Nice. Very cool Obi on that one. $35 start. Wings is at $40, now $45. let us keep going through this bin. Everything's bought now. Best offer. Troy said $15 on the Curtis Blow album. Troy, I'll sell that to you for $20. We have Focus, Hamburger Concerto. This is $19.99. Focus Hamburger Concerto. That's $19.99. Everything in here is buy it now or best offer. Patton, original motion picture score. Patton is $19.99. That is Patton, $19.99. Johnny Winter is $19.99. And this is on that original Columbia 2i label. That is $19.99 on Johnny Winter. Wings has bids for $42. Stevie Wonder, $35. Troy says he will take Curtis Blow for $20. And Chris Waller wants a pack of outer sleeves. Chris Waller wants a pack of outer sleeves for thir uh, for twenty nine ninety nine thirty dollars essentially pack of one hundred three mil outer sleeves I've sold a bunch of them tonight if anybody else wants some let me know that's officially sold we have a new bid on wings for forty three Stevie Wonder's at thirty five the dogs outside of time the dogs is a two thousand nine Italian garage album nineteen ninety nine for the dogs outside of time nineteen ninety nine and fly by night zoo road. Fly by Night is sealed, $39.99. Ted Keaton's out on wings. Jamie has that for $43. Final Call and Final Call on Stevie Wonder. Don Convey, Oh My Soul, The Rockin' Years. That's $19.99. Don Convey, The Best of the Things. A 2001 Australian garage rock album, $49.99. DK, DK Evans back in on wings at $45. Run featuring Todd Rundgren. Run is $24.99. And The Best of Metro Beat. A cool anthology of the 60s Minneapolis Sounds, $19.99. Fred Carnell wants to know the dog's price. The dog, spelt D-A-W-G-S, is $19.99. A garage album, 2009 Italian pressing. The Romans, You Only Live Once, uh, 83 New Wave, $24.99. Uh, Jamie, let me know if you want back in on Wings. And Sonny Burgess, The Flood Tapes, $59-62, $19.99. But let's go ahead and sell Jason Boxel, the Stevie Wonder. That's sold to Jason Boxel for $35. Jason, that's sold to you. Thank you. And let's go ahead and put that in a sleeve. Jason Boxel gets that. And so I've got a thick spine on it. Let me try to get it back into this sleeve. And Colin Rundgren is on Bearsville. It is on Bearsville. It's not on Apex, but I will show it to you. I know exactly what you're looking for. All right, that's sold. Got it back in a new sleeve there. Get all that tucked away. All right, uh, Wings is at 48, so DK and Jamie still betting on that. 
We've got Todd Rundgren, though. I will show that. This is $24.99. It's on Bearsville. The original's on a blue Apex label. Very difficult to come by for some reason. Jackson Blaylock Focus for $15. That was Hamburger Concerto. Fred Carnell said 13 on dogs. Fred, I'll sell that to you for $15. Wings is at 50. Jason and the Scorchers, Fervor. Jason and the Scor Jaceful and the Nashville Scorchers, Fervor, a 1983 pressing, $24.99 on that. And the Nails Mood Swing, the Nails is $24.99. $24.99. This is Mood Swing, the Nails, $24.99. And Fred Carnell says, the dogs, yes. Garage Allen, Allen released in the 1670s. Yes, yeah, so for example, some of these, well, uh, like the Thanes, the best of the Thanes, that's, when I say 2001, that's the year it was pressed. This is actually a garage group from the 60s, which I'm sure probably, most likely a lot of these, uh, this may not be a great example. Some of these I don't really know. Sometimes I'll say 2001 Australian, and that's when the music's formed. Let's see if I can find a better example for that. So some of this, though, is uh, garage. I'll say garage. I'll say a 99 Australian pressing, but it will be actually a group from the 60s. So the year, if we ever say a year, let me go back to this one. That's the year it was pressed, not necessarily when the album was released. So some of these, though, are like extremely rare 60s garage and psych albums that otherwise, I think we sold one the other night. We had like a 90s reissue that was $34.99, and the original sell for like uh, $3,000 or something, you know. So yeah, some of these are like 90s reissues. And then what Paul was telling me earlier is some of these he's found in the psych stuff. They hadn't been pressed since the 90s, so even the 90s reissues are pricey. So sometimes it might be a psych record, a garage record, where the original is, say, there's one for sale for $1,500 in VG condition, and the last one sold for $1,900. And then they were repressed in the 90s, and sometimes those sell for $40 or $50 bucks because they hadn't been pressed since. So, yes, that's what a lot of this is. Now, every once in a while, we've run across an original in here. You'll see stuff, I'll say a 67 such and such, a 73 such and such. So, yeah, but... A lot of this is rare reissues or their compilations. A lot of these groups never did have albums. They had like four, they just had 45s and they only had 145. And that's where some of these compilations come in. So some of these compilations, I don't know if there's one here I hadn't got to yet. We might can use, that's not a good one. There's some of these that are compilations. There's a Rockabilly one. Let's see if this is one here. I think that's an actual group. But some of these are compilations where they're an artist. There was only like they only had 145, right? So there's a lot of 45s that are rare, where like 145 sells for a thousand dollars or three hundred dollars or even a hundred dollars, and they've comped them on these albums in the 80s. They did it in Germany, the Netherlands, etc. So yeah, that's what a lot of this collection is: very rare and obscure music. Some of it's original. Some of it are 80s and 90s reissues. Fred Carnell wants the, he said, great nails on this. And then WV Mounties offered 18. I'm due $20 on that. Are we done on wings? Jamie Erickson, let me know if you want back in. DK Evans has that for 50. We have Harper's Bazaar Feeling Groovy, $14.99. Harper's Bazaar Feeling Groovy, Gold Warner Brothers label. I hadn't really got to explain this collection too much, but that's what's, uh, I know there's so much in here. And we try, uh, sometimes Paul's put notes like, first reissue of a rare psych album. If he put something like that, then probably there's none for sale. And the last one sold like six years ago for 800 bucks or something like that. So some of these are pretty rare. And some of these 90s reissues, like I said, are still $40, $50 because that was the last time it was reissued. WV Mounties got the nails for $20. We have uh, J Zachary Pabluki. Guess the Jason the Scorchers for 20. Jamie's back in on wings for 53. And Larry Driss said the best of Thanes. I was trying to figure out this group here. $49.99. I think this is actually like a 60s group. The Thanes. Show some respect from Thanes. And, and a lot of these have really cool information on the back. There's a review. There's a review. I don't. 1980s. Okay, so this band's from 1986. I still bet their music's not easy to come by originals from. So, yes. But most of this I'm not familiar with myself. So, 
I don't really know. Uh, or it could be two different things. If they look like, I mean, that's obviously, looks. they look very 60th there, but that could also be a picture from the 80s. I can't tell. The turbines, magic fingers and hourly uh, rates in 87 France. And once again, if I say the year, that's when the record was pressed, not necessarily when the music was released. Uh, but it could be the year is released, you know. So this actually could be from 87. A lot of these I honestly don't know. This definitely looks like from 1987. The turbines, 1999, just for clarification. The Who, we know The Who. This is uh, The Who Live, 36.99. Who's Last, 2LP Live Concert, 36.99. Everything in here is buy it now or best offer. Todd Rundgren, A Wizard, A True Star, 19.99 on Todd Rundgren. Curly Whirly. Curly Whirly is a 2006 German pressing. That's Garage, 1999. And Get With the Poets and Live, Australian pressing, 24.99. Jamie's back in on Wings at 57. DK's back in at 60s. George H. said 14 on the turbines. George H., I'll go ahead and sell that to you, $14 for George H. We have Franz Ferdinand. Franz Ferdinand is a 2005 pressing, $49.99. $49.99 for Franz Ferdinand. Details on Johnny Winter. It shouldn't be a compilation. Johnny Winter should be an original album of studio material, uh, $19.99. It's called Johnny Winter, and that is by Johnny Winter. It's a Columbia 2 So that's at least 1968, I think. That was one of the last years they used that label. Maybe 69 was the transition era, I think. $19.99 on that. Uh, Chris Kirkley put Franz Ferdinand, 41 Craig Ruth on Franz Ferdinand, and what was The Who? Jason Short. Jason Short. That was The Who live. This was $36.99. Who's last? And Chris Kirkley, let me know if you want the Franz Ferdinand at full price. If so, uh, let me know because Craig Ruth just claimed it. And uh, that is $49.99. Jamie's out on wings. DK Evans has that for $60. Out. The Who. That was the Who Live. I don't know if I just said that or not. I've already forgot. $36.99. Two LP. Everything in here, by the way, is buy it now or best offer. The Beatles Love Songs is $34.99. The Beatles Love Songs. That's a two LP. $34.99 for the Beatles Love Songs. $34.99. Uh, Chris Kirkley on Franz Ferdinand. Sorry, my mind's not clicking right now. I did a Monster Energy drink. I got to go send a text message right quick, too. Give me one second. Um, also, um, Tanner, I, I announced it last night, but I need to do it right now while we have 296 people watching. We have, uh, by law, we have four new states we got to collect sales tax for. I've announced it Monday, Tuesday, and I'm announcing it again right now, and I'm going to try to make a post tomorrow. But we have four new states now required by law. Don't yell at me. You can blame your Uncle Sam state. Arkansas, Florida, Indiana, Maryland. Arkansas, Florida, Indiana, Maryland. If you live in those four states, this new invoice will have your state sales tax rate applied to your invoice. Those are our next four states we have to start charging sales tax for. Chris Kirkley got Franz Ferdinand. Uh, George Scher offered 15 on the Johnny Winter. Matt Lawson asked about it first. He offered 15. Sell that to Matt Lawson for 15. Neil Riger, Neil uh, Rigler said Poets, $15. Neil, I'll sell that to you for 20. It's marked $24.99. I'm going to go ahead and sell Jason Short the Who for $28. That's sold to Jason Short. Let's sell Wings to DK Evans for $60. And let's put up some new Japanese. I don't have much over here, but DK Evans gets that. And let me confirm that price one more time. And we have, uh, that is sold to DK Evans for $60. Washington State. Yeah, I don't know uh, how close we're on those. It's either by amount sold or it's by number of transactions. So some states, if you sell like a thousand items to that state, you have to charge sales tax. Some states like I don't know, let's say Florida, if we sell more than $100,000 in the state of Florida, you have to charge sales tax. So some states we've hit, you know, $150,000, $100,000 barriers in a year's time for one state. So we have to start charging sales tax. It's very unfortunate. 
uh, for everybody because we got to keep up with it. We got to collect it, keep up with it, turn it in, do reports, all this stuff every month. A lot of nonsense by government, but uh, we have to do it. Like I said, uh, we don't want Chad going to jail, right? I don't want the like FBI kicking in the door here or something. Moving with Nancy Sinatra. This is actually an original sealed Nancy Sinatra, $29.99. Moving with Nancy. Nancy Sinatra is sealed, $29.99. Oswald. We had one of these last night, and then here's the other one. Oswald is $69.99. That's, I think, what the other one was marked for last night. Lee Harvey. This is $36.99, a 1991 Italian pressing, 24 horses, the smell of rainy air, 24 horses. That's a 91 Italian pressing prog rock, $36.99, $36.99. Mystic Siva. Mystic Siva is a 99 German pressing, $74.99 for Mystic Siva. And Rockin' and Rollin' with Rainwater, that is Marvin Rainwater, $19.99. Jared McLaughlin said NS25, that was for the sealed Nancy Sinatra. So did Jared McLaughlin. We have James Taylor JT, $14.99. D.K. Evans offered 30 for the Beatles. Sell that to D.K. Evans for 30. We have The Last Drive, Heat Wave, a garage rock album, 1988 German pressing, $24.99 for The Last Drive, Heat Wave, $24.99. Let's put up two new auctions. Paul McCartney and Glenn Fry of the Eagles. Two new Japanese pressings for $35 starts. This is Glenn Fry. This is Glenn Fry All Nighter. Is a $35 start. Glenn Fry, the all nighter, $35 start. The vinyl is near mint minus and pristine. There's the LP. There's the Japanese insert. There's the cover and Obi. $35 start on that. And we have Paul McCartney, Pops of Peace. Paul McCartney is a $35 start, a Japanese pressing of Pops of Peace with Say, 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 the Michael Jackson songs on here. Has the Obi with it. Gatefold. There's Ringo. There's Michael Jackson. There's Linda. There's Ringo. Ringo played on this album. $35 start on Paul McCartney. All right, back to the top. We have Larry Drish offered $40 for that Thanes album. Let's sell that to Larry Drish. I think I showed it enough. People was like, what is this he keeps showing and yapping about? I was using that as my example. And I'm going to go ahead and sell that to Larry for $40. Sold. Larry, $40 to you. We have Shaken with the Tuna Tacos, a 2001 Spanish pressing. $44.99. Paul has a bid for $35. Looking for $35 on Glenn Fry as well. As well. Rockabilly Bop, Volume 1. Rockabilly Bop is a 1986 French pressing. $19.99. Fenton Robinson, Mellow Fellow. $19.99 on Fenton Robinson, Soundstage 7. This is um, Man or Astro Man. Man or Astro Man. A 95 UK picture disc. $39.99 for Man or Astro Man. Jack Baymore. This is Jack Baymore and the Bandits digging out. This is a 2003 Swedish pressing, Rockabilly, $36.99 for Jack Baymore. The Roots of Rock and Roll. The Roots of Rock and Roll is $26.99. The Roots of Rock and Roll. Jack Scott, Ray Vaughn is $19.99. Jack Scott, Ray Vaughn. John Barleycorn Must Die, Traffic. Traffic, John Barleycorn Must Die, $19.99. New Toys, Better Late Than Ever, a New York City 1980 punk rock. Italian pressing, it's punk, $19.99. The Estes Brothers Transitions, $19.95. This is $84.99, $84.99. And once again, I think that's like an older, obscure record, a 95 reissue. And then we have Move It. Here's one of those great, okay, here's the great compilation. So example, Revved Up and Rowdy Rockers. Now, I'm not saying these are all extremely rare 45s, like worth hundreds of dollars. But this is one of those compilations where they've took obscure, probably like a lot of these artists possibly only had one, two, maybe five or ten songs. They never had an album, and they were just 45s. And that's what these compilations are right here. Move it. Frantic Frat Stop Fracas, Revved Up and Rowdy Rockers, and that is $49.99 for Move It. And that one is actually sealed. That one's actually sealed. First question was, which man or Astro Man? It is man or Astro Man live. Uh, transmissions from Uranus, a 95 UK picture disc. Oswald 38. Uh, I'll, oh, uh, I'll do 55. I got two of them. I'll do 55 on one of them. Had somebody interested in one the other night, too. Uh, Paul Ogley said new toys for $15. Let's go ahead and sell that to Paul Ogley for $15. Is Glenn Fry a promo? Glenn Fry is not a promo. 
No promo on Glenn. Nope. Traffic 15 for Chris Kirkley. Uh, traffic 15 on Chris Kirkley. Sell that to Chris Kirkley. Brent says move it for 40. Sell that to Brent for 40. George H., you were second. Fred Carnell was third. The Estes Brothers, Colin, the Estes Brothers was $84.99 transitions. $84.99, and that was the 1995 pressing. What year is the Mothership? Alex, Mothership should be, it should show up as a, um, well, we just got them in, so I don't know what Discog shows, but it's, um, I think I think they do say either a 2023 repress. It's either a 2023 repress or a 2000. These could even say 2024 represses. But I think it's a 2023 repress or reissue. Not a reissue, a repress. It hadn't really been reissued yet. It's just a repress. Now, the very first ones are pressed at RTI. I've auctioned some of those off for over $200 sealed because they're pressed at RTI. I'm not for sure where these are pressed. I've got two left. The price for tonight only is 105. Like I said, I'll keep selling for 105 if I sell out and I'll order more, but I think I have hit the stopping point tonight. Unless Alex buys one and somebody else. Colin, I will say the S is for 75. Uh, nobody else bid on Paul. Let's sell that to Ted Keaton for $35. Nobody bid on Glenn Fry. It's a $35 buy now. And just FYI, I still have Earth, Wind, Fire for a $35 buy now. This is sold to Ted Keaton for $35. Let's put it in a new sleeve. Thank you, Ted. That is sold to you. And the SSOG is insane. Yeah, I thought so. I think when I looked that one up, that's why I was like, here's a prime example. Is that one like a $1,000 record? Some of these records in here, like the originals, are insane. Um, I'm pretty sure we had one the other day that was like a few thousand dollars if you want an original. It may be that one. It may be that one. R said 3000 That's probably right. Yeah, some of these are uh, reissues of, like, big money records. Records that you'll never, ever see. And if you do, you have found something extremely rare. Okay. Uh, let's set those off to the side. So that's our two Japanese uh, no bids. Let me get these. I don't know what that Steve Smith album's doing. I'll just lay that there. I'm going to put that up there. Ted Keaton also wants two cleaning cloths. You got it. Cleaning cloths, if you missed those earlier, $4.99. $4.99. $4.99. I'm going to put two over here for Ted. Those are sold to Ted for $4.99. And I had these earlier. This is the, one of the first things I showed. Bon Scott, $24.99. Reaction Super 7. New release. Bon Scott, $24.99. Reaction Super 7. ACDC, of course. Bon Scott is $24.99. I've got two of those left. I've got two of those left. All righty, moving right along. I got a Beatles LP to put up for auction. I have a Beatles LP to put up for auction, and I have a Japanese, some more Japanese stuff. Here's one I'll do right now. This is actually from the uh, New Orleans collection. Um, I got an original yellow submarine here, but first, uh, we're gonna go through, what are we gonna go through? Um, I think it's time to go through a random half-off band. I just got to figure out which one I want to go through. When was this stuff marked? Eagles, Bob Lynn, Rick Nelson. Okay. Let's go through a random half-off band here. Mixing some of these Steppenwolf albums up. All right. Okay, so uh, William Meadows also wants a cleaning cloth and Nick Bargeron. Uh, so William and Nick got one. If it, uh, William, I got you for one. I got Nick down for one. If anybody else wants one, let me know. Those are sold. Okay. So, hope everybody's awake. 
We're about to go through a half off bend. I'm gonna reset my feed right quick. It's acting a little funny. Reset my feed. And uh, cleaning cloths are $4.99. We still, it's a quarter to 11. We still got 231 viewers. Welcome everybody. We're about to go through a half off bin, which means there's gonna be some great discounts in here. First come, first serve. Cole Price wants a cleaning cloth. John Heron wants a cleaning cloth. Those are sold and sold. And the only thing I didn't sell, Paul Brothers wants two cleaning cloths. Or the only thing I hadn't shown yet, which I'm about to go get right now, the last part of tonight's supply run, which we sold a lot of different supplies. Uh, I've got to go unbox them. I've literally got to go unbox them, but I think we also have a waiting list, so let me step over here and try to uh, make sure I, I uh, don't leave anybody out that originally requested these. And uh, you'll have to give me a second, though. But I don't think anybody's going anywhere now that I have a half-off bin right in front of us, right? Let's see here. Give me one second, because I have a feeling we'll probably sell several of these. Give me one second. I just got a one thing I don't have stickered, which I think is right here. There it is. Yep, okay, these are, is that it? Yeah, okay. These are $16.99. Let me pull it up. And Okay. Yeah, I don't have a waiting list. I think I told some people just, I don't know if I couldn't, if, I didn't know if I could get them or not. So, now this is actually a deep cleaning system. It's essentially a cleaning brush and solution. And these are $16.99. These are $16.99. I got a case of them. I've got a case of 10 here. These are $16.99. These are also vinyl style. Has like a microfiber brush. And it has a cleaning, record cleaning solution bottle with it. Those are $16.99. There's been some people asking for those as well. $16.99. Jamie uh, Wills Erickson says he'll take one. I've got nine left if anybody else wants one. All right, let's put up some new auctions before we go through this half-off bin. This is Western Movie Themes. Western Movie Themes. Clint Eastwood there on the cover. Very, very cool. No Obi. This is a Japanese uh, pressing, Western Movie Themes. The vinyl is very nice. Your typical pristine, near mint minus, and Japanese vinyl, Western Movie Themes. The Magnificent Seven, The Green Leaves of Summer, High Noon, The Call of the Far Away Hill, and others. Fistful of Dollars. Uh, Japanese Pressing, No Obi, $25 start. Very cool cover. $25 start. And then we have the, the Beatles, Yellow Submarine. And the Beatles is an original 1969 Los Angeles Pressing. An original 69 Los Angeles Pressing. It does have a seam split at the top. I'm going to go ahead and take the jacket out and probably not put it back in there. The vinyl is superb, though. An original 69 Los Angeles pressing. An original Yellow Submarine, $35 start. $35 start. $25 on Western Movies, $35 on that. Forrest Appleton also wants a brush cleaning system. Daniel Buzaden and Paul Brothers also wants one. Daniel Buzaden. And Paul Brothers also wants one, so there's two more sold. That's Daniel Buzide and Paul Brothers. And what are the ingredients in the fluid? I don't know if they say. They may keep that top secret. That might be their top secret mixture. I don't really know. Brian Frenfrock also wants a brush. That's also sold to Brian Frenfrock. Okay, Brian, there's one for you. There we have it. All right, so... Let's go through a half off bin. Everything in here, the price of tea is the price. Sticks is in VG condition, $5. The Grand Illusion, VG condition, $5 on sticks. Another side of Bob Dylan, a 64 mono, now $20 off. VG condition, 
$20. Another side of Bob Dylan, 66 mono, VG, now $20. Early Steppenwolf, live at the Matrix, San Francisco, $5. VG condition, Early Steppenwolf, $5. Faces, a not as good as a wink. Faces is in VG condition, $7.50 for Faces. And one, two, three, Lynn Berry. Lynn Berry is in VG plus condition, $5 on Lynn Berry. $5 on Lynn Berry. All right, I'm going to get a sticky note here to officially mark we are doing some half off. But up at the top, we have the Beatles at 35, the Beatles at 35, the Beatles at 40, the Beatles at 44, the Beatles at 46, Regina's at 25 on Western. Shakedown first on Bob Dylan, and this is the first record in this batch we're doing at half off. That sold to Shakedown for $20. Mike Torres gets the Sticks record for $5. Paul, you were second on Bob Dylan. We still got Faces, Steppenwolf, and Lynn Berry. Johnny and the Hurricanes featuring Red River Rock. Johnny and the Hurricanes is in VG Plus condition. $10 on Johnny and the Hurricanes. Pro Call Harem Live, VG Plus condition, $8.50. VG Plus condition, $8.50 on Pro Call Harem Live. John Stewart, Bombs Away Dream Babies, VG Plus $5. John Stewart, Bombs Away Dream Babies, VG Plus $5. The music of Dudley Moore, Dudley. 2LP, no condition notes, $10 on Dudley Moore. And Weather Report, Heavy Weather, Weather Report is now $12.50. It has the original on the sleeve. Weather Report is $12.50. $12.50 on Weather Report, Heavy Weather. That's in, got the original on the sleeve. Chris Waller first on faces with Ron Wood and Rod Stewart. That's so to Chris Waller. Regina has the Western movie themes for $25. Final Call to Regina, and Matt Barnhill is the high bidder on the Beatles. Matt has the Beatles at 47. An original 69 Los Angeles pressing of Yellow Submarine. The Surfers at High Tide, that's now $12.50. The Surfers at High Tide, $12.50. J.D. Souther, You're Only Lonely. J.D. Souther is $6.50. And South Wind, ready to, ready to Ride. South Wind is on the Blue Thumb label. No condition notes, $12.50. Price of Pro Call Harold. It does not have the song Wider Shade of Pale on it. VG Plus Condition, $10. Special EFX, $5 on Special EFX. No condition notes. Jorge Santana is $10. Jorge Santana is $10. That's on the Tomato label. Dwayne Eddy, Twang and the Golden Hits. In Shrink Wrap, $7.50. Dwayne Eddy. $7.50 twangin' the golden hits. Walter Egan, not shy. Walter Egan is $5. And David Essex, rock on. David Essex is $10. The Beatles has new bids for $51 and $53. Let's go ahead and sell Regina, the Western movie themes, for $25. That's sold to Regina Tabor for $25. We have a sealed copy coming up for auction now. A sealed copy of... War, Love is All Around. It is sealed. It does have a tear in the corner here. The shrink is kind of torn down here in the corner. So there's a tear from there to there. And it actually, somebody put a little piece of tape on it right there to kind of, I think, keep it from subsiding even more. It does have a clip corner. War is a $15 start. Eric Burden, War, Love is All Around. Sealed copy, $15 start. The high bid on the Beatles is with Matt Barnhill at $53. Jamie Erickson's out. I don't think anybody else was bidding, so that's a final call to Matt for $53. The Edge is $5. The Edge is $5. Steppenwolf for ladies only. Steppenwolf is in VG condition, $5 for ladies only. Steppenwolf is in VG condition, $5. John Denver Spirit. John Denver is $5. And Rick Nelson in concert. Rick Nelson, $5 on Rick Nelson in concert. On the DECA label, we have The Kennedy Dream, a musical tribute to John Fitzgerald Kennedy. The Kennedy Dream is in shrink wrap, $10. The Kennedy Dream. Also, Frank Gouda presents the greatest hits of Gary U.S. Bonds, Rock's World Revolution, The Roots. That is sealed. Now $10 for Frank Gouda presents Gary U.S. Bonds. John Entwistle, Too Late the Hero. John Entwistle is going to be $7.50. That is Too Late the Hero, $7.50 for John Entwistle, Too Late the Hero. John Entwistle, the bass player from 
the who. We have Mike Torres first on the Rick Nelson. That's so to Mike Torres. No bid on war. Looking for a $15 start on that. The Beatles is so to Matt Barnhill for $53. Matt Barnhill, that's so to you. I'm actually going to step over here and grab a new anti-static to put this one in because I don't like the original sleeve it's in right now. So let me put this in a new anti-static for Matt. We're going through a bin of some half-off stuff here, so if there's anything you want, just don't hesitate to claim it, especially if you're a first-time buyer. We will welcome you with open arms and say thank you and give you first-time buyer instructions. Uh, so to Matt Barnhill, I'm going to put it back in this right here. And that was $53, that's 69 U.S. pressing. Lots of people interested in the bootlegs we still have from Dale's collection. I'm still interested myself, for sure. All right, next is the best of Joan C. Baez, $5. Jason Franz is in a war for $15. That's now a final call to Jason Franz for $15. Next is America, your move. This is a Japanese pressing with Obi. America is a $15 start. Near Mint Minus and Pristine Japanese pressing with Obi. This is a $15 start. Wow, it's on blue vinyl. I'd even flip it over. My bad, can I retract that $15 start? Didn't see that. Blue Vinyl, $15 start on America. It has a Japanese insert with it, with Obi. Blue Vinyl, very cool. Blue Vinyl America, your move. I'm going to leave the vinyl on top so everybody can see that. War has a new bid for $18. Next is Dwayne Eddy's Pure Gold. Dwayne Eddy's $5. Lisa Hartman, hold on. Lisa Hartman is $7.50. Sugar Shack, Jimmy Gilmore and the Fireballs. Sugar Shack is $13.50. Don't be concerned, Bob Lind. Bob Lind is $7.50, including Elusive Butterfly. Roy and Dale in the sweet buy and buy. Roy and Dale, that's Roy Rogers and Dale Evans, $5. America has bids for $15.15, and War has a new bid for $20. Henry Paredes on DE. DE was for Dwayne Eddy. That's sold to Henry Paredes. Jared McLaughlin on LH for Elisa Hartman. That's sold to Jared McLaughlin. Also, the Union Gap featuring Gary Puckett, Woman, Woman. $5 on the Union Gap featuring Woman, Woman. Dakota Stanton, Moon Glow. Dakota Stanton is $5. And Steppenwolf at your birthday party. VG Condition, $5 on Steppenwolf. Passport, Earthborn. Passport is $6.50. Next is War had a bid for $22. America's at $22. Leslie Holt wants UG. Union Gap for Leslie Holt. America has a new bid for $25. Grover Washington, Jr., a Secret Place, Grover Washington Jr. is $5, and Gary Wright, The Light of Smiles, Gary Wright is $7.50. The White Animals, this is called Lost Weekend, I Must Have Been Hypnotized, $7.50 on The White Animals. Poco, Ghost Town, Poco is $5, and Jerry Lee Lewis, When Two Worlds Collide, Jerry Lee Lewis is $5. In Shrink Wrap, Jerry Lee's five. Marshall Tucker Band, Where We All Belong. Marshall Tucker Band is $12.50. And Quicksilver is $10. Quicksilver, Shady Grove. Shady Grove, $10. So America is at $20 and then $25 and then $22. But Terry Gearhart has the high bid for $25. That's America, your move. Japanese pressing on blue vinyl. Terry Gearhart has that for $25. Now it has a $30 bid. And then War is sealed. Jason Fran set out. Robert Phillippe has this for $22. It's a sealed copy. It does have a tear down there in the corner, and it does have a clip corner. That's a final call for $22. Leslie Holt first on Poco, Ghost Town. Next with Susie Breelove on QS, Quicksilver. And then details on For Ladies Only was the next comment. America got a new bid, by the way, for $30. Details for Ladies Only. That was, let me find that, For Ladies Only. That was Steppenwolf. That was Steppenwolf. It's in VG condition. VG condition on the vinyl. It is a gatefold pressing. That is the first label. It is VG. $5 is the half-off price. Orlando Martinez put Q, and I think that was for Quicksilver. So, Orlando, you were second. Paul Brothers first to the Jerry Lee Lewis. America has a high bid of 35 and Larry Drish wants Marshall Tucker band. That's so to Larry Drish. We are going through a half-off band if you're just hopping on. Arthur Prosick, I must be doing something right. That's a yellow label promo. Arthur Prosick, that's a yellow label promo. $10 on that. And Michael Pender, The Promise. Michael Pender is $6.50 for Michael Pender. Rod Stewart, tonight I'm yours. Rod Stewart is $7.50. Original on the sleeve. 
Rod Stewart is 750, and Saga, Worlds Apart. Saga, Worlds Apart, no condition notes, 750. All right, War is officially sold to Robert Philippi. Is, yep, Robert Philippi officially gets War for $22. That's sold to Robert Philippi for $22. Robert Philippi gets that. Next is America, and that is officially uh, a high bid now to Terry Gearhart for $35. And Kevin's out. Ted Keaton's out. Forrest Appleton does want the Steppenwolf. That's sold to Forrest Appleton. Leslie Holt on Rod Stewart. Jamie Wills Erickson was second. Saga's still available there. We're going through a half-off bin, just FYI. Eagles, the long run. No condition notes. $12.50 on the Eagles. ELO on the third day. There is some riding at the top, but no condition notes on that. More riding on the back. $9 on ELO. Pure Prairie League busting out. Pure Prairie League, that has the hit song Amy on it, $12.50. Sandy Mile gets Saga. That's so to Sandy Mile. Alex Kane was second. We also have James Brown plays the real thing. Wow. Half off prices, $20. Hitting some stuff that shouldn't be in here. No condition notes. Man, that's going to hurt in the morning. We have... John Heron first on the Eagles. That's so to John Heron. Larry Drish second. Shakedown first on James Brown. Those are all getting grabbed very quickly. CC Spacek is sealed. Never been opened. $10. Hanging up my heart. And the early Beatles. That's an apple pressing. $15 on the early Beatles apple pressing. Brent second on James Brown. We have America sold to Terry Gearhart for $35. America is sold to Ter Terry Gearhart for $35. $5. Thank you, Terry. That is so to you. $3,535. $35. i am going to grab the last couple of Japanese auctions that we have not got to tonight. Uh, Jim B first on the Beatles. That's so to Jim B. Alex Kane was second, and Jim B corrected his comment. So I'm going to read those titles one more time. I think these were cleaning cloths that sold that I didn't lay over here. So, yeah, that was the last few. Let me put those up there. Boy, we sold a lot. I, I, might, I might as well put them in a whole box at this point so they don't spill. Uh, let me read what's left in here. Let me grab those next two Japanese pressings. Ooh. Justin Notley spine fixture. All right. The Jacksons. The... The Jacksons, victory. Sorry, I couldn't spit that out. This is going to be a $25 start. The vinyl is near mint minus and pristine. It has a book with it. It has a Japanese book. The cover's in shrink wrap of Obi. Thick gatefold jacket, still in shrink wrap. The Jacksons, $25 start. The Jacksons, $25 start. And then we have Eric Clapton. I don't know if this is Japanese or not. I think this is a... U.S. pressing from Japan. It's just absolute. It's amazing how nice these U.S. pressings from Japan look. Yeah, this is an original Monarch pressing of Eric Clapton. There's one in every crowd. It looks like it was an import. It looks like it was an import to Japan. Uh, so this was this came from Japan, but it's a U.S. pressing. Clapton. There's one in every crowd. Shrink wrap, absolutely pristine. Original on her sleeve. Fifteen dollars start. Lazarus wants to both step and wolves that's still left. Okay, give me one second. I'm going to read the titles. If anybody wants a price, just let me know. That's sold to Lazarus, $5. Early step and wolf. That's already sold. One, two, three, Lynn Berry. Johnny and the Hurricanes. John Stewart. Dudley Moore. Weather Report. $12.50. Weather Report. Surprised no one got that. That's a great listen. The Surfers at High Tide. JD Souther. South Wind, Ready to Ride, Pro Call Harem Live, VG Plus, $10. Special EFX, Jorge Santana, Dwayne Eddy, Twang and the Golden Hits, Walter Egan, David Essex, Rock On, The Edge, John Denver Spirit, The Kennedy Dream. Now, this is not spoken word Kennedy. This is actually music. Uh, Oliver Nelson and his orchestra. Oliver Nelson and his orchestra. It's a jazz impulse label tribute to JFK from 1964 that's called the kennedy dream a musical tribute so that's actually music not a spoken kennedy word uh gary u.s bonds greatest hits the best of joan baez jimmy gilmer sugar shack bob lind roy and dale dakota stanton and then there's the other steppenwolf five dollars also so to lazarus 
Okay, so the first bids was Jax is 25, Clapton 15, Clapton 25, Clapton 15, Clapton 15, Clapton 17. So that means Larry Drish still has it for 25, and the Jackson still has one bid with Jim B for 25. Uh, Larry Drish wants to know the John Denver price. It's in shrink wrap, no condition notes, $5. Jared McLaughlin wants DM, and DM for Jared McLaughlin was, DM was, DM was Dudley Moore. If so, that's so to Jared McLaughlin, Dudley Moore. And I have filled up this bin, so let me get a new one started right quick before I pull anything else out. That one's heavy, too. A lot of vintage L vintage LPs, way more than new vinyl. A full crate of them because there's more, you can fit more vintage LPs pre-owned in these crates than new vinyl. Uh, Jackie was next. She wanted the Essex price, the David Essex. That is now $10, Jackie. Larry Driss said sold on John Denver. Stanley Bedwell was second. Ron Stoltz wants to know the price on Walter Egan. That is now $5, Ron Stoltz. So final call on Clapton, $25 of Larry Drish, and we're about to sell the Jacksons for $25 as well. Passport is $6.50. Grover Washington Jr., Gary Wright, Lost Weekend, The White Animals, Arthur Prosick, Michael Pender, ELO, Pure Prairie League, and CeCe Spacey. Those two there, I'm kind of surprised, haven't been gone. Ron, uh, Ron Stoltz says he will take the Walter Egan as half-off sticker, and Jackie Reynolds wants the David Essex. The Pure Prairie League... The price is $12.50. It's on a black RCA label, which is a 70s reissue, not the first pressing, but it does have, actually this entire side too is amazing. Uh, Falling in and out of love, Amy, Boulder Skies, Angel, Call Me, Tell Me. Chris, if you don't want that, Chris, if you don't want that, uh, Chris said he'll take it. ELO, the half-off price, Leslie, is $9. 25 people watch on X. Wow, there is. Let's see if we can get one person on X to say hi. That's a new customer. That's amazing. I've been on here for four hours. We've not had one claim from X, and there's 25 people watching. Let's see if we have anybody willing to say hi from X. I've not had a new customer yet from X. Although I have not tried to do anything on there yet. I'm trying to get YouTube under control right now. And then I'm going to start working on new buyers, new people on X. All right, let's sell these auctions. We have uh, Clapton. So to Larry Drish for $25. Larry Drish, Larry Drish gets Clapton for $25. And Jim B, you get the Jacksons. Jim B, you get the Jacksons. All right. He needs to retract his bid. Oh, boy. All right, so Clapton sold. Does anybody want the Jacksons for $25? And I will make a reminder, a simple but friendly reminder. Please do not bid on an auction unless you 100% absolutely want to buy it. Jamie says he'll take it for $25. Sometimes it can really incredibly mess up the flow of things. This time it wasn't too bad, though. We're going to give it to Jamie for $25. And then Jason was second, then Mike Torres. I got a couple of ELOs. What's that one? It's already sold to Leslie, but it's called On the Third Day. On the Third Day. This is sold to Leslie. My My Bell was the big hit song on there. Anybody else on anything in this bin, just let me know. We've been through it twice. It was full when we started, and that's all that's left. So we've sold about half of it. That's why I do this, trying to clean out some space. Now I can condense that probably with another bin. Fantastic. Uh, I might do another one like that. So, uh, let's see here. Yeah, I don't know who I don't know who that is. Watch on X. Well, some people watch, but they you know they don't want to be seen or they don't want to say their name, so they're just kind of just watching. Understandable. I do have a lot of people who stalk this channel for a lot of reasons. I try to block them whenever I find out who they are, but I do have a lot of. People I block on one platform, then they go watch on another, and I can't figure out what their handle is before I can block them. And then I block them on there, then they create a YouTube account. Then I got to block them on YouTube, then they go set up another X account. 
or another Facebook account. Then I got to block them again on Facebook, and then they set up another YouTube account. So sometimes they don't want to comment because they're because if you do that, then I can figure out who it is. So uh, can you get Garth Brooks vinyl box and Alexi? Sometimes, sometimes I can. Uh, they come through in collections. They come through in collections sometimes, but I don't. It's not like I can just order it. That's really just through Amazon whenever they have them in stock. I think there's two or three in the back, but we actually have a waiting list for them. I've, I hadn't ran across them, though. There's two and three in the back. All right, let's take a vote. And I know what the answer is already going to be, but do we want to do a buy it now best offer? A buy it now best offer on a recent bin from New Orleans, or do we want to do another half off bin? But I have a feeling I already know what the answer is going to be. It's already 10 minutes after 11. It feels kind of early, but... It also feels like I've been on here a long time tonight. It feels like it should be already midnight. I feel like it's already time for posters, but uh, we've sold quite a bit. I'm about where I'm at normally, and um, I still got other stuff to go through. Let me go over here and see how the poll's going. I had to go throw away more trash trying to keep my station under control. Uh, trying to keep my station under control. See if I can find another half off bin that is eligible not too old with just leftovers but also not too new uh, this might be a good one right here yeah this is a good one right here it's actually been over here underneath a table for what two weeks yep it's been over here stuck underneath a table for two weeks so probably no one's dug through it i probably hadn't shown it since march 16th so let's go through it I think y'all are going to like these titles. I have not took one peek at it. Let's go through it. We have time for both, you know, for sure, but uh, let's go through this one. Uh, let me see how the votes actually went. We had buy it now, half off, half off, New Orleans, half off, buy it now, half off, buy it now, half off, half off. Okay, that was a big jump for half off, buy it now. Another big jump for half offs. Another big buy it now. Yeah. Half off's definitely won. Mystic Siva from Ben Before, $60. Mystic Siva. Jackson Blaylock, I will sell that to you for $60. Sell this to sell this for $60 to Jackson Blaylock. $60 on this. All right. Everything in this bin is going to be half off. First album is Dave Brubeck, Adventures in Time, $17.50. Dave Brubeck, Adventures in Time, $17.50 for Dave Brubeck. The price I'm telling you is the half-off sticker price. Lacey J. Dalton taking it easy. Lacey J. Dalton, $7.50. Jackson Blaylock gets Dave Brubeck. That's our first half-off record there. Captain and Tennille is $5. Love will keep us together. Homer and Jethro, oh, that's corny. Homer and Jethro is $10. That's the discounted price. George Burns, I wish I was 18 again. George Burns is $6.50. Shrink wrap. We also have, uh, excuse me, are you reading that paper? David Brenner. This is $6.50. $6.50. And welcome to my world, Dean Martin. Welcome to my world, Dean Martin. The original reprise steamboat label in shrink wrap. $5 on Dean Martin. The Dave Brubeck Quartet, the last time we saw Paris. Recorded live, Dave Brubeck, Columbia 2 I, beautiful vinyl, $17.50, $17.50. Next is Ted Keaton on CT. Captain and Tennille is sold to Ted Keaton. Ted, that goes to you. Next is Christopher Brush on JB. JB was for George. Did you mean GB? He meant GB. Yes, that's sold to Christopher Brush or George Burns. Leslie was second. We have Jetstream first on Dean Martin. That's sold to Jetstream. Tracy Sanker. Tracy Soinger, second. Larry Drish, third. Jamie, fourth. Leslie, fifth. Brent Ribley, first on Dave Brubeck. And, or was that David Brenner? Da we had David Brenner and Dave Brubeck. And Brent and Jason both put Dave B. I'm assuming for Brubeck, but there's also a David Brenner. So y'all let me know. Dave, uh, Brent, you were first. I got you down for Brubeck. Fresh Air is $7.50. That's Fresh Air Interludes. He did want Brubeck, okay? Philip Bailey is $5. Philip Bailey, Inside Out. Philip Bailey's in Shrink Wrap, $5. John Luke Ponte, Individual Choice. John Luke is $5, Individual Choice, 5 on John. And Scratch, The Crusaders. The Crusaders is $10. 
The Crusaders is $10. Brenda Lee, Greatest Country Hits. Brenda Lee is $5. Greatest Country Hits, $5 on that. Greatest Country Hits, if I can get it back in the paper inner sleeve. There we go. Also, Paul Ogley on FA. FA was for fresh air, so to Paul Ogley. There is an X viewer, Kato Fong. Welcome. Welcome. Fresh air is already sold. Phenomenon, PJ Proby, $5 on PJ Proby on the Liberty. Has a promo sticker on that. $5 on that. And we have Poco, blue and gray. Poco is $5. Poco is $5. Blue and gray, that's the half-off price. Doug Osborne on Jean-Luc Ponty. Now, Jean is so to Doug. Doug Osborne, have you bought from us before? I don't think you have. So if you are a first-time buyer, I need to confirm that, and then I need to give get some information from you especially if you don't have a Facebook account. I'll have to send you a link to our website. But that's so do you, Doug Osborne. Next is Christopher Brusha on PJ Proby. Jason Boxall second. Larry Drish on P. Now, Larry, what P was that for? If it's for Poco, it's yours. Gary Wright, the, lot, the right place, $8.50. I really want to know you's on here. Shrink wrap, clean vinyl, $8.50 on that. He says, yes, I forgot what I asked you, though. Did I ask, have you bought from us before, or did I ask if you were a first-time buyer? Larry Drish doesn't want Poco. i got to start rephrasing that. I always do that. I'll ask somebody. I forgot. I'll say, I'll, I think I actually asked both, and then it gets me confused. Christopher Brush on Gary Wright. Corey Gaston was second. Dwayne Eddy, 16's Greatest Hits. In shrink wrap, Dwayne Eddy is $8.50. That's in shrink wrap on the original Jamie label. John Denver, I Want to Live. John Denver is $5. I Want to Live. We have Emerson Lake and Palmer Works. We had an autographed copy on Monday night signed by Emerson Lake and Palmer Works. is $10. Doug's bought before. Okay, thank you and welcome back. I got you down for Jean-Luc Ponty. Thank you and welcome back. Rod Stewart, Blondes Have More Fun, $7.50. Larry Drish gets John Denver. Christopher Brusha on Emerson Lake and Palmer. And repeat customer. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Special EFX, Modern Manners. Special EFX is $5. John Denver, Some Days Are Diamonds, $5. Day Brubeck Quartet, 25th Anniversary Union, that's $10. And somewhere, another PJ Proby, that's just $5. Also, Jerry Lee Lewis, self-titled, $5. And Brenda Lee, The Los Angeles Sessions, $5. Larry Drish first on John Denver. Jackson Blaylock on Dave Brubeck. Stanley Bellwell wants John Denver some days or diamonds. That has already been claimed. Stanley, you were second. Christopher Brusha first on PJ Proby. Christopher Brusha first on Jerry Lee Lewis. Leslie Holt is in on Brenda Lee. Nobody on Rod Stewart. Still available. I got to catch my breath. I still got some water. I do. Let me mute this right quick. I'm back. We have Carl Perkins, Greatest Hits, $10. Blue Suede Shoes, Honey Don't, Matchbox. That's got some of his best music on it. $10 on that. Doug Osborne, you were second on Dave Brubeck. Both sides of Herman's Hermits. I always like that cover on the back. Both sides of Herman's Hermits. There's Lyndon Johnson. Gorbachev's in the audience. So is uh, Fidel Castro. There's the Beatles. $5 on Herman's Hermits. We have I Am The Greatest. Wow, this should not be on sale. This is $27.50. This is an original Muhammad Ali spoken word record. Cassius Clay, Muhammad Ali, I Am The Greatest. George Shera, first on Carl Perkins, then Corey Gaston. And then Christopher Brusha, first on HH for Herman's Hermits, then Mike Torres, then Paul Ogley. Brent Ribley, first on Cassius. That's sold to uh, Brent Ribley. The best of Rod Stewart, that's a 2LP. $12.50. Christopher second on Muhammad Ali. Jerry Clower, live in Pekin Yoon. I think that's how you say that. $6.50 on Jerry Clower. Spoken word comedy record, of course. Boston, $17.50. Half off. Beautiful copy with the original on the sleeve. $17.50 on that. Shakedown wants both Rod Stewart. Rod Stewart. Rod Stewart. Both of them sold to Shakedown. William Meadows, you were second. Jackie Reynolds, third. Scott O'Man, fourth. Leslie Holt, fifth. Larry Drish, first on Boston. 
Larry Drish first on Boston, then Josh Films, then William Meadows, then Ted Keaton. The Rolling Stones tattoo you, original on her sleeve, beautiful copy. Robert Lugwood mastering, start me up, 1750 on the Stones. Fanny Hill, this should not be on sale. The half off price is $37.50. Fanny by Fanny Hill, wow, $37.50, a discount of $37.50. Captain Tennille, $5 on Captain and Tennille. The Million Dollar Magic of Fats Domino, $5 on Fats Domino. Robert Palmer, Double Fun, Robert Palmer's $10. Fog Hat Stone Blue is $7.50. Bar K's, this is Propositions, Prophesis, Prophestutions. Bar K, $7.50, I think. Martha Davis is $5. Back up to the top, Larry got Boston, Josh Phillips second, William Meadows, Ted Keaton. Leslie Holtz on RS, RS was for Rolling Stones to Leslie Holt. Brent Ridley gets the Fanny Hill. Christopher Brush a second. Paul Ogley first on F. That's probably for Fog Hat. And then Corey Gaston on FD. FD Fats Domino, Corey. And then Larry Drish on RP for Robert Palmer. Stanley Bedwell on Captain and Tennille. Those are all sold, 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 and sold. Dave Mason, Old Crest on a New Wave. Very nice copy and shrink wrap. $5 on Dave Mason. That's the blue cover. There's also green, and I think there's a different color as well. Wow, Marvin Gaye, I want you. I think this is, yeah, this is very, very nice. Now just $25, original Motown sleeve, beautiful vinyl. $25, no condition notes on a Marvin Gaye OG. Wow, 25 on that. Brent Robley on Dave Mason. George Sheriff first on Marvin Gaye. Those are sold, and Ricky Van Shelton 3, shrink wrap and hop sticker. Ricky Van Shelton's $12.50. Marillion, I should have proofed this crate before I went through it. Uh, there's two, this is $25. That, uh, I've put too much good stuff in here. Uh, George Sherry got Marvin Gaye. Uh, oh, I've lost track. Uh, Brent got Dave Mason, George Sherry, Marvin Gaye, Jason third, Leslie fourth, Susie first on Ricky Van Shelton. Brent Ribley first on Marillion. Larry Drish, you were second. We got the fifth dimension individually and collectively. The fifth dimension is $6.50. Fresh Cream, that's their debut album. There's a little bit of ring wear on the cover, but doesn't look like we got any condition notes on the vinyl. But it is a reissue. That's an RSO reissue from the 70s. $17.50 on Cream, Fresh Cream. Clapton, Lacey J. Dalton, Dream Baby. $7.50 on Lacey J. Dalton. We have George Scherer on FC, Fresh Cream. That's so to George Scherer. Jamie Wills Erickson, first on Fifth Dimension. Rachel, you were second. Garland Jeffries, One Eye Jack. Garland Jeffries is $5. Life Saver, A Kiss of Life. Life Saver is $12.50. That's interesting. Live, Lonnie Liston Smith. Now just $20. That's $20 off. Live, Lonnie Liston-Smith, Gatefold, Black RCA label. Instant Funk looks so fine. Instant Funk is 10 bucks. Barkley, James Harvest, Early Morning Onwards, a 73 UK copy, $10. Barkley, James Harvest, Early Morning Onwards. Barkley, James is $10. Iron Horse, Iron Horse is 10 bucks. The Osmonds, the proud one, the Osmonds is $5. John Mayall, New Year, brand new company. John Mayall is $13.50. And Ginger Baker and Friends, 11 sides of Baker. 11 sides of Baker, $17.50. $17.50. Everything stopped. Is everybody still awake? There's some great records right there to end the bend. End the bend. Wow. Wild. A lot of stuff in there I uh, shouldn't have added. That's okay. We about wiped it all out. We got to give Doug something to ship. First, Larry Drish on JM. JM was John Mayall. Brent Ribley on Ginger Baker. Ginger Baker from Cream. Can I see the funk record? Yep. It's called Instant Funk. That's the name of the band. Looks so fine. South Soul label. No condition notes. $10. It looks like a box of washing powders. And then George Scherer on GB. That was for uh, Ginger Baker. Brent was first. Leslie, let me know if you don't want Instant Funk. If not, Rachel Crosta wants it. I'm going to read through those uh, titles one more time. Here's the agenda. Uh, I didn't have any new vinyl tonight that came in, so uh, 
we don't really have any new vinyl to recap. Uh, I may go through this band that I made personally one more time, and then um, we'll see. Uh, we'll see what's going on. I'm going to try to make it showing records because we got so many active buyers on until probably midnight when I'm going to bring this tub back over here. But uh, we may start five, ten minutes early if I'm kind of don't want to start a whole new new bin. But we're going to go ahead and sell Leslie Hold Instant Funk. Rachel, you were second. Let me read what's in there. There's just a few, so I'll go ahead and tell the prices. Lacey J. Dalton, taking it easy. Lacey J. Dalton was $7.50. Homer and Jethro, ooh, that's corny. That's $10. That's an original RCA record. David Brenner, excuse me, or are you reading that paper? $6.50 on that. Philip Bailey is $5. Also, the Crusaders, Scratch, the Crusaders is $10. Recorded live at the Roxy. Brenda Lee's Greatest Country Hits. Brenda Lee's Greatest Hits, $5. Dwayne Eddy's 16 Greatest Hits, $8.50. That's an original on Jamie. The uh, Barkley James Harvest. Tracy, Barkley James Harvest is a UK import, a gym UK import. It does have a clip corner. No condition notes. It's called Early Morning Onwards, $10. Do you have any Spanish bands? Well, if I did, they'll be in one of these bins. Uh, I don't actually have like a section I can go straight to them. Everything we have is all mixed up in all these hundreds of crates we have around here. So just kind of whatever we're showing. We don't put out a lot of that because I don't get a lot of it, but I know we do have it. But it does sell whenever we show it. Christopher Brusher gets Homer. Special EFX is $5. Modern Manners. Jerry Clower surprisingly still available. Jerry Clower, $6.50. The Barquets was $7.50. Martha Davis was $5. Also, Lacey, Lacey J. Dalton, $7.50. Garland Jeffries was $5. Lifesaver, A Kiss of Life, $12.50. Lonnie Liston Smith is $20. Lonnie Liston Smith. Iron Horse is $10. And the Osmonds, the proud one, the Osmonds is $5. I'm going to condense this with the other bin. And, oh, I had one more war record. I forgot the auction. This is War Platinum Jazz. It's in shrink wrap with hop sticker, and this is a $15 start. War Platinum Jazz, $15 start. It's a 2LP blue note, no condition notes. It's in shrink wrap with hop sticker. has an original Peaches price tag, $15 start on that. I feel like I should buy the other Brenda Lee. I might as well go ahead and pull it out for you. Brenda Lee is sold to Leslie Holt. Just $5. What's $5? Leslie Wickline uh, on Jerry Clower. That's sold to Leslie Wickline. And Jetstream gets the Crusaders. That is sold to Jetstream. Now, Leslie, if you don't actually want Brenda Lee, let me know. But I've already got your name on it, in theory. <laughs> All right, let me condense this with the other leftover stuff. That was nice. So both half-off bins. There's only about a crate left. A half crate left, actually. Here is probably the biggest seller of the night as far as supplies, except for cleaning cloths. We still got MoFi inner sleeves, packs of 50. MoFi inner sleeves, packs of 50, $26.99. I still got cleaning cloths. I got cleaning cloths for $4.99, lubricated cleaning cloths. I've also got packs of 100 outer sleeves. 100 outer sleeves, $29.99. 100 outer sleeves, that's $29.99. And I got the cleaning kits. Brush and cleaning solution, $16.99. We have a bid on Boston. Let's go through a bin of New Orleans stuff and make it buy now or best offer. So we're gonna go through some recent New Orleans stuff that I don't feel like has been gone through with justice. And there's some other stuff in here, too, not just like odd New Orleans stuff. There's some other great titles. Uh, not saying the New Orleans stuff isn't great titles, but I think y'all know what I mean. There's a little bit more uh, other stuff on there. Now 35 people. Wow. Yeah, 35 people watching on X, and I still have only had one comment. <laughs> Welcome, X viewers. Rob Show said he retweeted it. Now there's 10 more people watching. How many do we got? We got 90 on Facebook, and we got 90 on YouTube. That's pretty balanced. I got a total of 194. Of course, that fluctuates fluctuates pretty fast here and there. So 195 people watching is what my live count says right now. With that being said, we got a lot of ground to cover. We still got at least a couple hours left in tonight's show, maybe two and a half hours. 
We got a final call on this war album for 15. I got a whole selection of supplies over here. We're about to go through a buy it now best offer. But the first thing I'm going to take offers on are these two LPs right here. Uh, also, I, I pulled this out because there's something sticky on the sleeve. But uh, John Entwist will still left if anybody wants it for $7.50. $7.50 if anybody wants John Entwistle. $7.50 on that. I forgot to show that again, but it's still available. And that's what I was about to show, Scott. These were no bids for $35. Scott offered $25 for Glenn Fry. Glenn Fry is sold. Glenn Fry is sold for $25 to Scott O'Man. Does anybody want to make an offer on Earth, Wind, and Fire? Earth, Wind, and Fire. So uh, let's. that's the only Japanese record I did not sell tonight. Let's definitely get that thing sold. Let's definitely get that thing sold. But this is sold to Scott O'Man for $25. Let's go ahead and sell Rachel War for $15. Rachel, you get War Platinum Jazz for a $15, a $15 uh, winning bid. That was originally marked for much more than that. But that's sold to you now. And then we have Paul Ogley getting the John Entwistle. That's a half-off price of $7.50. $7.50, and Earth, Wind, and Fire is sold to Mike Torres for $25. William just asked the track listing. That is sold already to Mike Torres for $25. All right, so Mike gets that for $25. All right, probably not going to run many more auctions tonight. Let's go through this bin. Buy it now, best offer. I'm here to make deals. I'm here to sell records. I am doing this for fun. It's a very fun job I have, but also I'm here to sell records and make money so I can pay employees, pay bills, and hopefully at the end of the year, pay myself. So with that being said, everything in here is bought now, OBO. We have Laura Nero. This is $34.99. Laura Nero, the first songs, contains the hit single Wedding Bell Blues Hop Sticker, $34.99. Everything in here is bought now or best offer. As usual, don't hesitate to make offers. Nielsen, that's the way it is. Nielsen's $24.99. Gatefold Pressing, Tan RCA label, $24.99 on Nielsen. The original Monkey Time, Major Lance, $34.99 on the OK label. Very clean, unusual to find it in that kind of condition. Miami Rockabilly, Volume 3, $24.99, a 1981 compilation. Miami Rockabilly, Volume 3. I think, I think this is some of the first New Orleans stuff we put out that was left over. So we hadn't shown these since we originally got all this stuff out a couple weeks ago. Nancy, Nancy Sinatra, VG Plus Condition, $14.99 for Nancy, Nancy Sinatra. The Hot Ones, the Standales. The Standales is on Tower Records. It's an original mono pressing, VG Plus Condition, $39.99 for the Standales. The Space Cossacks, Interstellar Stomp. The Space Cossacks is sealed. It is $74.99. It's a clear vinyl pressing from 1998. That's a surf garage record. Sealed, $74.99. The Space Cossacks, or the Cossacks. The Day the Earth Stood Still, that's Kim Foley. That's a 1990 Swedish pressing, $39.99. Nancy Sinatra 8. Jamie, I will sell you Nancy Sinatra for $10. i will sell you Nancy Sinatra for $10. Also, here's another Nancy Sinatra. Nancy in London, VG Condition. $9.99. Mike's Murder, the motion picture soundtrack to Mike's Murder, $14.99, featuring the original music by Joe Jackson. Joe Jackson doing that, $14.99. Soundtrack to Burt Reynolds' Sharky's Machine. Sharky's Machine is $19.99. Soundtrack for that. Jamie Wills Erickson takes to Nancy Sinatra for $10. That's sold to Jamie Wills Erickson. There's Nancy in London again. Is that two different ones? Yeah, there's two different ones. This one is No Condition Notes, $19.99. No Condition Notes on that one, original label, $19.99. We have The Judds, River of Time. The Judds is in shrink wrap, No Condition Notes, $27.99 for The Judds. River of Time, $27.99. Uncle Louie, Uncle Louie is $34.99 for Uncle Louie. And Remember My Name, featuring Alberta Hunter. Remember My Name, featuring Alberta Hunter. $19.99. Susie, another four-letter word. Susie Quattro is a white label promo. $19.99. Curtis Blow, $24.99 for Curtis Blow. Shrink wrap and hop sticker. Curtis Blow is $24.99. The Ohio Players. That's a Pickwick compilation. The Ohio Players, $19.99 for the Ohio Players. Yo Latango. I can hear the heart beating as one. Yo Latango is $29.99. 
two LP, 25th anniversary on yellow vinyl. 25th anniversary on yellow vinyl. I think I'm about to go get a Monster Energy drink. I'm going to need it for going through these posters here in a second. Plus, we're going through a buy it now best offer, Ben. So far, must not be too much of interest for anybody. Everybody's being quiet as a mouse. Let me get some things shifted around over here. Let me get some stuff condensed. This Ben's, the records are leaning over. I want to get them condensed over here into one. Don't like them looking like that. Plus, I could very much use the space. All right. We have Major Lance. Brent, I will sell that to you for $20. I'm going to do a $2 Paul on you. Let's do a deal. $20, $2 Paul bump. Leslie Holt wants the Judds. That's so to Leslie Holt, the Judds. Leslie gets the Judds. Next is Tom York, Anima. That is $24.99, and that is sealed. Tom York is sealed, $24.99. I got two copies of that. I'm new here, Gil Scott Harone, $24.99 for Gil Scott Harone. I've got two copies of those. They're also sealed. Shakedown wants T.Y. Uh, Tom York for $25. That is, or was that? Yeah, that was this right here, right? That's sold to Shakedown for $25. I think that's what I had them stickered. Yeah. And then we have Radiohead, Hail to the Thief, $29.99 for Radiohead, sealed Radiohead. UK Grimm, Sleaford Mobs, uh, Sleaford Mobs, UK Grimm is $14.99. And why hasn't everything already disappeared? Deer Hunter, Deer Hunter is $19.99. Uh, do I know what your Yola Tango? This one is a, well, it's a 25th anniversary edition. And originally, uh, it originally came out in 1997. So it's a 25th anniversary edition on yellow vinyl. And that's $29.99. Monkey Time, Major Lance is sold to Brent Ribley for $20. Scott Klima wants Radiohead. That's sold to Scott Klima. Everything in here, you can go ahead and buy it now, or you can make best offer. Yola Tango, Summer Sun. Yola Tango is $24.99. Also, Radiohead, The King of Limbs. The Radiohead, The King of Limbs is $24.99. Josh Phillips wants the mods. That was mods. That was... Uh, mods. That was, was that something earlier in the bin? Josh Phillips. Let's see here. Radiohead, Yola Tango, Yola Tango. This was the Deer Hunter. We had UK Grimm. So this one right here, yes. That's so to Josh Phillips. How much was Susie Quattro's Kato Fong? Susie Quattro, Susie in other four-letter words, was $19.99. It is a White label promo. It is a white label promo on Susie Quattro. All right, we pulled Radiohead. Rick Waitman, Journey to the Center of the Earth, EX Condition, $17.99 on Rick Waitman. Climax Blues Band, that's VG Plus, $14.99. Kato Fong on Susie Quattro, $15 sold. Now, Kato Fong from X. Are you a first time buyer? I'm going to sell that to you for $15, and then I got to get some information for, from you. So, um, Shakedown, I'll go ahead and sell that to you for $20. Make sure Shakedown gets Thom York Anima. This is new and sealed. Does anybody else want the last one for $20? Sealed Tom York for $20. That's Henry Paredes. Dang it, I still don't have a first-time buyer on X. Dang it. So, Henry Paredes. Yeah. Still trying to break that ice over there. Henry, you get... Uh, the Susie Quattro for $15. All right, now, let's go back to, to the top. Climax, we had a $10 offer and a $12 offer. Uh, Leslie, Scott offered 12. If you want it for 12, you can have it for 12. If you pass, I'm going to sell it to Scott for 12. Charlie DeFrank wants the other Tom York for $20. Is Radiohead Sealed First Edition. This is not an original. This is a new pressing, $24.99 on Radiohead. The Beatles, 62 to 66 a 1993 UK pressing, $49.99. A 1993 UK pressing, $49.99. We have 41 people now watching on X. My big question is, can we get a first-time buyer on there to, like, say I'm... You could go down in history in Coletco saying, I'm a new first-time buyer at Coletco. You may not realize the prestige for that. 
but being a first time buyer on X, there's 41 people watching. Surely there, I mean, I got, even if you don't see anything in here, I've got, just name an album. Zeppelin album, you can buy anything. Surely I can find you a Zeppelin album, a Pink Floyd album, Alice in Chains, something. Leslie gets this for $12 to Scott O'Man. Or, excuse me, Climax Blues Band is sold to Leslie for 12 Scott O'Man was second. That's sold to Leslie. This is a very nice UK copy from 1993. Also, Tell Him, America's number one hits, The Exciters. The Exciters is in VG condition, 1999 on The Exciters. Sweet Substitute, something special. Sweet Substitute is $9.99. Dogs, Bite Back. Dogs is a 1999 German unofficial punk album, sealed $39.99. Sealed $39.99. We have The Chords. This is No One Is Listening Anymore, Live at the Rainbow, 1980, The Chords. That's a 1986 UK pressing with insert. That's Power Pop, $44.99. And The Stairs, Woman Gone and Say Goodbye. The Stairs is $14.99. Paul Ogley offered $30 for the dogs. That's sold to Paul Ogley for $30. And we have Zombie Ghost Train. Glad Rags and Body Bags. That is sealed. $79.99. A 2006 German, maybe on red vinyl. That's Psycho Billy. $79.99 for Zombie. Commitment, Bob Darren. Commitment is $59.99 for Bob Darren. Shutdown 66, Welcome to Dumpsville. That's sealed. $22.99. A 2002 reissued garage album. Sealed. $22.99. Nathaniel Meyer, Why Won't You Let Me Be Black. That's a 2009 blue vinyl pressing, limited edition blue vinyl. That's $24.99. We also have the Three Degrees, $16.99 on the Three Degrees. The Strollers, falling right down. The Strollers is a 1999 Swedish import garage album, $26.99. Super Chip, the Broughtons. Super Chip is a 1982 UK alternate rock prog album, $39.99 for the Broughtons. Also, Brother JT, Holy Ghost Stories, I-X-O-Y-C. That is a 1994 acoustic album, $17.99. Solard Blues Band, sealed, $19.99. Long Cane Razor, Claude Boss, Claude Blues Boss, Long. That is $49.99. $49.99. Long Cane Razor, Claude Blues Boss, Long, $49.99. Christopher Brusher says, Chip, $22.00. Super Chip, I can't do $22 on Super Chip. That would be closer to like $35, Christopher Brusha. It's marked $39.99. Ray Sharp, live at the Bluebird Volume 1, sealed $24.99. King George, Discovery, peace of mind. King George is sealed, $34.99. Prescription, Dr. Hector and the Groove Injectors, and that is $17.99. Prescription, Dr. Hector and the Groove Injectors. Radio Birdman, Zeno Beach, Zeno Beach, Zeno Beach. I said all kinds of different stuff right then. We had a Radio Birdman earlier. This is a 2006 U.S. Garage Punk record, sealed $29.99. The Midnighters in the Midnight Hour. The Midnighters is a sealed 2006 U.S. Garage album, sealed for $29.99. Christopher Brush says chip for $33. Let's go ahead and sell him the Super Chip for $33. That's sold to Christopher Brusha. Chip is sold. Uh, also, Because of Women. Sealed, $24.99. A 2005 Swiss Import Garage album, $24.99 on uh, Because of Women. The Mahajaras H Minor, a 2002 Italian Import Garage Psych record, $39.99. Brian Wilson, I Just Wasn't Made for These Times, Brian Wilson is a 2012 pressing. Brian Wilson from the Beach Boys. Friday Music, EX Condition, $59.99. Ready to Rock with the Black Dynamites. That is EX Condition, $22.99. A 1981 Netherlands pressing, Dutch Indo Rock. Dutch Indo Rock, EX $22.99. Countrified, Paul Ansel's Countrified. A 2002 Japanese pressing, that's Rockabilly. EX Condition, $22.99. And Contamination, Goblin. Goblin is an original 1980 Italian pressing, VG Plus condition, $54.99. The Turpentines, the Turpentines is a VG Plus, $11.99. 2000 Swedish Import Rock Album, 
turpentines, hypnosound, let's dig them up, number three. Hypnosounds, that's another garage comp, a 2000 Italian import, VG Plus 2499. David Haas, to be, your, to be Your Bread, that's a gospel folk album from 1985, EX Condition 999. Anson Thunderbird and the Rockets, that's EX Condition 1699. Brent Robley on the Hypnosound, Brent... <laughs> $20, $20 on the Hypno Sound. I'm surprised no one's grabbed that already. $2 Paul. We have uh, Did You Ever Feel Happy for No Good Reason? Sing in Boulder. That's in VG condition. A 1970 private press. And like I said, it looks like a bunch of high school or uh, college kids possibly. Which I guess a lot of college kid, college age kids made some great music in the 70s like Led Zeppelin and Black Sabbath. They were pretty young. Uh, Leslie Holt wants the gospel folk album. That is sold to Leslie Holt. And we have Ed Bruce, Tell Them I've Gone Crazy, $14.99 for Ed Bruce. Tell them I've gone crazy. Sounds like a pretty good saying. Just tell them I've gone crazy. All right. And I have a feeling Brent's going to say, sold for $20. <laughs> All right. That is sold to Brent Robley for $20. All right. Let me clear off. Um, I got to clear off my card here. I'm uh, about to open up final requests for vinyl. Uh, I do have one bin of new vinyl I want to run through, and I'm going to go grab a monster out of the fridge because we are about to transition into movie posters. But I do have a little bit more vinyl to show you. I'm going to try to do a little bit more cleanup here. So this weekend, I don't know if I officially said it too many times tonight. But Friday and Saturday, make sure you come to the store. We're having a $1 sale up front and kind of unadvertised. I am going to make one post about it probably tomorrow. But there's also going to be a $5 section in the back. There's also going to be a $5 section in the back. Now, some there's, there's going to be just as good of enough records in the $1 section as the $5 section. But the $5 section is stuff we're trying to fill up and kind of keep in place for a while. So there are some, there are going to be some better titles probably in the five dollar section. However, uh, those are going to be back there permanently. So we're going to try to, for our floor space purpose, we got to keep those out for five dollars. But there's going to be just as good records in the one dollar section as well. So, uh, do you got any Billy Strings? I actually don't have any Billy Strings. Quiet Right Mental Health. Uh, tomorrow is Metal Night. Uh, tomorrow. I'm going to keep two or three metal auctions going at the same time from 7 o'clock probably to midnight. We're talking original Metallicas, 80s hair metal, hard rock and metal. Uh, we've got some incredible stuff. i got picture disc. I've got some bins I'm going to try to get priced. So, yeah, we got a lot of metal to mark uh, for sure for tomorrow night. I've got one more bin of new vinyl I want to go through. Final call on the supplies. And uh, tomorrow is metal night. So, Tim, I don't know if I do have a mental health. A lot of people have been asking for that lately. It's amazing the demand, how much the demand for that album's gone up. A uh, pricing edition on Singin' Boulder. Singin' Boulder, Tracy, that was that 70 private press, college-looking kids, VG condition, $24.99. So a lot to look forward to in this whole week. Tomorrow, Paul and John will both here be here pricing new stuff. So Paul and John both here tomorrow pricing new stuff. And then uh, we'll be getting auctions ready. Uh, we'll have tons of new vinyl. Thursdays are always massive, massive shows. Um, and then um, we're going to be doing movie posters every night, which is what we're about to do right now. i got one more box to go through. Let me move some stuff around. One more crate, that is. What's a box? Crate of vinyl. We do crates of vinyl here, not boxes. Charlie DeFrank wants a cleaning cloth. All right. Let me move these cleaning kits over here. And for those that do shop here, I said all that to remind you, for those that do come, I'm about to clean out these CDs. It's up here in the front part of the store. So the CDs are about to go away because we need to fill up these bins. And I'm going to put all the New Orleans stuff together. I'm going to put all the New Orleans stuff together. Also, I hadn't shown this in a while. In case you didn't know, I got De La Soul. I'm clearancing these. I'm down to just a handful now. But if anybody wants one, $24.99. That's on magenta vinyl. De La Soul is on magenta colored vinyl, 
$24.99. De La Soul, $24.99, just FYI. Okay, and are you running the third crate of metal tomorrow from the ones you ran last night? Yeah, it was, uh, well, we sh um, that big tub that I posted, we're going to have the rest of those, and then I'm going to bring over some big ones from that very first video Paul posted, which has like the OG Master Puppets, Near Mint Shrink Wrap, and some other stuff like that, uh, Mega Deaths, and some big title metal stuff. Uh, I can't name them all right now, but there's some pretty incredible stuff. Charlie DeFrank wants a cleaning cloth for $4.99. I think I've pulled out enough, but we got hundreds of them. I went ahead and stocked up on a lot of the stuff. I was getting tired of reordering it. I do not have any Kanye, Kanye West. I may have one copy of Late Registration. That's it. Um, well, yeah, I think we got some Slayer tomorrow night. Yeah, I know for sure we got some Slayer. Uh, De La Soul is $24.99. $24.99. It's on magenta colored vinyl. And let me set this right over here. And here we go. So I uh, got one more crate. I got to move this any, anyway. I'm going to go through a little bit of new vinyl. Last bin here, just some quick new LPs. Hadn't shown these, and I'm probably going to start tomorrow's show with this. I still got a great deal here on this ABBA box set. This is the complete studio collection by ABBA. 10 LPs, $184.99. You get Ring Ring, Waterloo, ABBA, Arrival, The Album, Vulu Ve, Super Trooper, The Visitor's Voyage, and ABBA Tracks, which uh, that's 10 LPs. $184.99 ABBA. I still have that. Still have that. $184.99. Also, Lindsey Buckingham. That's Fleetwood Mac's Lindsey Buckingham. This is pretty much the only thing available. Greatest hits of his. That's a 6LP Greatest Hits solo anthology. $114.99 on Lindsey Buckingham. I have the newest Casey Musgrave still in stock. That's called Deeper Well. Transparent cream vinyl. We still got the indie exclusives. Casey Musgraves is $39.99. Weezer, the Blue Album, $34.99, featuring Say It Isn't So and Buddy Holly. Those two albums are on there, or those two songs. Legend, the best of Bob Marley, $36.99 on Legend. We have Boston, Don't Look Back, $28.99 for Boston, Don't Look Back. That's new and sealed. Wings Over America, $33.99. Paul McCartney's Greatest Hits, Another Day, Silly Love Songs, Live and Let Die, Junior's Farms, With a Little Luck, Band on the Run, Uncle Albert, Admiral Hosley, Ha Ha Ha, Let Them In, My Love Jet, and Bull of Kintyre. Also, Iron Maiden, Somewhere in Time, $34.99. Soundgarden, Bad Motor Finger. Soundgarden's $33.99. Abbey Road, The Beatles, $36.99 on Abbey Road. Dixie Chicks, Wide Open Spaces, $29.99. Nirvana Unplugged is $36.99. Ozzy, Memoirs of a Madman. That's a 2LP Greatest Hits of Ozzy, $39.99. This was Boston self-titled. Yes, this is not Don't Look Back. My bad, $28.99. Nirvana, Incesticide is $54.99. Corn, Fall of the Leader, $33.99 for Corn. Alan Jackson's Greatest Hits is $36.99. Gregory Isaacs, No Luck, Long Out of Print, Orange Vinyl, $33.99. Joan Jett, I Love Rock and Roll, $29.99. I actually found this one up here earlier. I got three copies of Joan Jett, I Love Rock and Roll, and one new sealed Japanese pressing of Howling Wolf Sings the Blues, Japanese, $64.99, Japanese import. And we didn't sell out of Mothership, so they're going to be $119.99 after tonight. I still got two left for $105. Uh, so, Howlin' Wolf, Joan Jett, Gregory Isaacs, Alan Jackson, Corn, Nirvana, Ozzy, Nirvana, Dixie Chicks, Abbey Road, Soundgarden, Iron Maiden, Wings, Boston, Bob Marley, Weezer, Casey Musgraves, Lindsey Buckingham, and ABBA. All right, I'm going to clear this area off right here so I can put this tub of stuff we're going to be going through tonight. So, if you're here for LPs, that was pretty much the conclusion of tonight's record show. I'm now going to clean off this space. I'm going to carry this tub over here, and we're going to go through some packets of very interesting movie poster stuff. And I've got to do some cleaning, one only to get the tub over here, but this is about to be very interesting. Just like when we're going through a crate of new arrivals, <laughs> have no idea what I'm looking at. Same thing with this right here. The Iron Maiden was $34.99. The Iron Maiden was 
I'm trying to fix my mic here. Give me one second. Okay. All right, now, I hope that tub is still over here where I left it. If not, I'm in trouble. Just how I left it. Okay. Hopefully I can get this thing through here. Oh my gosh. I don't know how much stuff is, how many individual pieces that's in here, but as y'all have seen, it's a lot. Okay. Ken may be getting the last claim of the night. He wants the Iron Maiden record somewhere in time. This is so to Ken Helplin. Ken, you may be getting the last claim of the night there. Thank you. All right, so let me show you all this tub. Here's exactly where we left off last night. I put the stuff that didn't sell back in here on top. I put it on top of the Bob Hope envelope. So, yep, there's everything right here that didn't sell. And that's where we left off. So that was all the stuff from last night that didn't sell. I'm going to actually start just a new pile there and we're going to go through this right here Let me move this stuff here sleeves and these i got to order another case of those okay so uh, oh, I got to move my laptop closer. I don't have my laptop next to me. Last thing I got to do is just move my laptop. I've went all night without it. We've only had a couple. We didn't have much new vinyl come in, so I didn't have to do waiting list. I can't believe there's this many people watching. <laughs> That's what I'm amazed at right now. We still got, it's went back up. We still got two, we got 222 people watching now. I can't believe it. Usually when I say, all right, that's it for records, but uh, we may have developed a new following of watchers for the uh, unboxing of these movie pops. I was going to make a post in the group and be like, I didn't want to take pictures of them because we already had them all put away, but I was going to just get like stock photos and be like, look at these movie posters we found. But uh, some of y'all probably wouldn't like that because y'all probably don't want any more attention, right? Please, Chad, don't do that. People find out we've discovered Back to the Future posters in these boxes. All right. <laughs> all right. Uh, let me see what I've missed here. Uh, I see Gorgira. John, I've sold several Gorgira albums. Let me know which one you want, if you want any. From Mars to Cirrus, $49.99. The Way of All Flesh, $54.99. La Font Sauvage, $49. And Intera Incognita, $54.99. Jim B, all the new vinyl sticker price. I'm new to buying off here. Do you accept PayPal? And how long will Windows come pay? I'm waiting for the money coming out. I like to buy the less sell myself. Well, uh, what I'll do is whenever you're ready to buy it and you can pay for it, let me know. We invoice on Mondays, and it's $24.99, $7 shipping. We invoice on Mondays, and then I'll send you an invoice, and then you can pay for it. Any AJR records? I'm not for sure what that is. All right, I've got this turned around backwards from where I normally had it, but uh, let's see here. All right, let's go ahead and knock this one out. Tony Perkins. Let me get this. So, Tony Perkins. I actually think last night I said I was going to start with Richard Pryor and Al Pacino, but let's start with this one. So, this is two lobby cards to something. The Champagne Murders. Champagne Murders. Champagne Murders lobby cards. Okay, there's that. I'll do that one in just a second. All right. 
Let's see what we got here. Wow, so you got this one sealed? This one's sealed. God help Bobby and Helen. They're in love in Needle Park. The panic in Needle Park. The Al Pacino, the Al Pacino envelope has three Al Pacino posters, and they're all this one right here. They're all this one right here. Gre uh, Giggs, give me one second. Give me one second, and I'll I'll have to get you some first time buyer information. The Panic in Needle Park. I gotta get signed in here. Gotta go ahead and take care of all this. It'll make tonight so much faster. Get it set up once. All right, so this is a $25 buy now, Brent, if you want it, or if anybody else wants one. Looks like I've got three. All right, we have our first time X buyer, it looks like. Now, I haven't had this happen before, so uh, please, let's see, how can I do this? I guess send us a DM, gigs, with your email address and your mailing address. So send us a DM on Twitter. With your name, I need your name, your email address, and your mailing address. Okay? And I will invoice you on Monday for the day La Soul. But uh, send us a DM on X, email address, mailing address, and your actual name. Brent gets the first poster of the night, $25. I got two more if anybody wants one. Panic and Needle Park, Al Pacino. So that's all that was in the Al Pacino folder. Al Pacino's gone. There's two of those there. I'm also going to toss that on the trash. All right. Next is... The River. The River. Sissy Spacek and Mel Gibson. The River. Sissy Spacek and Mel Gibson. The River. That's what was in the Sissy Spacek folder. Brent, $20. No damage. $20, Brent. He said sold. Done. Oh, never mind. There's another. <laughs> Hold on one second. <laughs> Hold the phone. That's good news. Let's see what we got here. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I thought I saw I thought I saw a glimpse of it. I was like, is this what it actually is? Scarface. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, is there this many of them? <laughs> I think we found like there's like five or six of them, it looks like too. Nice. Let's see what's actually going on here though. Make sure this is actually a movie poster, because that's an incredible find. Uh, let's see, printed in USA. Let's see here. Let me see what this other one looks like. All right. Coming in December. Okay, so this, down here at the bottom, I don't know why I've got them this way. I usually lay them this way so y'all can see them better. It looks like it's a teaser coming in December in a theater. 
So this is uh, a taser. What I was saying earlier is I found another Al Pacino packet. Uh, so there's a taser. That's nice. Let's see what these others look like. Because you know last time we had tasers and then we had originals. And this is a different... Well, I don't know if I've ever seen this one before. There's uh, another taser. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. There's another taser. So that's a different taser. All right. I'm going to see before I price any of them what all what we have. Take inventory right quick. That's another taser like the first one. This actually may be, this is different material, and this is the actual original one sheet. Wow. That's the actual original one sheet there. All right. So there's the actual one sheet. So whoever got first dibs, let's see if, let's hope that there's more for everyone else's sake. But the good thing is, is the, Nope, there's another one. I was about to say, this is different paper. So there's another original one sheet. And there's another original one sheet. This feels like a teaser paper. The teaser paper, the teaser is on thicker paper. That's a teaser. This one has a little bit of fraying. We'll have a lot to sort out. There's teaser number two. There's another original one sheet. There's teaser number two. And the next one is a different movie. Okay, so let me stop there. We got a lot of different Scarface here, and I hadn't even checked the order, but let me price first the original one sheet, which I'm assuming whoever's first in order will want that original one sheet. But let me uh, actually, never did get signed in over here. So let's see what's going on with price on the Scarface. And let's do recent. Okay. Here's a 1983 folded, very fine one sheet, 27 by 41, sold for 216, December 31st, very fine condition. Let me pull this one up. I was about to say, I think the last time I kind of looked at these, they were a couple hundred dollars. Let me look at all the stuff at the bottom. All right, so yeah. All right, okay. So yeah, I'll, I'll do these for $195. So the original one sheet's $195. Let me read off the order, and if you want one, say sold, and we'll open it up and make sure they're all nice. It looks like they're all pretty clean and pretty much unused, though. Nice finds. So $195 is the price on these, and the order is Jennifer Schrader, Brent Ribley, George Somers, Chris Kirkley. That's the first four I have here, $195, $195. So this is for that original one sheet. And then probably what I'll do is we'll try to, uh, we'll just, I'll set these aside. I'll go to a different poster, and then we'll kind of redo the order for these teasers. So it will we'll be able to speed up the process, go through some other new stuff. So 195, and uh, I think the first four people's already commented. Jennifer was first. Jennifer, I'm just waiting for you. Jennifer, I think Brent. Those three people have already said so, so, and so. They all look very. I mean, they all look very, very nice. So 195. Jennifer Schrader's next, and if she passes, Paul Ogley, and then Paul Brothers. If Jennifer Schrader passes you're next and then like I said I'll redo the order on this later for the teasers because the teaser the first teaser is still really cool it looks just like this and then that one is one I don't see too often so and what I'll do let me put a sticky note on these and I'll open them all up later I'll put a little thumbnail on them so I can unfold them and check them all afterwards and we'll go down the order so 
uh, we'll put right there. So we're just waiting for Jennifer Schrader. So we'll do the other ones in just a second. Let me lay those over there, and I'll show the next movie, which is Bobby Deerfield. Bobby Deerfield. This was that racing movie. We had one of these the other night. Bobby Deerfield, Al Pacino. Al Pacino is Bobby Deerfield, a love story. Bobby Deerfield. And that's an original one sheet. And it looks like we have several of them. There's one. And there is two. And there's three. And there's four. And there is five. So I hadn't heard back from Jennifer Schrader. And Paul Brothers, just so you're back up, let me know if you do want one of the theatrical originals for 195. Let me look up Bobby Deerfield. No one has said anything, but I think I'm going to go ahead and price them anyway, so I know. Let me just go back. I didn't mean to go all the way back. Ah, I accidentally clicked on a Scarface. That's what I did. Bobby Deerfield. Don't tell them what's in these packets. Okay. So if Jennifer passes. Okay. So uh, right now for whoever asked, Paul uh, or Jake or Rebecca, let's give those first four Scarface to Brent Ribley, Chris Kirkley, George Somers, and uh, this is possibly Jennifer Schrader's. How much are the teasers? Well, uh, we're just talking in terms of that one. I'm going to redo the order for the teasers next. Like I'm going to start a new batch of comments for those. If anybody wants a Bobby Deerfield, since I have so many of them, I'll sell them for $20. $20 on this. $20 on Bobby Deerfield. And I think I said have I have I have 5 of them I think there. Okay. And All right, let's go through this packet here. Next packet. I'm not going to tell you the actor's name until I figure out what's in it. Ah, this will be very popular. Jennifer said pass. Okay, so that goes to Paul Brothers 195. So, just if you uh, the teaser will definitely be less, but just make sure you're ready for whenever I show those cuz I'm going to redo the order. Okay. And um yeah, this is very popular here. Jeremiah Johnson lobby cards. Robert Redford, Jeremiah Johnson. So this is the Robert Redford pack. Jeremiah Johnson, Jeremiah Johnson, Jeremiah Johnson, Jeremiah Johnson, Jeremiah Johnson. We may have a whole set here, so let's figure out what's going on. We have number eight. We got number two. We got number one, two, and eight. We got one, two, seven, eight. One, two, seven, eight. We got one, two, six, seven, eight. We got one, two, five, six, seven, eight. We're missing three and four unless they're here in this envelope. Let's see what else we got in here. Here's that. Nope. All right, so uh, one two, three, four, five, six. That one has eight one written on it, just FYI. Those six, $60. Brent, you're first, then Jetstream. Okay, and let's see what else is in here. Next is Brew Baker. I butchered that like 20 times the other night. Robert, Robert Redford, Brew Baker. Original one sheet. Jet Stream, let me know if you want the Jeremiah Johnson lobby cards for $60. You're next in line.
$20 on Brew Baker Brent. $20 on Brew Baker. I got too much stuff here in pending. Okay, nobody wanted the Al Pacino. I'll put that right over there. Okay, and then here's what was left in the Robert Redford. I got more lobby cards. This is the Hot Rock. The Hot Rock. Uh, a random new magazine clipping. And the way we were with uh, Strysdan and Redford together. So there's a few more Robert Redford. And I have a 1974 Time Magazine, the Great Gatsby Supercell, Robert Redford, Mia Farrow cover. And that is 1974. Do I have to take off? Uh, well, uh, it's not really a set, but um, yeah, I think I'm, I'd like to keep those probably together uh, right now. Yeah. Let's sell Brew Baker to Brent Robley for $15. But uh, yeah, probably keep these six together right now. I'll probably keep them together right now for... Uh, I don't know if you heard me the other night. There's a there's a person that's been buying any of these that I don't sell here here in the store. There's uh, like a local college student. He's doing some kind of, but his mother's been buying like she'll come in and just buy anything that we don't sell here during the during the live sale. All right, let's see what this next poster is. But I'll think about if they don't sell for sixty. So keep that in mind. This looks interesting. This is Robert Redford, this property is condemned. Robert Redford, this property is condemned. Charles Bronson. Kate Reed. Haven't had that poster yet. Yes, I do have some allergies. You probably hear me sniffling and Got a, it's that time of year here in Tennessee. Everything's blooming. Not a pretty desirable poster. So, um, Brent, up here at the top, there's some tattering. Up here at the top, there's some tattering. Let me show you that. Everything else is beautiful on it, the colors and the condition, but right up here there's some tattering along the the edge right there. Because of that, thirty dollars. Thirty dollars. Thomas Hujar second. He said so thirty dollars. That's so to Brent for thirty dollars. And that was was that all the Robert Redford stuff? Hold on a second. What did I do with the envelope? Yeah, that was it. So just those other stray lobby cards and the Time Magazine. All right, next packet. Let's see what's in here. Buck and the Preacher. Buck and the Preacher. Sidney Poirier. And Harry Belafonte. That's pretty cool. Buck and the Preacher. Scarface. I'm still thinking about that. $20 if anybody wants a buck in the preacher. They're nice and in nice condition. This is the Sydney Poirier folder, by the way. So actually, the first thing I grabbed here in the Sydney Poirier folder was a huge stack of it looks like new and unused one sheets of buck in the preacher. So there's a bunch of them. If anybody wants a buck in the preacher, $20. Thomas Hujar says he wants one. That's so to Thomas Hujar, $20. Buck in the preacher, original one sheets. They all look like they're on linen. Very nice, $20 on those, pretty much near mint condition. And then here's the next movie poster in the stack. And this is called The Lost Man. Another Sidney Poirier. 
the lost man. Sidney Poirier, the lost man, lost man. He crowded a lifetime into 37 suspenseful hours. All right, so uh, Paul Brothers also wants a Buckman and the Preacher. I'm folding this one back up because I want to see if there's one in better condition first. But let me pull Paul Brothers a Buckman and the Preacher. That's sold to Paul Brothers for $20. And then Brent and George. Luckily, there's several lost mans. And let me open up another one here. This one looks new. This one looks new. Let's take a look at it. Oh, there's one hole right there. Well, let me open another one. There's more. But wait, there's more. Let me get this one right here. All right, this one looks new. Let's see what this one looks like. Very nice. Has a one rip right there, kind of in a very unimportant part. But yeah, that one's pretty nice. Has a rip in the corner right there. But everything else is very nice. That's around the framing edge. So this is the lost man. And there's more. And the other one wasn't too bad, that one I just opened. It had a hole in kind of the bottom part, if this other one don't turn out. Uh, but I'll do this for $25. Uh, Brent was first, then George Somer. So we'll say this one right here for sure, $25. Brent and then George. And I've got another one here. And George, if this one's nice, you can have it for $25. It's going to be, I think, pretty much also really nice. Yeah, this one's also really nice. So there's another one, $25. Nothing really wrong with this one at all. So I guess, George, if you do want this one, that one's really nice. It has pretty much nothing wrong with it at all. All right. So is this two big thick stacks of these lost man posters and Buck and the Preachers. That's what was in the uh, Sidney Poirier folder. Sold. He said he'll take the last one. And Paul, are you okay with the one that I uh, showed first that was 25? If so, Paul Brothers gets this one. That's sold to Paul Brothers, the next one there. If anybody else wants a lost man, $25, and I still got Buck and the Preacher. And there's two more lost mans here, so several still available. If anybody else wants one, Let's grab a new packet. Let's grab something at random here. Let me do a random one. Let's see what this is right here. Ah, nice. We had this guy last night. Let's see what else is in here. But you know what? Hope everybody's ready. Let's do another Scarface batch for the teasers. For the teasers. Scarface teasers. Let's see who gets in order. And I hadn't actually looked this up yet, so let me do that. And then there's going to be another one after this. Coming in December is what I'm looking for. Advance. They call it an advance, not a teaser. The technical, if you want to get up in the high, sophisticated ranks of poster collectors, that's an advanced release. Wow, they're not cheap either. They're all rolled. The rolled ones are, yeah, these are just as expensive. Wow, two thousand. you got to go back to 2016 to find a folded one. The rolled ones, here's, here's sold prices for rolled ones. $456, $660, $712, Those are prices for road ones. I don't see a folded one since 2016 for where I'm looking from. So these are still, this is still a very desirable, even as a teaser, even as a teaser. So uh, this one, I'm just going to do for a little less, $175, $175 on these. I mean, y'all just heard those prices for road ones, right? $175 for these, $20 less than the other one, but that is an original advance or teaser. So one, $175, there's a nice one, and um, 
let me figure out who was all first. We had Brent, Jennifer, Thomas, George, Dale, Mitch, Jim. And if anybody in that order wants one, Brent said, so pass. Pass. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Here's another nice one. Yep. 175. So the net in order now was Jennifer Schrader, Thomas Hujar, George Somers, Dale Sanders. So Jennifer, uh, Thomas, George, Dale. And so there's two. And then this one will be a little bit cheaper because it has some fraying. Where was that at? Just down here on this edge, right down here. All right, and this one, um, that one I'll do for uh, 155. It's in the border of the frame, probably. So there's a little bit cheaper one. A little bit cheaper one. So we got scar faces available for 175 teasers and a little bit lesser grade one for 155. I'm gonna keep those right there. I'm gonna keep those right there. Thomas says he'll take a 155 one. All right, let me make sure who was in front of you though. Thomas, let's see here. I just gotta hear back from Jennifer Schrader first. I just got to hear back from Jennifer Schrader first. She's got dibs on either a 175 or the 155. Just and she said pass. All right, so we'll sell Thomas Hujar this one right here for 155. That's sold to Thomas Hujar. There's two 175s left if anybody else wants one. All right, let me do some sorting here. Hopefully that's what I think it is. Good, there's more of them. And hopefully, here's a bunch of them. Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and knock this out. Probably sell a bunch of these. So if you're interested in that third one, just be ready to get in line whenever we hit it, okay? Which will be in a short amount of time. This is the... Well, let me show you the movie first. Okay, I'm trying to find possibly the nicest one. This is Smoking the Bandit 2. This is the Burt Reynolds packet. Smokey and the Bandit 2 on this one. Smokey and the Bandit 2. Smokey and the Bandit 2. Now the good thing, it looks like I have a large amount of these. Smokey. Bandit 2. Okay, I'll do this for $25, $25, Smoking the Bandit 2. Brent was first, then Curtis, then Thomas, then Craig, then Brian, then Paul. The good news is I've got another one if Brent takes that one. Here's another one for Curtis. That one has a little bit of tape residue. I'm going to try to find all good ones first. So bring your first to 25, that first one I opened. Okay, there's another good one, so that's 25. There's definitely one for uh, Thomas and Curtis, if Brent happens to pass. That one's nice. Some of these are brand new, it looks like. I think all of them are that's in this little packet here. Okay, there's another nice one. $25 on these. Oh, Brent already said sold. My bad. Okay, there's another nice one. All right, so let's go ahead and tag these then. So uh, $25. We know Brent's getting one for $25. We know Curtis is getting one for $25. We know Thomas is getting one for $25. And then Craig, Thomas, you're next. Then Brian Frenfrock, and then Paul Brothers. 
So uh, uh, Paul for sure wants one. Craig, Brian is in front, but it looks like we're going to have enough for uh, everybody. Craig said so. There's one so for Craig for $25. And so now, Brian Frenfrock, just let me know if you want one. Because there's two more. And then these, I'll save those for in case we need any more. He said sold. Okay, when there's nobody else. All right, so those are sold for 25 and there's another one for 25 And then Dominic says he wants a scar face if it falls to him. Dominic, there's two, yep, there's two scar faces left. So Dominic Musolino says he will take a scar face teaser for $175. There's one scar face left for $175. Dominic Musolino gets one. There's one left before I do the other one. Let's go ahead and show, I think we had this last night, Gator, Burt Reynolds and Gator. I think I remember that one. If anybody's interested, there's two more. Burt Reynolds Gator. And this is called, it's a, hmm, oh, this is interesting. <laughs> this is a insert size, an insert size of Seamus. Seamus. Seamus is a pro. He never misses. Insert size. Pretty cool colors on that one. Orange, you know, Tennessee orange, Vols. Boy, I went and got this, I went and got this, mon I forgot, when did I get this out, this monster? I think when I started these posters. Let me go ahead and get this thing. I've lost 10 degrees on the temperature, but let me get this shook up and let me get this thing consumed right quick. I'm going to mute my mic for one second. Okay, <clears throat> all right, now I'm ready to go till 3 a.m. I just I could just consume the equivalent of about 10, cup of, 10 cups of coffee. All right, Seamus is $20. Seamus is $20. Brent Ribley and then Craig Thomas, $20 on that. Nobody on Gator, that's what I thought. And then... There's two Smokey and the Bandits left that's in a little bit lesser condition, either because of tape or that one has, I think, a tear in it. There's two in lesser condition. Craig does take the uh, Seamus for $20. All right, one Scarface left. Uh, yeah, let's do, let's figure out what's in it first. But I, I mentioned this one last night. Hey, another Robert Redford. Well, what happened to that? I wonder if I had that tucked. I bet that was on the bottom here. Hold on a second. Yeah. Let me find that. I can't remember. Aha. Here we go. Here's the only one, the only one Minch left. Blech. Maybe I needed to drink some more Monster. Here's the only packet left from last night. So these are all going to be different posters, so... Same rules apply, but this is the Richard Pryor. So let's do one poster at a time. This is the toy. Here's the. This is a bunch of different looking posters in here. Richard Pryor, Jackie Gleason, the toy. Richard Pryor, Jackie Gleason, the toy. Aha, we had this the other night. Good, here's more of them, I think. Yep, Richard, wow, there's a bunch of them. Uh, pr this is prior on the Sunset Strip. 
great. Live on the Sunset Strip. That's the original theatrical one there. Richard Pryor, live on the Sunset Strip. I uh, thank everybody who wanted one last night got one, but there's more. There's the actual theatrical. Does anybody remember what I was selling those for? Because if they don't all sell tonight, because it looks like they're not going to, because I have a bunch of them, I'm going to take a picture of one tonight and try to sell some tomorrow during the record sale. I think they were 25 or 35, but I don't remember. I don't remember what I sell these things for, but there's a bunch of them here. Look. There's one. There's two. There's an three possibly I think four five there's five six five or six I know one person who buys all kinds of Richard Pryor stuff and he hasn't watched the last couple nights so some kind of hero some kind of hero haven't had that one before some kind of hero Richard Pryor is in a new kind of comedy about some kind of hero and some kind of mess. I've got one of those. I've got two of those. This is the Richard Pryor photo. George Somers is interested in some kind of a mess. He got his comment in a hurry there, but I know what he's trying to say. <laughs> And George, I'll do twenty dollars on one of them. Twenty dollars on one of those, some kind of mess. Uh, next is which way is up? Which way is up? And George, I think I just missed you at the store. I think I was. I, uh, I got a notification when you paid for your invoices today. I was driving by the store to go pick up my Chipotle. And I think I saw you pulling out of the parking lot because <laughs> uh, I saw where you paid your invoice. And when I drive by, when I drove by, I think I saw you there. Uh, which way is up? Which way is up? Which way is up? Okay, I'll also do these for $20 and I've got several of them. I've got several of them. These are also $20 and I have several of them. So first, we have George did say sold on some uh, some kind of hero, and this one looks brighter. I'll give that to George for 20 and then uh, Paul, $20, and then George, $20. Y'all were the first two on those, uh, which way is up, and these all look very similar. I got a bunch of them, yeah. There's even more right here, okay? Put these all in here. Paul said sold. $20. George, that's the one I leave that one out for you if you want it. Okay, there's another toy. There's the toy. The toy. We had that one earlier. I'm going to put that down there with the others. The toy. And George said sold on this for 20. That was which way is up. That's sold to George for 20. Uh, I can't make this out. So let's find out what it is. Cool. Here, Richard Pryor, here and now. Richard Pryor, here and now. One sheet style B. Let me open up another one. I think there may be one a little bit better looking. Let me see. Let me see if that's what all these are. 
this was folded weird too. So let me pay, well, I'll put that in pending in case that ends up being the only one or the best one. But I think we got much better ones here. But let me make sure they're, yeah, this one's folded correctly. Well, not real. yeah, yeah, I guess it is. Still not folded perfectly or folded like they're supposed to be. But y'all get the idea. That one's much nicer. And I think there's another one in here. There he is. Make sure it's the same style. One style. Okay, yeah. Uh, 25 on those. George and then Brent. And I have more if anybody else wants one. Actually, I have another style B. I have another style B. I have another style B. And let me make sure though. That's stuck together. Hold on a second. All right, so there's here and thou. There's another one. That's the same style, same style. Okay, these are the nicest ones. They're all the same. 25 and 25, Brent Ribley, George Somers. Okay. That's all the rest of them. Now, unfortunately, this is stuck together to something. And this next poster, okay, this is some old glue. No damage done. It was on the back, but this is the only one I have on this one. I think it says, and I think I've seen this before, Grease Lightning. Is that right? Richard Pryor moves faster than Grease Lightning. And I'll do this one for, it has one rip down here, Brent. It gets a little bit into the credits. It gets a little bit into the credits. It does have pinholes, $20. Brent's first and then George Somers. So George, he's already passed, it goes to you, $20. George Somers, $20. Okay. I'll do those next. They're right over here. George said sold on that, $20. Now, let me try to sell some of these. I'll sell a toy, the toy, Richard Pryor, $9.99. Just comment toy if you want one. Just $9.99. I've got one. I've got two. I've got three. I've got three. $9.99. Just $9.99 on those. Was there more? Hold on a second. That was it. All right. Let's give one to Shakedown. Let's give one to George Somers. Let's give one to Christopher Brusha. All right, so I've still got the other one here. Nobody claimed one of these. They're 25. It's a pretty cool poster, too, if you don't have a Richard Pryor yet. Or if you want one, some really cool, really cool shot of them. Richard Pryor live on the sunset. That is uh, twenty-five dollars, and I got a big stack of those. I, these aren't lobby cards, or if they, I don't know. Um, I'm going to price them for fifteen dollars. First one to claim them, and you have to know the name of the movie. So you're going to have to have some knowledge of the movie. But you'll buy them both for fifteen. So this is like trivia slash whoever's first. But I'll sell them both for fifteen dollars. There's no identification on them. But you have to get the name of the movie, or at least part of it. Something I, I don't I don't know. So <laughs> uh, it's like uh, trivia slash. We got a ST from Curtis, a SEC, a trad. <laughs> There's no markings on them. That's that glue I was talking about. Some glue that stuck on the back. All right, Curtis put 
ST for stir crazy. So, Curtis, I'm assuming you want these for $15. I don't think they're, I mean, they're obviously something vintage, but if they're lobby cards, they're not traditional. They don't have any writing or, or unless they've been trimmed or something, I don't really know. Is that correct, though? Is he correct? Is it is? Is it stir crazy? We got to make sure he's actually correct. It's Gene Wilder and Richard Pryor, but I don't know what those are. I don't know if those are official lobby cards or what, but Curtis, those are yours for $15. Now, I hope everybody else is on their toes because Scarface is coming up right now. Scarface for this next teaser. Scarface. 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 Hope everybody had that ready. I already see two, Jennifer, Brent, and George. So, Curtis, let me know if you do want those. Tony Freeman says it's Silver Streak. Well, he did put ST, Silver TST. That could be right. I'll keep those back there in pending. And now, let me officially figure out what these are and take a look at these as well. My favorite words. I'll take a look at it. All right. So, we have the last three teasers here of this style. Let's see, rolled and actually in an advance it's an advance okay it's actually the cheapest of all of them all right curtis dude he gets these two uh oh these are two different movies okay so these are two different movies i just saw gene wilder and i thought it was from the same movie so okay let's see what's first here let's open them up one at a time This is, make sure they're all good. So this is another advance. This one just has some dog-eared corners, no rips or anything. I'm gonna kind of rank them so whoever's first will go down the line, but I think they're all pretty similar. That one looks nice. Although that one was folded weird. I think it was like that and then like this. Yep. All right. And then here's the other one. It's pretty much identical. Written by Oliver Stone, yeah. Giorgio Moroder. Push it to the limit. That's my theme song, but I'm not selling cocaine. I'm selling records. Push it to the limit. Okay, that one's nice too. Yeah, they're pretty much all identical. Oh, man, I don't know. <laughs> $75. These are just $75. $75. I just almost said $95 because I feel like I could get that, but I'm going to say $75. Jennifer Brent George. Jennifer Brent George. Christopher Dominic. Uh, $75. Records are a lot like Coke, yeah. I, I love that scene, though, the when they're counting that money and he's getting married and... <laughs> That's an all-time, that song's playing in the background. That is, that's peak cinema. So, uh, Jennifer Schrader, $75. George gets one. Brent gets one. You're next in line. If Jennifer happens to pass, it goes to Christopher Brusha. We'll find out what happens. I'll leave one sideways just in case. All right, let's move on. He's got that tiger. I love that too. He's got that tiger in his backyard. <laughs> All right. All right, let's start getting into a new pack. All right, everything else is... Uh, everything else is uh, random now. So let's see what's in here. Uh... We got to knock them out one at a time. Okay, so we have uh, Jennifer. Well, that's the one on top there. 
Jennifer will get that last one on top. So those are sold 75, 75, 75. All right, let's do, okay, that's the empty envelope for Richard Pryor. Now this was, I don't know if there's something in here or not. Nope, that's nothing in there. It says the Hunchback of Notre Dame or Notre Dame. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's see what's in here. I want to sell my records, want to sell them for me. We do not do consignment here, but we buy records. But I don't do consignment. If you have records for sale, let me know. I will buy them. Contact us. I'll send you a link to our website, but we don't do consignment here. I stopped doing that a long time ago. All right, this is the Goldie Hawn packet. This is Goldie Hawn. We'll do Goldie Hawn. This is Swing Shift. Goldie Hawn, Swing Shift. Are you from Georgia? You sound like it. I'm from Tennessee. We are in Middle Tennessee. But if you have a collection of records for sale, you can contact us. We travel to buy collections, or you can bring them to us. Swing Shift, Goldie Hawn. If anybody wants a price on that, let me know. So, Scarface is over unless we find some more. There's one standard theatrical looking teaser left. So, Scarface is 175. That's the only one I have left there. There's Goldie Hawn. And seems like old times. That's with Chevy Chase. Goldie Hawn, Chevy Chase, Charles Grodin. Neil Simon, Seems Like Old Times. I went to the back to uh, see how many, last night, how many more tubs like this we had, and I found at least four more tubs. No interest in that one. Moving on. We'll knock out a lot this fast. Shampoo. Shampoo. I don't think I can name a Goldie Hawn film except the ones I've already shown because I just named them off. Shampoo. Goldie Hawn. I don't know if I've seen a movie of Goldie Hawn in it. I watched Scarface at way too young of an age probably, but I was, I had a, I had a poster in my room with like him on a hundred dollar bill Tony Montana. <laughs> I was just fascinated. Shampoo is $25, Brent. $25 on shampoo. Shampoo sold. I'll put it back in the sleeve it was in. Fred had that one in a sleeve. Oh boy. E.T.? What is this? Goldie Hawn and E.T.? <laughs> Shows how much I know about films. Not much. Enough to be dangerous, and that's about it. But this is obviously a different looking poster than what we had last night. This is a, what is this? It says, the story that touched the world. Probably some kind of reissue. Let me see if I can find a comp. It says copyright. Here we go. Uh, 1982, 1985, so this is probably an 85 reissue. Yeah, this is a 1985 reissue. Obviously, the story that touched the world. This is only $30. This one's only $30. Thirty dollars on this. Um, 
Brent, Curtis, Jennifer, Mitch, Dominic, Ray Road, $30 on that. Brent said sold. All right, I'll put that back in the sleeve. $30, 85 reissue. And George says he's tapping out. Okay, I hope I don't, I, I've kind of flipped through a lot of them. I haven't seen that, George, but uh, that would be pretty epic. But I hadn't seen that packet yet. I'm sure there's a George Harrison packet. Private Benjamin. Private Benjamin. Wow, Mitch was on that fast. Private Benjamin. I still haven't watched. How, how many long have we been doing this? I still have not. I have not watched a movie from beginning to end since we've been doing these posters. Have y'all? I'm sure one of some of y'all have got to. But, um, yeah, I have not watched a movie since we've been doing this. I'm still behind. So, Mitch, $25 on Private Benjamin. There's one tear down here that can be refolded. There's one tear down here that can be refolded. Private Benjamin. One tear right there. So, but it's $25. Uh, Mitch said so. Mitch Sorry's $25. All right. Yeah, I I had I'm I work. Um uh, well y'all see. I I'm here six to eight hours a day, which is like a full work day for most people, but then I'm working from home. I'm working literally right up until I fall asleep as soon as I wake up and as soon as I get here. So um yeah, I I probably work eighteen hours a day, every day, seven days a week. Actually collect, actually collect co-work. The other time is gym, which I'm usually watching a podcast or a Seinfeld or a TV show. Usually a podcast, Lex Friedman, something like that, informative to educate myself. Or I'm sleeping and um, or trying to read something on Wikipedia. So, Best friends, Burt Reynolds and Goldie Hawn. Best friends. Best friends, Burt Reynolds and Goldie Hawn. Or playing golf. I did play golf on Monday. I did play golf on Monday. So I was working out there. I was posting. If y'all noticed, I posted two pre-orders at odd times during the day. In between holes, I was replying to messages. And um, I posted pre-orders out there. I was ordering new vinyl. And I was really distracting my game. I didn't play that well. I did not play it all that well because I was not focused. And uh, you could tell it. All right, the last Goldie Hawn picture is Protocol. Protocol. Goldie Hawn and Protocol. That's the last Goldie Hawn poster. All right, Goldie is done. Let's grab something else at random and... I like the way this sounded earlier, which was, uh, I think I'm going to wait on Barbara Streisdale. I don't, I don't know about those. <laughs> we have uh, Robert Redford. Let's do another Robert Redford. All right. Barbara Streisdale, please do. Okay, I'll do that one next. <laughs> All right, so there is uh, the Hot Rock, uh, the way we were. Okay, that's some press materials. I'll do that in just a second. <clears throat> okay, there's more press materials. Great Gatsby. Okay, I'm trying to get all the lobby cards pulled out first. Ah! This is what I was hoping I'd find. I kind of want one of these myself, but I don't see the poster yet. The Sting. Now, let's see here. What year did this come out? 
It does say winter of seven. Yeah, so this is a 1977. I was about to say, always make sure it's like the actual release. This is 77. It came out in 73. But Brent, I'll still do that one for 10. It is an original 77, probably a reissued lobby card. $10, though, if you want that one. $10, Brent. You were first. He said sold. All right. And... Okay, it looks like the rest are posters. So let's go through the posters now. There's that. That sold to Brent for $10. So if anybody... There's more lobby cards. If anybody wanted those, just let me know. All right, first poster is three... Ow. I felt like something stabbed me. Three Days of Condor. Three Days of Condor. I think I got a microscopic paper stab right down on something. Just a quick outlook through the week. Tomorrow's Thursday. Actually, it's Thursday right now, but tomorrow night is uh, technically Thursday, or not technically. You get what I mean. Uh, Metal Knight Auctions, uh, New Great Vintage Arrivals, um, Friday... We're going to be doing posters. Friday is going to be new stuff. Saturday, Paul should be doing a show. But then uh, Monday and Tuesday, I'm going to be at the Masters. So uh, Monday and Tuesday, Paul will still be doing shows Monday and Tuesday, but I won't be here. I'll be at the Augusta National Golf Club, completely tuned out of the world. There's no phones there. I'm not going to be on my phone. But we do go there to get merchandise. So uh, first of all, let me go ahead and price this. Dale, you were first, then Brent, and then Jesse. $30 on that one. Dale, Brent, and Jesse. $30 on that one. And there actually may be... Let me see if there's another one. Paul won't be doing... So y'all are going to have like Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday off from this kind of stuff. So it'll give you... I'll be back Wednesday for a record show, and we'll get right back into this. But So we'll be doing this the next several nights. Just FYI. But then uh, I won't. Nobody be here to do it Monday and Tuesday. Paul will be doing shows, but he won't be doing posters. All right, so that's pending for thirty dollars to those three people. Next is Barefoot in the Park. Barefoot in the Park. Robert Redford, Jane Fonda. Barefoot in the Park. So we. Uh, I go to. I went to the Masters last year, and we, we buy merchandise, and uh, I resell a lot of it, actually. So uh, we, uh, we resell a lot of Masters merchandise. So uh, we went down there last year and, and bought a lot. So um, if anybody's interested in Masters merch, there's a, a slight upcharge uh, from uh, actual pro shop prices. But if you're interested in Masters shirts and hats, uh, I'm going down there and... and uh, buying a lot so any thrash vintage that will be on tomorrow yeah auction metal auctions tomorrow yes so brant you've got dibs on three days of condor three uh day three day of condor if you want that one barefoot in the park no interest in that i'm gonna lay that right over there brent takes three day of condor barefoot in the park still available brent gets that for 30. let's see what this poster is It's another, I thought I had another one. Yeah, there's another three day of Condor. That is $30 on that. $30 on that, there's another one. Okay, now let's do this right here. Well, here's more posters. Okay, there's more Barefoot in the Parks. Barefoot in the Parks. Barefoot in the Parks. Make sure these are all barefoot in the park. Yeah, okay, those are all barefoot in the parks. And this looked pretty interesting because I think the last time we had this, there was a lot of information or a lot of desire. This is a press kit for all the president's men. Brent would rather have that last condor. Three days of condor. Yeah, so let's swap those out. 
All right, so let's see what this is all in here. And I think what I'm going to do is just see what's in here, and I may price everything that's in there. Am I banned from the comments? You are not banned. Okay, so what do we have here? This is some kind of glossy, like a pitcher. And then there's a lobby card. Lobby card, number three, number four, number five number six, number seven, and number eight. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we have the press book, Redford Hoffman, All the President's Men. There's the cast, the credits. And then, so, and then there's that typical stuff, um, like where you can order posters. If I can get one of these open to show you, like that. All right, so we'll sell all this together. We're talking about the folder here, the informational, like, press release information where you order the posters. So this is like a folder here. But before I price this, there's something else over here. These are very nice lobby cards. They're very thick and glossy, and then there's this thing here. So... I think that's like a cover page or something, you know, where that went on the top of it. But first, there was something else. Let me see what this is. Okay, there's that. And Okay, that's all different. All right, so this is it here. Uh, Brent, I'll make you a one-time fantastic deal for $45. $45. That's right there. How much for Barefoot in the Park? Leslie, I will sell you one of those for 20 bucks. I'll sell you a Barefoot in the Park, the one I opened for 20 bucks. 20 bucks, Leslie. If anybody wants that press kit, $45. Then there's another press kit right here. That's what I was checking. There's a just a separate press kit folder. So there's another press kit folder of that. And then this will be some interest. Jeremiah Johnson. This was next. Jeremiah Johnson. I hadn't got to look at it. Cast and credits. Cast and credits. Biography. Biography. Biographies. Production notes. There's the actual press book. And then here's something interesting. This is what I wanted to see here. I saw some color. Wow, it's like a little pamphlet. Running time, trade review date, national release, rating. It's a little like a pamphlet. And uh, we'll sell the Jeremiah, the Jeremiah Johnson folder for $20. $20 on that. Okay, I think everybody passed on that as well. And we have press book for... The Hot Rock. I have a press book for The Way We Were. Butch Cassidy and Sundance Kid. Lobby card for The Way We Were. More press materials. Um, and the last two posters. Any Dennis Hopper folders? Uh, none that I've, well, I don't, I hadn't seen one yet. Hadn't seen one yet. This is Legal Eagles. Legal Eagles. Legal Eagles. And I got two of those. Would you take 15? Let's sell Leslie a Barefoot in the Park for $15. Sold to Leslie. Okay. That was that Robert Redford folder. Let's pull one at random out of the bottom here. And then I'm going to start working on this side. Let me get them all flipped up. Huh. I wonder if that's actually what's in here. Hold on a second. interesting 
Well, here's a random poster. Let's see what it is. Family plot. Family plot. That was a stuck in between all this stuff. Alfred Hitchcock's Family Plot. $35, Brent. 35 oh, hold that thought. It's actually got a really bad rip in it right here. Let me see how the other one looks. Leslie's also interested. Hold the phone. I didn't see that. Yeah. Let me see what this other one looks like. There's another one. And this one is... A-okay. There's a little bit of color break right there, but it's nice overall. Star Trek. I thought I saw that. Let me see if I can find where that was at. Brent, let me make sure you're okay with that one for 35. It's good. And then Leslie, if you want the torn one, it still looks like it will lay pretty nice if you want the torn one for 20. I may have seen, what did I see? I don't know how I could have got it confused, but I may have saw Frank Sinatra instead of Star Trek. Would that make sense? Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, I think there's only one in there, but that's okay. All right, so this is sold to Brand for 35. Leslie gets that one for 20, and we're moving on. And the next packet, I'm going to grab this one here. I'm t I am taking peaks, but let's go ahead and do, let's see what these are. Well, let's do a Strasdan. This Strasdan folder has... This is Barbara Strasdan in Nuts. What's up, Doc? Let's take a look at that one. What's up, Doc? Ryan O'Neill. And I think this is pronounced Yentl, Y-E-N-T-L. And let's look up that first one Curtis is interested in. All right, so what's up, Doc? Frank kept up episodes of Star Trek. Well, we're about to go through the Frank Sinatra folder, so that's going to be what's next, I think. What's up, Doc? Pretty colorful, cool-looking poster. Curtis, I'll sell it to you for $25. Curtis Marachi. And if anybody wants these last two, $15 for both of them. $15 for those last two. $25 for that one. $15 for those last two Strasdan posters. If anybody wants them. All right. And Curtis said sold. So that's What's Up Doc for $25. All right. Sorry, my allergies. This is some very dusty stuff. We're talking about 50, 60 year old dust here. All right, let's see what's in this. 
Be some cool, interesting Sinatra. We have. I know I do need to get it. I used to have one over here, but then we couldn't roll we couldn't roll our carts through here and we kept moving it. But yeah. Yes, both of those last two Sinatra posters for 15, Leslie. All right, let's see what this is. Tony Rome. Tony Rome. Frank Sinatra is Tony Rome. This one has some staining and a little bit of damage on it. But Frank Sinatra is Tony Rome. It does have some staining and damage down here at the bottom. Tony Rome. We're going to go through some Sinatra. Leslie Holt takes the two Barbaras for $15. That's so to Leslie Holt, the Barbara Streisdans. Both of those for $15. Yeah, there's more people watching on X than... How is that possible? There's 69 people watching on X, 28 people watching on Facebook, and 31 people watching on YouTube. And yet, the X people remain silent. Uh, any X viewers want to say hi and let me know where you're watching from? I'm very curious. Thank you, Rob, for bringing that to my attention. All right, I'm sorting some lobby cards over here before I show them. I'm doing some sorting. Elon bots. <laughs> yeah. Rome. Okay, so Tony Rome, let's do this one. Here's another poster. None but the brave. None but the brave. This has got some damage. It's ripped up at the top. None but the brave. Frank Sinatra. So up here at the top, let me show you Brent. It is got this kind of tear up here, this V-shaped tear. It does have tape on the corners, which will pop off like that. But it does have the stain left. I won't worry about pricing that one then. Well, it's interesting because... There's 71 people watching right now, but no one has ever said anything on there. So I'm trying to figure out, like, is it bots? Is it actual humans? And plus, if there are new people on there, I'm trying to figure out how to get them. I'm trying to reach new customers. And X, we pretty much have no advertisement or any. We stream on there, so. Um, price on Rome. Oh, Sean, you put Rome. My bad. Tony Rome, you was wanting a price on that. My bad. So, um. It's a very good place to live stream, though, and uh, we've just I just don't spend a lot of time on there. Uh, Sean, uh, because of the condition, fifteen dollars. Because of the condition, fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars on Tony Rome, and he said so. That sold to Sean Jones for fifteen dollars. Oh. The Pink Panther strikes again. That's going to be a cool-looking poster. The Pink Panther. What is this? Did Sinatra do a voice or something? It has some damage right here. It has some color on it, some stray color right in here. What does Sinatra have to do with this? Let's see. Humor Colin Blakely. Peter Sellers. I joined the X Twitter. There's nowhere to comment. Wow, there should be. Can y'all comment? Rob Show does over there. Is the chat working over there? Maybe they're probably like, I wish I could comment. I am watching on X. You probably have to follow our account. You may have to follow us first. 
If you're watching on X and you can't comment, you may have to go follow us first and then try it. Huh. Let me check on that. Uh, let me look. I'm looking up the Pink Panther too. Pink Panther returns. Let me try to watch from my personal. Collect code. So how do you, hold on a second. I see what they're saying now. There's nowhere to like actually chat on here. Huh. I had to use the depth stop version. Yeah, I still don't see. That is weird. Yeah, there's no that's why. Normally you see the stream is live and then you comment, yeah. Yeah, no wonder. I'm on I'm on X right now on a desktop and you can't you can't comment. No wonder nobody says anything. And somebody said earlier they couldn't DM us. I got to get on there and figure all that out. I, I'm never, I, I'm just on my personal one checking news. But okay, sorry for the distraction. I was just, but we got a lot of viewers on there. So I know y'all can't comment, but y'all are welcome to hop over on, uh, you're welcome to hop over on YouTube or Facebook. So uh, the first person on this one was Brent Rivley. He's already said pass. Uh, and. Curtis Marachi, I'm going to do this for $15 if you want it. $15, Curtis Marachi. You were next. And then Christopher Brusha, then Jetstream. And Jetstream's already passed too. Brent passed. So Curtis Marachi, $15. Now, Sean, $10 for the other damage. That was the uh, this one right here. Sell that to Sean for $10. Sell that to Sean for $10. That was the none but the brave. And then sell that to Curtis, the Pink Panther, for 15 All right, that was great. Let me pick up the pace a little bit, try to go through a couple more of these. Uh, it's definitely, oh, well, I still got lobby cards. $10, any of these lobby cards. I have Sergeants 3 with Sinatra and Dean Martin, Peter Lawford and Sammy Davis Jr. Sergeants 3, Sergeants 3, Dirty Dingus McGee, Dirty Dingus McGee, Dirty Dingus McGee. Dirty Dingus McGee, Dirty Dingus McGee, the Sergeant's Three, the Sergeant's Three, the Sergeant's Three, the Sergeant's Three, Four for Texas and Four for Texas. And those are 1964, Four for Texas and Four for Texas. So I got Sergeant's Three, I got one, two, three, four, five, six of those. Brent, $10 a piece. Same thing for Four for Texas and Dirty Dingus McGee. $10 lobby cards, original lobby cards. Dirty Dingus is 1970. This Sergeant's 3 is 1962. So, uh, and then Brent's first on this, and Christopher Brusha is second. And then I'll actually, since it's not a set, um, actually, hold on a second. No, there's not. There's some missing. One, we're missing two. One, three, four, five. We're missing two and six. Missing two and six, so. So there's the different Sergeant 3s. There's the two Texas 4 for Texas. And then 
nobody was interested in the dirty dingus. So, Brent said he'd give $50 for all of them. Sold. Moving on. Paul's got to wake up in five hours. Paul, I don't think there is actually a Star Trek folder in here. But, let's see what else we have. There's only one item in here, and it's a... President's Lady Lobby Card. Susan Hayward and Charleston Heston. It was in a Charleston Heston pack. $20 on that. President's Lady. Uh, or $10 on that. Here's more lobby cards. Network. Robert Duvall. William Holden. Faye Dunahay. $10 on Network. Those are lobby cards. Um, let's see here. Trying to go through some of these thinner ones so we can knock. We'll do tomorrow. We'll take up most of the. Tomorrow we'll be going through most of these thick ones. Well, there's a Tom Hanks folder, but this one only has one item in it. Did we have this last night? Bachelor party? No, uh, we've had that before, though. Bachelor party? Bachelor party? That was the only item in the Tom Hanks folder. And I know we had this before, but let me check the price. I can't remember what I sold it for last time. i got to figure out what's going on with eggs. That sucks. Nobody can... Uh, now there's 89 people viewing. What in the world? <laughs> All right, let me look at that up. Probably other people has went over there trying to see what's up with it. All right, Bachelor Party is, yeah. I knew that one was pretty good because here's one sold for $67.00. Folded one sheet. I can't remember what... I think Sean Jones bought the last one, right? Or Craig. Somebody bought the last one. This one has a weird fold right here. It's not really ripped or anything. It just they didn't refold it on the original crease. Same thing happened down here. Because of that, I'm going to sell it for $35. Bachelor Party, $35. Bachelor Party, $35. Curtis and then Brent. Okay, the network, 15 and 15. Brent said both of these networks for 15. Both network lobby cards for 15. Brent passes. Curtis, 35 on Bachelor Party if you want it. That was the Tom Hanks folder. It says Tom Hanks Bachelor Party. Next is, let's do another thin one here and see what's in it. Bob Hope. Let's see what here. How to Commit Marriage. Bob Hope, How to Commit Marriage. I thought I had a sneeze. Uh-oh. I muted my mic. I don't think it's it went away. Hmm. I want to call. I don't think we've had this one before. The Primitive Navy of Sergeant O'Farrell. The Primitive Navy of Sergeant O'Farrell. Bob Hope, Phyllis Diller. Curtis, did you want the bachelor party poster? He said he'd do 25. I'm going to sell it to you. Sell that to Curtis for $25. Bachelor party. Next 
is doctor you've got to be kidding doctor you've got to be kidding and this is the George Hamilton folder doctor you've got to be kidding this is the George Hamilton packet Next poster in the George Hamilton packet is Lobby Cards, Zorro the Gay Blade, Zorro the Gay Blade, Doctor You've Got to Be Kidding, and aha, there was a lot of interest in this the other night, Dracula. This one's called uh, Love at First Bite. Uh, how many past shows have you done? Your show was a Facebook suggestion tonight. I have done over 300... I've done over f probably 1,500 live streams over the last five years. Probably over 1,500 live streams over the last five years. We do them every night, except Sundays. I'm probably closing in on 1,500. I actually don't have a count, but this is probably like episode 1,473 for Coletco or something, if we numbered them like podcast. It'd be up there. We've done definitely over 1,000. But we do them every night, Monday through Saturday. Sometimes we do Sunday shows. All right, so let me get caught up here because I'm showing a lot of different stuff at once. First thing was um, Curtis was interested in the Zorro lobby cards. Curtis, there are a total of one, two, three, and usually I do 10, 10, and 10, but I will do... Um, Curtis, I'll do 30 for the four Zorro lobby cards. And then also, Brian Lamb says, I'm late to the show. Any Richard Pryor's left? We got three different Richard Pryor posters left, Brian. Give me a second. I'll show them to you. And then Brent, the love at first bite. Uh, Brent, the love at first bite is $25 if you want it, Brent. And then Mitch, and then Curtis, and Greg. And Curtis said sold on the Zorros. That's... Uh, all four of those for thirty dollars. Those are sold to Curtis for thirty dollars. And then there's the doctors. You've got to be kidding. I don't think anybody's interested in those. And Brant Love at first bite was twenty five. I'll lay that in pending. The last thing I'll do tonight is show what Richard Pryor's are left for those that's interested. Let me grab another quick folder and see what else is in here. These other ones are pretty got a lot of stuff in it, unless it's all the same poster, but. Which it could be, but I'm going to skip over them. Oh, my gosh. I didn't even see. You flip through a tub 20 times, and you see stuff for the first time, like I just did right here, right now. Hope everybody's ready. I'm going to take a quick peek at it first, but I wonder what these... I hope there's a poster. It doesn't feel like posters, though. Oh, boy. There's no posters, but this is... Could be just as good. How many are in here? Wow. Uh, Brent passed it on love. Love at first bite. Mitch was next, and he said so. $25 to Mitch, love at first bite. Oh, boy. Now, this isn't going to be probably your typical lobby card. And we may have complete sets here. Let me start looking them up. Hope everybody's paying attention to the screen because I didn't say anything. I'm making I'm making sure you're watching.
Okay, so the good news is, is I think we got complete sets. One, number two, number three, and they're all really cool shots like that. Four, five, six, seven. Boy, he was in great shape, wasn't he? And eight. All right, so that's eight. And before I price those, Okay, so a set of eight, the complete Rambo First Blood Part 2, Rambo First Blood Part 2, a complete set of eight. Do them in reverse order, get them back in the correct order. Don't shoot me, but that's something else I've never seen before. <laughs> don't, don't, please don't shoot me. Okay, and these are pretty much, these are new because I'll show you why in just a second. But what we're going to do for those set of eight, which y'all think y'all normally see what I price lobby cards for uh, at $10 a piece. There's eight of them here, it would be 80. I'm going to sell this for $65. $65. I've got one set. Here's also in order. Brent, Jennifer, Dale, Christopher, and Dominic. I've got another set. These are like new, unhung, old stock, as you can see, because I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's another set. There's another set. And then I've got, let me get another set together. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then there's one and two. There's another set. So there's another set of eight. So I got three sets. Let me get them in right order. There's eight. There's seven. There's six. Five. Four. Three. Two and one. So there's three sets. Brant said he sold at $65. So the order again is Brant, Jennifer, Dale, Christopher, and Dominic Mussolino. So there's three sets, and there should be one more set here by the way they feel. There's number three. There's number four, there's number five, six, seven, eight. Could there possibly be one missing here? Let's do eight, seven, six, five, four. I think I'm missing. I've only got three complete sets. Okay, so Jennifer takes a set. Let me go, let me count them out one more time, make sure none got stuck together. These are just like crisp and you know, make sure I didn't get any stuck together. But first, here's Brent's. And let me go through them one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so there's Brent's. Make sure all eight of those go in for $65. That's Brent's. And then Jennifer Schrader sold. Let me count hers out again. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, those are good. Those are Jennifer's for 65. And Curtis was, well, let's see. It's Brent, Jennifer, Dale, Christopher, Brusha. We got to hear from Christopher and Dominic. And then if they pass, uh, Curtis, you can have one. So Christopher and Dominic, let me know if you want in. You're, you're next in line. If not, Curtis wants this last set. I've got one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. Yep. So that's my last set. And that's either going to go to Christopher. If Christopher passes Dominic. If Dominic passes, Curtis for sure wants it. And then we'll do something on these stray ones. You'll just have to get a one and a two. But yeah, that was a good find. Uh, here's what the packet said. The packet said Sylvester Stallone Rambo. I was hoping it'd be full of posters, but... I'll take that. That's a pretty good find. You can frame those eight, and they'll look pretty cool. You can frame those. So Christopher Brusha, you're next in line. Just let me know. And let me dig right around where I found those other ones. Let's see what else is in here. Christopher passes. So Curtis, there's your eight for 65. Thank you all for letting me know whether you were in or out. This is a thin packet, but let's go through it. 
There's another What's Up Doc. We had one of those earlier, What's Up Doc. I sold one earlier for $25. There's another one, Barbara Streisand, What's Up Doc, $25. There's another Nuts. I sold one of those earlier. And ah, iconic. A Star is Born Lobby Cards. A Star is Born Lobby Cards. Christofferson and Streisand. We've got number one. We've got number two. We've got number three. Number four, number five, number six. We got the complete set of eight. A Star is Born lobby cards. Leslie wants a What's Up Doc poster for 25. That sold to Leslie Holt for 25. And the other Streisdam poster in that packet was this. Hmm. That looks interesting. Arnold Schwarzenegger, Richard Nelson, Red Sanja. That's nice. Red Sanja. What's Drysdan got to do with that? Where is she built at on? Am I missing something? Let me look this up right quick. Red Sanja. Kind of looks like a Conan Barbarian type deal, eh? Was that one? so a comic book series? Yep, I've seen those comics before for sure. I'm just looking for posters right now, though, folks. Had something to do with Conan, it looks like. I don't know the full history there. Folded, that's a pretty good poster, though. Folded, very fine, fine plus. Yeah, this is. $55. $55 on this one. $55. We'll figure out who's first. And let me see what I've missed in the comments. Uh, Leslie wants me to check condition. Curtis, Michael, and Christopher, you're the first three on Sanja. It's $55. Leslie, this thing is... Oh, it's actually a different looking poster. Hold on a second. I'm glad you asked. It's a different looking poster. Barbara Streisand, Ryan O'Neill, What's Up Doc? What's Up Doc? That's style A. Style B was much better. So uh, if you want this one, 10 bucks. Leslie, 10 bucks on this one. If not, I understand. I'm glad we checked it. That's actually the first poster I have sold and hadn't unfold. Curtis gets Red Sandra for $55. No interest in Stars Born Lobby cards. Also got a Nuts poster still. And she passes on that. I'm glad you asked. And there are, I think, that was it with that Streisdan. Um, Let's see what else is in here. Was there another one? Let me go ahead and knock this one out. It doesn't look too... Okay, this looks interesting. Here's another Frank Sinatra packet, so let's see what's in here. First one is Lady in Cement. Lady in Cement. It's got some damage and stuff at the bottom. It's got a rip corner. It's got pinholes. It's got a little bit of scribbling on it right here. Sean Jones, 10 bucks. If you want it. The first deadly sin. The first deadly sin. Sinatra and Faye Dunaway. The first deadly sin. Sean said sold on the Lady in Cement for $10. Let me look up first, what was that called? First Deadly Sin. Uh, 
$15 on that, Sean. Next is The Detective. The Detective. Frank Sinatra in The Detective, an adult, an adult look at a police detective. Let me look this one up. Pretty cool there. $20 on The Detective. Brent, Sean, Jestering. $20 on The Detective. So, first deadly sin sold to Sean Jones for 15. Detective sold for Brent to 20. There is another one. Let's take a look at the condition. Sean, it has a little bit of a puncture right here on the seam. Same thing with the bottom seam. But there may be another one in here. There may be another one. That we'll wait on that one. Let's see here. Uh, this one's got a lot of writing on the back side, times and dates, but the front may be okay. I actually think that one's better. None of that really bled through down there. Yeah, maybe a little. Some of that might have bled through a little at the bottom. Your pick, first or second, uh, on those, if you want one. And then, so first or second, that being the first. And then we've had plenty of these before, but they've always sold. The Naked Runner. This one looks like it has some tape on it. The Naked Runner. Naked Runner there. There's some tape edges and whatnot. 15 on the bleed through. This is sold to Sean Jones for $15. One detective left if anybody wants it, that. And this last item looks pretty cool. Of course, that one Sean got earlier, Lady in Cement, that was a Raquel Welch film. Here's the press book. Here's the press book. It looks pretty cool. Here's the press book to this is the action picture. Frank Sinatra, Raquel Welch, Lady in Cement. Some of the clippings have been clipped out. Some of the clippings have been clipped out, but that's pretty cool. That's frameable. Ten bucks on that, Sean, if you want it, or anybody else. Ten bucks on that. And let's see what else we can do here at the very last minute. Raquel Welch, yeah, Seinfeld episode reference. He said sold on the press book for $10. That's sold for $10. Um, okay, here's something I meant to price earlier. This is the last of the Rambo cards. So we were doing sets of eight for 65. Here's numbers three through eight. Here's number three through eight. So six of these, uh, $50 for the other Rambo cards. You'll get three. You'll get four, five, and then you'll just have to get online and pick up a one or a two or maybe... I'll run across it here. There's those. $50 for those Rambo cards. Um, let me actually just stop there. Here's what I have left in the tub. I, what's left over here are some pretty thick packets. We'll do again, we'll do tomorrow. We'll go through everything in here left tomorrow, and I'll probably go ahead and have another tub on deck. But there's still some pretty there's still more uh, there's Robert Redford, there's Peter Sellers. Uh, there was more uh, Bob Hope stuff, Rock Hudson. There was a couple that I'm not going to tell you about because I want to be able to surprise for tomorrow. So that's, but let me do a recap of what's on the table because there's still some great stuff. I'm not going to go through all that. I'm just going to go through this back here. There's Rambo, and then there's one Scarface left for $175. If somebody wants to see it, let me know. But that was big fine for tonight. Scarface was the big fine for tonight. 
we have uh, Richard Pryor. Yes, I'm about to go through the Richard Pryors right now. And then Curtis said he'd give 50 for the Star is Born lobby cards. There's eight of them for $50. Consider those sold to Curtis. So uh, this is Chris Christopherson, A Star is Born. This is $50. A Star is Born. All eight of those for $50 to Curtis Marachi. One more, Peter Sellers. Well, it is not quite... It is not quite uh, 2 o'clock, so I guess we can do one more. But let me show the – this is probably, if you're going to buy a Richard Pryor poster, this is the one to get. $25. I've got them in pretty much like new condition. Richard Pryor, live on the Sunset Strip, one sheets. This is actually the theatrical. Richard Pryor, live on the Sunset Strip, $25. Curtis Marachi wants one. Let's go ahead and sell this to Curtis for $25. If anybody else wants one, let me know. $25. Curtis wants one. I've got stacks of them, or I've got a stack of them. So $25 on the Richard Pryor that I just unfolded. Uh, there's one some kind of hero left for $25. There's uh, Which Way is Up for $35. And there's more, what was that other one? That was here in that other one, which was very similar to the Sunset Strip. Okay, and let's go through Peter Sellers. All right, let's see what's in here. Let's see what this envelope says. Fred Goodwin, that's when he lived in Florida. That's when he lived in Florida. Peter Sellers, all right. Uh, which way was up? Which way was up was $35. Those were $35. If you want to see one, Michael, confirm one. Which way is up is $35. I'll open one up for you. Oh, this is crisp. Well, this one actually has a stain on it. Let me get a let me get a different one for you. This is why we unfold them. That one's got a stain on it. Let's get one another one here out of the center. Actually, that one looks really good right there, Michael. This one's going to be good. $35. We sold two or three earlier. You have a What's Up Doc poster. Uh, not Yes and no. Not a good one. I do have one for $10, but it's not the best. But if you want to see it, I'll show it to you. So, Michael, $35 on that. Let's go ahead and show the Peter Sellers poster. He said sold. Sell this to Mr. Ruckman for $35. Let me get this folded back correctly. And Susie, here's the What's Up Doc poster for $10. Not like the first one we had that Curtis bought. Barbara Strasdan, Ryan O'Neill, What's Up Doc. That's what it looks like. All right. All right, first Peter Sellers poster is a three sheet. Let me skip that. The next one's a three sheet. Let me skip that. Aha! Another one. This one looks in better condition. The Return of the Pink Panther. The Return of the Pink Panther. This one's a little bit different looking than earlier. This one's a little bit different looking. Get my knuckles adjusted. I went to Chipotle earlier. I bought a steak burrito, and then I said, you know what? Fix me another one just like that. I'll eat it for supper, too. I got a Chipotle steak burrito over here in the fridge, waiting to be warmed back up via microwave. Brent Robley, 25 on Pink Panther. 25 on Pink Panther, Brent Robley. Curtis Marachi, you were second. Brent said so, $25. All right, well, we're going to have to do some three sheets. Let's show this one right here. Or I'll try to show it. After the Fox three sheet. After the Fox three sheet. 
Two burritos, 30 bucks now. Yeah, two steak burritos, no drink, no chips, uh, $28 and change for two burritos at Chipotle. However, delicious and fresh ingredients. I was listening to, uh, I listened to a podcast with Bill Ackman, who's a major investor in the company. And uh, he, he got me convinced it was uh, worth uh, paying it for. <laughs> Bill Ackman was like, uh, amazing uh, ingredients, you know. I was like, well, yeah, you own uh, $4 billion worth of stock in the company. Of course you're going to be hopping it up. Yeah, no, that's not an exaggeration, No. Now, two steak burritos was $28, yeah. Okay, Brent, so let me look this up. So that's, you get an idea of what it looks like. It appears to be nice. Here's the top sheet. I don't want to unfold it because these top sheets, once you get them unfolded, they're rough to get back. But uh, it looks like it just has pinholes. So let's look it up after the fox. I'll ch give you a price on that. Yeah, I think on the menu... Uh, on the menu, a steak burrito is like twelve eighty-five. No, it's eleven eighty-five. But if you get if you get um, cheese on it, if you get a queso on it, that's like a dollar extra a burrito or whatever. So then sales tax and boom, twenty-eight bucks. Twelve, twelve, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-seven. Maybe it's yeah, it's twelve, twelve, twenty-four, twenty-six. Maybe I was charged for something else, or maybe it's twelve eighty-five or eleven eighty-five. So yeah, that's eighty-five eighty. That's right. Yeah, about twenty-eight bucks. About twenty-eight bucks. Wow, Frank Frazetta artwork on this. This poster we just opened has Frank Frazetta artwork. This three sheet, Frank Frazetta did the artwork. And Brent, I'm having trouble finding a three sheet. Let me see if I can narrow this down. Frank Frazetta artwork. There it is. Wow, 2011 is the last one on here. 1966. Um, Brent, $45. $45. Frank Frazetta artwork, $45. That's a great price from what I was just saying on one sheets. One sheets are pretty pricey, but... Uh, three sheets, a little bit smaller market, but 45 on that. Stacy said, woke up, ready to see some poses. Well, Stacy, we're on the tail end, but I'll show you some stuff that's left. Brent said, so that was probably the deal of the night, $45. Here's the other one. The other one we have is another three sheet. And this one is another Peter Sellers. And this is a shot in the dark, a shot in the dark, another three sheet. Let me give you kind of a peek at it. Looks like a girl on it, something, some font, then it turns kind of blue. That's a shot in the dark three sheet. Not the Aussie song. Not the Aussie song. Shot in the dark. If anybody wants a price, let me know. Okay, then I had something else over here, and I wanted to wait before I showed it so there wouldn't be confusion. But we have a one sheet, another pink panther. Let's see what it looks like. This one looks like it's got some heavy damage to it, though. Oh man, this is terrible. Looks like somebody just cut it up with scissors. Yeah, I don't think anybody's gonna want that. That's unfortunate. That is destroyed. Okay. Um, but let me take a peek at this because this could be quite interesting. Um, all right, let me just reset the comments. Pink Panther again for a three sheet. Pink Panther again for a three sheet. And this actually may be one piece, so we might actually get to look at it. Okay, that was just like the one that was shredded. Here's the gigantic three sheet. Kind of give you an idea of what it looks like. Pink Panther. Let me try to find this. I think this is just Pink Panther, too. Let 
I don't think it's Return or... Yep. It's just the Pink Panther, 1964, a three-sheet, so back in December, for $109. I'll do this one for $85. Bucks. $85. Bucks. Both pieces are there. It looks very clean. I really don't see hardly much wrong with it as far as tears. These three sheets always have like a little bit of fraying in the dead, the dead parts, but the colors and everything on this looks really nice. So, $85. That's the 1964 film. And the order after the reset was Curtis, uh, Brent, and Mitch. Curtis, Brent, and Mitch. So, Curtis, Brent, and Mitch. You can always use it for the fireplace. Yeah, I, I don't think I'll be burning it. I'm, I'll probably put it in a lot. Some of the stuff I'm going to start putting in lots and selling them by lots. Some of these no, that no one wants. But Brent, you're next, and Mitch. Brent, I can pull up an image here on Heritage and show you what it looks like, the one they sold back in December, if you want to see the full thing. Right here it is. So December 24th, that's what it looks like when it's unfolded. That one had a torn corner. Pretty cool graphics on there. The shredded one. Yeah, the shredded one. I'm sure somebody will still buy it for something if I put it in a, a, a lot. All right. Everybody done? That's the only thing that's pending. I got Richard Pryor's. If anybody wants to see him one more time, let me know. If so, I'm going to do the first. 65, almost said 65 second countdown. I was, I was about to say a 15, a 15 second countdown. Brent said he'd do 65. Sold. $65. That was a great price from what I just saw over here, but I'll sell it to you. $65 to Brent Robley. One Scarface left, 175. That's okay. I'll auction it one night. Richard Pryor's, that's okay. I'll sell those during the record sales. Anybody else? anything, let me know. I'm about to eat. I got to clean up. I got to start getting ready for metal for tomorrow. So, uh, any smoky two still left, uh, just some damaged ones. I actually can see them peeking out right here. Amazing. Uh, nope. Hold on. Nope. Um, that's them right there. No, they're not really damaged either. They're well. I mean, they just have something wrong with them. I won't say damaged. Michael Rutman, this may be the best one we have. So this one has a rip down here. This one has a tear up here at the top, and it has a circular tear up there and a small tear right there. Let's see what the other one looks like. This one I'll do, the way this one looks, uh, 20 on this one. If it was to be framed, it wouldn't look that bad. And This one is the other one. And I think it just had tape residue on it. Actually, kind of stuck together right there. Yeah, stuck together right here. Hmm. Yeah, I don't want to pull that anymore. It may rip it. Your best bet's that first one, Michael, if you want one. Unless you want this one and you can try to separate it. It don't have any ribs, but it does have residue and glue on the bottoms or tape. So. Alrighty, what a night. Another huge night in sales and records and posters, and I couldn't do it without y'all. I wonder how many people still watching on X. 92 people still watching on X. Welcome, 92 people on X. Even though you can't comment. If you're watching, if you are a new person on X, 92 people watching. Thanks for tuning in tonight, although I can't see your names or talk to you. 
Michael Rutman said sold on the first one. That was Smoking the Bandit for $20. So uh, we got uh, 24 people on Facebook, 26 on YouTube, and 94 now on X. Wow. So um, pretty cool. All right. Nice fine of the night. Goes down as Scarface. The fine of the night was a Scarface batch. Very, very cool. All right, thanks everybody for watching. Let's go back down. Chad, which record is there between the two Led Zeppelins? There isn't. No, Ze no, that's a Zeppelin. Zeppelin and Zeppelin. Yeah, I may have to res reset X. I don't know, but for those that's watching over there, welcome. Uh, you know, send us a message or reply to the... Do something. That blows my mind. It has to be bots or something, right? It has to be. They may be humans. If you're a human... Welcome. I'm a human too. Good night. See y'all tomorrow. Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Sean says see you at midnight. Sean, you don't want to buy any records tomorrow from seven to midnight? <laughs> Good night, everybody. I'll be here at seven tomorrow.